Hey friends, I'm back and I bring you an actual let's play of Frostbuck. Uh, so I like this game. This is a great game and there's this lovely thing called Frostbuck 2 coming. So I figured I kind of wanted to cover it. I figured it was a good thing to come back to as well. Uh, so th no, this is actually a let's play, not a direct to, from stream to YouTube thing like I've been doing. I'm going to do a lot less of that now, by the way. Um, I figured less videos, but probably better videos. Uh, more better quality ones at least uh, is what I'll try and do. Anyways, on to this game. Uh, so this is a really great, it's kind of like a survival city building game. Very great like universe and lore and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's really great. If you haven't played it, you probably should play it because uh, it's going to kind of spoil some of the events and some of the choices that you kind of go into because uh, I'm going to talk a lot about like what the what choices entail, what happens if you choose something like the wrong way and kind of like a build order and things like that. And I feel like this game is really great if you play it the first time yourself. Uh, and But if you're not planning on doing it anyways, or you've already played it, kind of want to see, like get some lore in and some of the <clears throat> strategy part about it, um, you're in the right place, I'll say. Uh, but I won't be playing on uh, the, the extreme difficulty just because it's really, really sweaty. I have done it. And it takes multiple attempts. You have to get into a groove. You have to be like really exact about everything you're doing. Uh, I don't want to be exact about what I'm doing. I want to talk about it a lot as well uh, and, and be able to kind of like pause the game and things. That would be what survival mode is though. This is uh, the hardest difficulty. There's no pause and there's no saving. So, oh, saving on exit. That's, that's what it is. So we're not doing that. Um, so sorry to disappoint, but if you're planning on doing it on Survivor, uh, you can probably just take a lot of what I say and, and kind of my build order as what to do um, and what what the path is to go, of, of course. So uh, anyways, without further ado, let's go. So, yep. Um, oh, I almost forgot. Uh, so we're going to try probably doing all of these. Uh, I don't see a reason not to, so we'll just do them all um, at once. I'm going to try to go for Mac. Like, I'm going to try not killing anybody. Well, you know, not intentionally killing anybody, but... I'm mean, gonna try to go for maximum like everybody survives kind of thing, happy scenario, which is also a good reason not to have it <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a difficulty I can't save it on. So that's what I'll do to try and challenge myself. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what we're gonna do. So let's get going. We roam the still cold world, no horizon in sight. Rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us. No matter wealth or class, we've lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. Welcome 
And welcome to Frostpunk. A new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On our way, the convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of the generator, only to find it frozen and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. So, uh, yeah, so from the perspective of this story, they don't know if anyone else has survived. I'll go a lot more into the lore as, as, I, as I go along. And by the way, if, if this is a game you want to play after kind of seeing it for a bit, feel free to drop out. I don't mind. Uh, but I, like I said, I'll talk a lot about lore and strategy and stuff with this game. It's a fantastic game, great music, all that kind of lovely stuff. By the cold, we have to get the generator working. It provides heat and power to other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. I'm not sure about power, though. I, I think it, it, did, it did just have to be connected by a road is, is more more of the thing. But yeah, that's that's what it is. But like, unpowering the generator doesn't out unpower buildings. It's it's kind of weird, the phrasing of that. I guess that was like probably like an early concept for it, but it doesn't really work that way. Uh, so stockpile some coal and start the generator. All right. I'm going to pause the game to start. Uh, we get our objective. We fight the coal, turn the generator on. Uh, we got a lot of time to do, deal with that, so anyways, uh, to go more into the universe and why the hell there's a giant ice age, um, so, uh, this game takes place in 1887, uh, alternate timeline 1887, because obviously, um, if you read the history books, probably there's no mention of a, uh, of a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of a cold snap here, uh, but, yeah, so, alternate history, there's a couple of key differences, um, so usually when this game refers to actual named people, those are usually if not always, actual real people, and they're in this universe as well, obviously. So it's just, we we just kind of diverged here. And the diversion starts at about, like, in the 1800s, early 1800s, where they actually have computers. Uh, well, sort of computers. They're, so there's a guy named, like, Charles Babbage who did, like, a difference engine. Um, so in the real world, uh, in our world, uh, that failed. That project failed. Uh, but the, the, the logic was apparently sound. They eventually did make it, like, in 1991. So he's kind of considered, like, the father of computers. But anyways, in this universe, he succeeded. He made he made a kind of like the whatever the difference engine, the computers, whatever. Uh, and then someone came along later and made something called steam cores, and that's one of the resources we we have. Um, we can't build these. Uh, these are found or acquired through some means, events, things like that. But we can use that for some advanced buildings, and uh, so we have one to start. Uh, so some advanced buildings and also some machines uh, called automatons. So we kind of uh, start with those. We also have steel, wood, coal. Um, basically, these are both essentially building materials, also used for uh, sometimes a little bit. I don't know why I flickered there. Oh, I think I was hovering on something. I shouldn't have been. Oh, that's why. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so that's, that's what they effectively do. Uh, it's like, yeah, two building resources and coal is obviously to, to heat everything, and this is a very cold universe. Uh, so why is it so bloody cold? Um, well, there's they go into it in a lot of the kind of like the expanded part of the game and there's some expanded universe stuff but essentially what happened was a combination of three things the sun is dimming which is a real thing that happened for I forget which ice age it was it was like a millennia ago like a little ice age or something sun dimmed by like two percent that's what happened here as well um so we have the sun dimming a volcano erupted somewhere i don't know what the volcano is called but that also happened around this time uh, in the real world, um, the, the sun dimming did not happen, obviously, the volcano did, and actually the global temperature dropped with that volcanic eruption, so it dropped by about, like, I don't know, three, four degrees, and also, in, in this game, apparently a meteor hit somewhere, uh, and that meteor landed and also kicked some dust up, so there was a bit of blocking of the sun, the sun was dimming, so it's all these three things happen, and that's what, that's why this ice age has effectively occurred. Uh, as far as the game's kind of lore goes, which is which is kind of cool. So that's that's our big difference with everything like that. There's some other subtle differences, but we'll, we'll kind of get into them, I'm sure, as we go. Uh, but the reason I pause the game is because I actually want to go sign some laws first. So this is actually one of the main things you have to do. This is limited by time, so something that's limited by time you should do immediately when it's off cooldown, which is signing laws. Um, so we kind of go into here and you kind of, we kind of, I'll just roughly go over them. I'm not going to go too deep into them, uh, unless it's something I'm not going to do. Uh, cause you, you're, it's a choice. It's always a choice. And the way laws work in this game are always like, they start off as something that may seem innocent and then turns into something worse. And just like, it always get. it's always one of, it's one of those games where it's like, it, it's more ethically bound where you kind of like go, you kind of start like, oh, this looks nice. You kind of start start with it, and then you kind of go into something where it's like, oh shit, like that. What what is it? You look at the ending, like what is it turned into, right? Uh, but uh, anyways, um, so 
I'll start with like the emergency shift to go, go around. This is a very good one, uh, not from this, uh, it's more the tree, because you go to extend a shift up here, but this one is essentially just to let anyone, force anyone to work in a facility for 24 hours, which is uh, pretty nice. That one's, that one's, that one's really good, and I wouldn't blame him for taking that one first. That could be kind of useful, but we're not doing that one first. Uh, fighting arena, which is, uh, you get to build a fighting arena to reduce discontent. I'll talk about hope and discontent in a bit, uh, but kind of keep that in mind that a lot of things will either raise or lower hope or discontent kind of thing. It's just two kind of primary, re like, sort of resource types that you do have to manage as well. Uh, you get food additives or soup. Um, we'll talk more about that also as well when you get to that point. Um, the difference between them, but one is adding sawdust to meal, so you get, this is a way of getting more out of your raw food. And, or you can just turn it into soup, which also makes more raw food. But people really hate eating soup for some reason, uh, in this universe. They just hate soup so much. And this one, you just literally adding sawdust to it. <laughs> so people get sick from eating it. So one is discontent, and apparently they don't mind the sawdust because they don't, they don't feel it, I guess. It just, but it's, it is like, it will, they will get ill from it, so. Um, the illness depends upon difficulty, so it's like, I think like 6.5% on extreme difficulty, so I think it would be like, for me, like 5% or something if I had to guess. Um, you got radical treatment versus sustained life. This is for medical facilities. Um, one of the, one of them basically makes it so like, uh, people are more likely to, uh, well, you can heal gravely ill. So you get, you get like a couple kinds of illness. You get people who turn ill, which could just go into hospital to get healed. They come back out. It's just a typical thing, loop of, of Frostpunk. Um, but if gravely ill happens through events or if you let ill stay ill too long for like, I think over 24 hours is how it works. And they usually take about, I think like 18 hours to heal completely. So it's like you'd have to have not enough medical facilities. So what, this is more of like what to do with those gravely ill. Uh, one of them is to turn them into 30% of them as, as amputees. Um, the other one is you just basically keep them in the hospital and they just take up space and be useless uh, is what this is. But there's like a building later you can get that will turn them into proper people. Um, again, opposed to when you turn them into amputees, they can't work anymore. Um, so upsides, downsides. Um, and, and I've used sustained life a fair bit. It, it just depends upon your kind of preference here in this case, but most people go for radical treatment. I, I can kind of, I don't blame people for going for that, so. Um, and I likely will be doing that, doing that a little bit later. Uh, last one is cemetery versus corpse disposal. Uh, as I mentioned from the beginning, I am planning on really not letting people die. Uh, cemetery is better if uh, for, like, because whenever someone dies, hope falls. Uh, this one would remove the hope. Um, Oh, well, not remove it, but greatly reduce the hope penalty for letting someone die. Um, but uh, since we're not allowing people to do it, we're gonna go, we're gonna throw them into the pile because that's based as fuck. Uh, this is uh, the first one we're going for. We're gonna go for child labor, safe jobs, uh, and and again, I, I, I as I was gonna say, I was gonna explain why my choices are uh, and and why I kind of do these things and why I'm going for it first. Um, so obviously, I haven't. I made anyone work yet in my in my little city. I just immediately paused and went over here. But I always go for this one first, pretty much always when I have that option. Uh, the reason being is this is better than child uh, shelters by a long shot. Uh, always better. Because this is, um, you essentially get that early uh, worker boost from like having like, it's essentially 15 extra workers in my, col in my, in my, I'm saying colony, I meant, I meant, uh, I meant, uh, uh, city. So you can see there, right there, I have 50 workers, 15 engineers, and 15 uh, uh, children, but they just will not do anything. They will just sit there and, and be useless. Um, so what you could do, and this is this is the other option, is you could get shelters. Uh, I wouldn't do this now if you were planning on doing it, but uh, this is like a path you can do. do like, a, like instead of them sitting there, they go to like a little school. It sounds great, doesn't it? Like they go to school um, and they just, they go there, it gives a permanent hope bonus, absolutely great, you know? And then the that second part is essentially you get to have them help out um, medical facilities or engineering facilities, like uh, research facilities. Uh, and that one is like a late game-ish thing because it you require a significant amount of investment to make child shelters worth it um, to begin with. And it's also just like you have to spend it and then the bonuses are not that big. It's like a, I think like 25% bonus and it's like, it's really weird, it's like additive, so it doesn't exactly mean 25% faster everything. So it's kind of weird how it works. Um, generally the consensus though is, um, yes, there's a bonus, but however, if you just put them onto, uh, like, you know, mining resources, uh, you get more options because you can put them on gathering posts, cook houses, or hot houses. Hot houses is a type of food you can make, 
uh, well, type of food production building you can make. But they only go into safe places, and this one is the best one. Uh, because it's early resources and it's a snowballing thing, right? Where it's like that 15 wood may prevent you from, you know, what that would they would make may prevent you from doing things later on. So you always go for this one. Always, every, every single time. Fortunately, hope will fall, but it's only temporary, as you can see. Uh, but there is discontent and hope. Uh, so the difference between these two is discontent is easier to manage. Um, there's a lot of things you can do, like, immediately to manage discontent. It's like a resource of how much bullshit people are willing to put up with. Uh, I mean, to be honest, this is a survival situation. You think people wouldn't be so anal about it, but apparently they are. So, so who knows? Uh, but you know, that's that's what that that's what that's here for. Um, and then hope is a uh, another type of resource that's essentially just saying, um, uh, obviously, it's just despair. Uh, you know, like this is a very despairing situation. I mean, you're listening to music, the violin is playing. You know. People lose hope. They, you know, don't want to do anything. If they want to get out of bed or whatever, uh, they will not actually be having beds. Uh, I think that uh, that early on, uh, at least most of them will, will not be. So, um, so hope. There's a couple of ways of increasing or decreasing. Usually through events. Sometimes through laws. Um, this one you want to make sure it doesn't go too low. Uh, but usually, I never concern myself too much. Usually, if it's going too low, it's because people are a dying or you are doing something very wrong. I would say, um, for the most part, yeah, you don't want, you don't, or not, not too concerned with that, but discontent you were kind of just concerned about, so. Um, and so, we will start putting people onto things, so there's a bunch of resources around. Let's go throw people onto these. I will put the children onto the coal, just because. That's where they deserve to be. We need mostly wood crates, um, is the thing we need the most of. I think we need the most wood crates. Um, so there you go. I have them here. I have them working on various things. Not not that one uh, too well. And so we have everyone essentially working. Last thing I'll show you though is the the upper path for a child labor. So little Timmy goes uh, gets to go and play Minecraft. Uh, you know, an act actual Minecraft. <laughs> so um, this is the option you'd have. And I obviously cannot sign it now because I already signed the law. But and which is why we signed it immediately. But um, I never go for this, obviously. But I just showing you because it's funny uh, <laughs> that you get to you get to put them on everything instead of just safe jobs. You can put them on every single kind of job, um, and uh, hope will fall, discontent will rise, and they'll become injured and die in accidents. Um, you know, probably not the most thing. And this is what I meant about kind of like how the game is like escalating. You know. Uh, like, like this one seems so so simple, right? Like, oh, little little Timmy is going to go and uh, take grain to take grain to the like he can help out a little bit. He's taking the groceries out from the car or whatever, and then they go, nope, right? Go mine some coal, Timmy. Get in the fucking coal mine. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all I want to explain with that. So we'll uh, get the game going. Uh, so we have these re uh, crates to start, and just to show you kind of what the temperature is and how it kind of works. So the temperature is right now negative twenty. A, co a cozy, it doesn't really uh, raise above negative 20. If you've ever lived in like any kind of like, you know, uh, wintry part of the world, uh, I mean, neg negative 20 is actually not that bad. You just kind of bundle up and, you know, a little chilly, and then you go inside, have a, a hot cocoa. Uh, there will not, not be any hot cocoa in this city, unfortunately, but, <laughs> you, know, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, typically, people work from essentially 8 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m. or 1800 hours, whatever military time. Uh, that's typically what they're doing. Uh, uh, you can raise that later, which is actually the most overpowered law to basically make them work instead of 10 hour days. You make them work uh, 14 hour days. Really, really OP. Really, really OP. So we're going to probably be going for that one at one point. Uh, well, well, actually, it's like the third one. Uh, spoiler. <laughs> so we're going for that really, really, like immediately right after that. Uh, so right now it's chilly, low risk of falling ill. Um, so. The game actually tracks where, so you can actually see the people kind of moving around. So there's uh, Hester uh, is uh, not not looking too happy right now. Um, so we're gonna, yeah, whatever. I don't know. So she's like going and, and putting some stuff around. Um, so typically, you know, game logic kind of thing is, you know, it will like usually, and 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 the game does actually do that where it's like uh, people were mining immediately the resources despite uh, just because I put them onto there, not because I. Because uh, they were at the location, but in terms of the way that heat works in this game, heat is calculated uh, based upon uh, where they are. So 
you can kind of see the heat zone here of like where they are. Like everything's cold because there's no generator kind of thing. We have a little overlay for that. So you have comfortable, very low risk, and then chilly, uh, effectively. So right now they're kind of livable. Uh, they're okay. I mean, it's 20 degrees. It's it's okay. You can get sick from that, obviously, but you know it's not not pleasant. But they're they're okay for now. Uh, but it is actually keeping track of where they are at all times of the day. So if they're not, for example, beside the generator, then they're going to get sick. And it does like a running average at the end of the day. And if they get sick or not is how it calculates them. And they have to go into medical post to go get healed and that's it. So the way, that's how you essentially manage a game. Um, essentially, uh, the chili means that there's no risk of, of uh, what's it called, of being like amputated or anything. So you, you don't get amputated at negative 20. It's also, um, the, the interesting part about how this works is that this thermometer is actually uh, directly related to this uh, temperature meter. So it's only two down, because this is like a normal temperature. It's like, you can see that there's like five bars. So if it's all five or full, that's zero degrees Celsius. And then like the three is like, uh, this is negative 20 right now. So there's different ways you can heat it up, but yeah, we'll, we'll get into that as we go. I'm going to turn on the generator now. So we can turn on the generator. Um, and that will be something that they do because they're about to finish work and that means I can actually start to go place uh, some buildings around like the workshop to start and we're also going to need to get them to get a oops sorry I'm misclicking a lot here very very high pressure very sweaty uh, we're going to also place down a medical post here and what I'm also going to do is gathering posts because that is the f one of the first most important things to go into just trying to find a good place for these guys. Can I put one more down? I can. So we got a connected by roads. Like I, I kind of alluded to that actually earlier, is that they need a road connection. And there we go. We have our uh, first things. So the generator is coming online. They're about to finish work, uh, but it takes a little bit to heat up, which is why I'm doing that right now. And there's also a fair bit of people here, and that's pretty much it. You get, a lot of, you get a lot of options for that. But what we're gonna see is that when the when they actually end, they're gonna go and it's still work time actually right now. Is it 18? Oh, it was 18, yeah. It's fine, don't worry. You can turn on the generators this, this far. And what I could also do is overdrive it. All right, so they're gonna say, um, and this is also events that happen, which is uh, no roof over your heads. So they're, they're cons understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. You pretty much get this every scenario if you don't have homes at the beginning. Uh, uh, they're basically saying they're falling ill from sleeping outside. They haven't even slept outside for one night. God, they're so complaining. Uh, we better do something about it. So you can either say, and this is kind of the way the game works. You can say, I'll provide some shelter, which is two days to provide shelter for half my people. Um, two days to provide it for all the people, or I just will not address it now. Uh, by the way, it's very bad to say that you're going to give them something and then fail on it. And it's also better to just give them a little bit of something rather than nothing. Um, so if you literally have no no plans to address whatever it is, it's always better to say you're not going to do it. Let them be pissed off. Uh, but uh, and, and if you overpromise, that means you could fail when you could have just promised a little bit and you could still get a positive outcome out of it, right? So we're gonna promise a little bit of shelter. And it's usually safer to do that. It's usually not good to do the one where you just overpromise, unless you're really sure you're going to do it, kind of a thing. And now that they're off work, instead of actually being off of work, they're actually going to go and place all this stuff down. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place down probably four of these. There you go. So I can, I can do their promise right now, actually. So, but the thing is, I, I want to make sure that I have, actually, we could do, instead of that, I could do another workshop, I guess. Yeah, we could do another workshop. That sounds actually pretty good. Oh, uh, except it's actually fat here. One second, I'll do that. I have to be careful about that, because uh, the way the roads work can be kind of strange. So, we're going to make two workshops. Even though I, I don't think I really need two workshops, uh, probably on a lower difficulty, you don't need to do that. And it says, okay, so he just said the same thing that I just told you guys, which is like, uh, uh, people usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. Um, you don't have to agree with everything they ask for. You fix your way, it's fine. Yeah. All right, so one of the things I did do was I did overdrive the generator, which raises a little heat meter, the stress. So when it reaches 100, uh, you either have to throw a steam core in or a, or a child. And uh, no, that's not a joke. <laughs> that's actually what you do. So that's 
pretty much the route that we're on right now. We have also a good amount of coal here. I am going to spend a lot more. I'm going to let these uh, little buildings kind of go up, so... Oh, we can get the engineers on that one. Where are my engineers at? Right here? Okay, so engineers come off. And that, there's your first one. And we will start on... Let me see here. Okay, so here's the research tree. I haven't really showed you guys this yet. Uh, so you get essentially four categories. Food, shelter, resources, exploration, industry, heating. It, it's pretty much as it sounds. It's pretty good. It, like, it's, it, it's pretty interesting stuff. But you get, like, different levels of tech. So, for example, I'd have to spend 50 wood to do drawing boards. Wood is a very important resource. Uh, and I'll get into that in a bit. But what we have to do right now uh, is... And I'll, I'll kind of roughly explain, this is like more food if they go out, uh, which we haven't dealt with food yet. Uh, I won't bother with it for a little bit. Uh, for like another day, essentially. Uh, you get sawmill, steel works, coal thumper, faster gathering. Uh, so this is, you can you can cut wood from the trees that are, uh, the frozen trees into usable material that are kind of around, scattered around. Uh, this is not that good. This is, uh, this is uh, pretty much like a, a holdover if you really need to. Wall drills are better, because um, it's like infinite wood. That one's really, really nice. So you kind of want wall drills if you can kind of manage to get there. Um, and we're going to try to rush it. In this scenario, it's very doable to do. Um, we can we can definitely get there, I think. We also have a steel works to basically make uh, extract steel from the uh, from the ground and things like that. We may go for that one too. I have to, I have to figure it out. I forgot what my exact build order is. Usually you make a beacon first. So I'm gonna say usually you make this first. There's gonna be a reason in this particular scenario we're not doing it first. Uh, it's it's not so good in this in this scenario to make it first because you'd have to get like the, the first two places you can grab thing, like basically go and scout and and find people, are essentially more people and we don't have enough to deal with that right now. So it's usually sometimes better to. Well, this is the only scenario where I think it's you don't have to go for that first. Usually you go for this first because it's just free resources, uh, effectively. Uh, you also get heaters, which is uh, you get to heat places during working hours. This will be this will come into play a little bit later. You also get a steam hub, which is also kind of good as well. Um, I think I'm going to do heaters, even though I'm not going to use them immediately. Because usually I would just do beacons first, but I'm just trying to get the, the research going. So we'll do heaters first, even though I'm not really going to use them. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, it looks like we have 18 arrows left on the generator. Let's see. So I'm just putting I'm putting the, the dear old uh, Timmy and Bobby into that one there. So we actually don't need the steel anymore. Okay. So we can yeah, we already have that un unequipped. So there's so the gathering posts are basically like a heated place. You can see this actually has insulation now. And then we'll just gather the stuff around it. I usually just make all the I just make a bunch of it, because I don't know if this is, like, the play to do, but this is what I typically do, though. I, I don't really, I don't really know if it's, like, the best. Everyone has their own kind of build with this kind of a game, but, you know, I kept it as hot as possible in the middle here, so there's going to be some people that get a little bit sick, but, you know, that, that, what can you do, right? Not much you can do. But the, my important thing right now is I want to get actually as much wood as humanly possible, because I want to try rushing down the, to the wall, the wall, mill, uh, wall, wall drill thing. Not well, no. Um, so, so, next thing we're going to do is emergency shift. Uh, so, that's a law that's pretty good. Uh, but we're not going to use it. We're only going to use it once, and we're going to use it on the workshop. I'm not sure if I should use it on the workshop right now. Maybe I should wait on it. I'm going to wait on it, uh, but the way it works is, and it's kind of funny the way it works. Um, so, the second time you use it, and it's and there's a building active and this is listen to my phrasing the second time you use a uh, emergency shift and it's on a non-resource pile uh basically resource uh location so it could be the gathering post or it could be the workshops or it could well this is already working 24 hours so you can't do that uh, so if you use it the second time the second time and there's one already active someone will die so you could use it once and then when it when it's over you could use it on the piles and no one will die uh, but you don't get too many piles uh, with this. That's kind of how it works, and someone dies from overwork is what what happens with it. So you can you basically get if you're trying to do like a deathless run, you can do you can essentially just wait until you know <laughs> you you could you could use it just one time and that's it. So and since I have two workshops, I'm gonna keep it like this at right now. Um, I'm not sure if two workshops is a mistake, but we'll see. I'm hoping we can get enough wood. Uh, we'll see. 
and don't worry about the the coal or whatever. We'll have enough coal. So we could do the sweatiest thing imaginable. So everyone starts waking up at five o'clock here, and uh, so they're still in the in the heat zone. So you can see people are getting sick, but there's only three people sick. We have a capacity of five right now, at the moment. But that that worked fine. So the minute they leave, I can actually just turn off the overdrive, and actually I can just shut off the generator. So you can see it's like going up. It's it hates it. But we we did pretty good. There's like no one really sick here, so I can turn off overdrive now. As soon as they leave, I'm just going to shut it down. So it does mean that like the people in the medical post aren't heated up, but it's not consuming coal anymore, which is which is good. Uh, this is like like I said, the sweatiest thing you can do. <laughs> I'm going to say it is it is extremely sweaty. Uh, so you don't have to do this, uh, but you know you can do that to preserve uh, some power. So oh, there we go. We already have our 50 wood, so that'll work out. So I'll I'll, I'll try and rush the wall drills. Um, I don't know if that's like like I said the play. I haven't played. I did beat this on extreme, but I, yeah, I haven't played it in a long time, so. Alright, so family torn apart. Woman came forward after we built the workshop. She said her husband and her daughter didn't make uh, reach the city with the main group, and she sure she's still out there. She wants to join the first ski, uh, the scout team. She urges you to hurry. Okay. So, we can wait on that for a little bit here, and that will be fine. So nobody's hungry yet, and the way that, and oh yeah, I didn't really explain that raw food. So raw food, you want to process into actual food rations, like two raw food to, uh, like two food rations. It basically makes food twice as efficient, weirdly enough. Uh, it's kind of the, the math and how it works. So yeah, the heating is off, we have no generator, they'll be upset, that's fine. It's good for the first two days. So we do want to do something with cook houses when people start getting hungry. When, when they get hungry, you get like two days to deal with it. And that's that's pretty much it. That's all you have to worry about with it. So, uh, And the other thing that we're slightly concerned with... Let me see here. All right, so this is done. We can just go straight for drawing boards. And what I'll also do is I will over emergency ship this guy. So this guy will just work all the time. Well, 24 hours. And there's, by the way, there's no reason to hold on to that. You can just keep it going. I'm gonna flip the generator back on now. I probably should also do some more. Oh, is it going to rest? Excuse me? Well, I guess you didn't get the full thing out of the day. Alright, we'll overdrive this one too, so the. Again, they'll have another night of full, full heat, but that'll be it. Um, the temperature is going to drop significantly by two levels in, a, in basically a day. So at that point, we can't have anyone work on the piles anymore. That will be that will be the end of that. So let's get some more things here. I will also throw down a gathering post over here. I think I could just throw some. Yeah, there you go. So we, we need like another gathering post. I just, I, like I said, I just gather and post everything. I, I'm not sure if that is, like, not the strategy that I should go for, but I, it works for me, so I don't know. And if it works for you, it's fine. And with that being said, we can do extended shifts. Listen, and every single building is, is going to get extended shifted. Um, so it raises discontent a little bit, you've been noticing going up. But it's effectively, it's really good because it's the difference between... Working from six till uh, well, sorry, eight till six to from six till what is that like? Uh, that's like eight o'clock. Yeah, six till eight o'clock. They work fourteen hours, which is like what twenty percent more. This is like one of the most overpowered laws in the game because people working more is just more resources. They don't like get fatigued or anything really. They just don't care. You know that's why that one's really. This is actually one of the best ones to go for. And everyone's happy about the shelter, so hope went up a little bit. And still haven't fed, uh, fed everyone or done anything like that, but that's fine. And people are starting to get hungry, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a cookhouse. Uh, I guess... I'm not sure where to make it, though. I kind of want to make it in a place where... Because uh, you notice how fat this is, this, this, this building location? One sec. Okay, let me show you guys a little pro gamer move. So what you can do is you can kind of, like, place a... Okay, maybe I can't. Actually, how fat was it supposed to be? Okay, it's like that fat. All right, so pro gamer move. I'm not sure how to not snap it. There you go. Let's see if that works. Because sometimes I can get it to fit in there. No, I can't. Okay, that's not gonna fit in there. <laughs> okay, looks like 
Looks like the pro gamer move is over, so I'm gonna just uh, put the cookhouse in there. I was trying to I was trying to fit an extra little slot in there to, for it to go. It tries to match with like the the two roads, but this road is eventually gonna go away to a happy place. So it's gonna just go away. Actually, is what's, what's gonna happen. So since people are starting to get hungry, that's when you start thinking about making a uh, essentially a place for people to eat. So what I'll do is I'll take out this one. Let's see. We can go put this guy over into here. Give them the full hours. And I'll put workers in here. And then we'll put the children to the cookhouse. Uh, cookhouse we're actually going to wait on. Uh, we're not going to do it immediately. I will give it good hours. Uh, basically full hours though. And that's it. So I'm just I'm just shuffling some things around. That's it. So we kind of need this for tomorrow. Um, I guess I could also just make the rest of the houses. Whoops. I guess I could have done that last night. But it's not a big deal. I Like I said, I overdrived it. So... As long as as long as more than five people don't get sick, we're okay. All right, drawing boards, and we're gonna do wall gel first. So this one is a lovely one. So I need twenty wood and ten steel to research it, and then twenty wood to make the thing to begin with. So we're got to be a little bit careful in our wood supplies right now because I think I'm almost out. Oh yeah, we got forty-seven in there. Never mind. Okay, we're okay. But wall drill is, yeah, I'm going to go for that first. I guess it is like a viable strat. I guess it's good. But we're, we're trying new things. Actually, we're not probably trying new things. I'm probably just remembering what I used to do. It's the kind of thing, so. But yeah, I didn't bother with the beacon. Um, and we'll, we'll do the beacon like pretty much right after, if not steel or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Did everyone leave? Everyone's, I think, gone, so we can turn off the overdrive. And we can probably turn off the generator. This is the last time we're going to turn it off because. Tomorrow it's a lot colder, so... And we're also gonna have a lot more coal being stockpiled, so we're, be, we're gonna be fine. Because even with the generator off, it doesn't care. It's like I got like full insulation and everything, so... It don't matter. So some wood crates are depleted. I still have 15 people. And we'll throw them onto that. So we're just waiting for the new law to come in. And I'm hoping it comes in in time. If I didn't wait... So this is what I mean about timing. So everybody's hungry right now. Uh, and the way it works is, uh, when they become starving, they'll start eating two rations, which we don't want. So, there is, like, a timing window here that we could do. And hopefully we're gonna meet it. So it's just saying that, uh, now everyone's gonna starve to death. I understand that. We need to get more food, blah blah blah. They're complaining. That's how it goes. Oh yeah, we are gonna get the wall drills. Maybe this is a play. We'll see, we'll see how the food goes, because the food may be a problem. All right, uh, okay, we did research. That should be something we do next. Uh, so for the next part, so we get, a, uh, like, I see, like you can see, I did do the second tier of research. So this actually opens a whole lot of options to us. Um, there's these bunk houses. I usually don't go for these. This raises the insulation by one, but you have to build these, which are like 20 wood, uh, uh, 10 steel. It's time they have to spend building it and I mean, some people swear by it, because you only lose, like, when you rebuild it into houses, because you're going to be doing that anyways. Uh, you lose, like, I think it's, like, 20% uh, of the resources or something that you basically... So if I dis deconstruct tents, I think I get, like, seven or eight wood back. Uh, we could try that a little later. But I don't usually go for this. Um, I'm not sure if that's the not the play, but I think I've done that always, and I, I just don't care about bunkhouses. <laughs> so, I don't know. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong on that. I don't really know. Uh, we can also get a medical post upgrade, which makes them heal the sick 10% faster. Uh, there's hot houses. This is the thing that the kids can work in, but it requires a steam core because it's an advanced building type. Uh, you also get here. Um, I guess I didn't really go through what a lot of these other ones were. Faster gathering would have they would have picked up the resources faster. I don't bother with that because usually the problem early on is more along the lines of like. Uh, being able to spend the resources well and spending research time when I want to get technology is not good for this. So I think I rarely go for faster gathering. I think I do it in one or two cases. Uh, but yeah, this one is like a hit or miss for me. Um, yeah, coal mining, which is uh, 204 coal, uh, and you need to use a steam core. I only have one steam core, by the way. So uh, not exactly the best use of that. Uh, there's also a Coal Thumper, which is 486. Uh, the difference between, between these two 
Coal Thumper just requires more people. That's all it is. Uh, coal mining is better from a perspective of if you don't have a lot of people, um, coal mining. So they're both useful in, in different scenarios. Charcoal killing you almost never use. Uh, this is you burn wood, which is rare as a resource, to make more coal. Um, you, you use it like last autumn, maybe, and that's it. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anyone use this. It's just not that good. Because you might as well do be doing Coal Thumper or something, right? Uh, and then Sawmill, like I said, we, we kind of rushed Wall Drill so we wouldn't have to do this. So guess what? We're not doing that. <laughs> so it's pretty good. Um, and Steel Mill we will need at one point. Um, obviously, Exploration. This is actually what we're researching right now. But if I kind of go back in, the last thing we get is we can do a generator power upgrade. This one's pretty good. Uh, this is to raise the power of the generator so it would you know, would heat more. Uh, then the range is just it heats more radius essentially after that. So uh, this will likely be something we go for pretty soon. Uh, probably steal into those is what I'm going to do because the range I need to basically have those people come in to begin with and things like that. So I also might need the hunter hunter's gear. So well we'll see when we get there. We'll see when we get there. Well it looks like this one's done. So, this gathering post is now worthless. We can go make another one over up here. And I can just start just... Oh, wait, wait, hold up. This is very important. One second. Sorry, okay, so we did extend the shift. Uh, this is a very big time window. Uh, we can now choose our food thing, and it's just before the end of the day, which is why the timing on this works amazing. So they're gonna work at the soup uh, the soup shop, and we can do... or the, or the saw, saw, sawdust shop. So we can choose one of these, um, and, I, and I think I kind of alluded to it before, this makes people sick, this makes people discontent. This is generally seen, I think, as a superior option, mostly because that discontent can be offset by um, a research over here, which basically makes it so that, uh, or sorry, a law over here, which makes it so you add moonshine, which lowers discontent. But arguably, food additives is good too, because uh, that's one one extra food. That's one extra person that you don't need working at like a, a food place. So even with people being sick, you can kind of get them out. And you can also do research like efficiency things for uh, for like hospitals too. So they could come in and out, right? Um, and they get sick anyways. I usually actually go for this. I love this one. This is this is great. But you know, for the sake of the scenario, I think I'll try soup. Um, I don't know. They're really, really well balanced. I have to say, I, I, I think they're really good. Usually, like I said, usually people like soup because discontent is easier to manage than sickness because you can't like unsick people, but I can do things to make people less discontent. So, but like the extra food, you, there's nothing to scoff at. All right, take the kids off that, put them in here. It's already on soup. So instead of two to four, the 50 rations we get will immediately go into. Like I said, five of them, which is why we did this. So it's gonna r immediately start converting it over, which is which is why we're, we're doing that. We're trying to get all the food over to it as well. So that's why we're that's why it's a timing window thing. A very very important timing window. All right, we can destroy that road. We can put that road back in, and we have the wall drill now. So I think I'll start with that one here. Oh, uh, no, it's not that I don't have enough of uh, that stuff. So tomorrow we'll, they'll have a place for that. So yeah, it's gonna say our steam cores, we just used our first one and our only one. But like I said, this building is amazing. This is really good. But it's necessary component in advanced technology. We can't manufacture steam cores in the city. Let's hope we find them, the scouts will find them, which we're working on scouts like right now. So, so we're gonna be doing that pretty much next. And that's, that's kind of where we kind of sit with that. So this is pretty much like, as I said, I think a mostly ideal city where it's like, you know, we have essentially we just converted all our food away. We can just do that. Put this back to the way it was and put the kids back on whatever. So so now it doesn't matter if the building isn't isn't uh, producing anything or has anybody in there. They will grab the food. They will just grab it. Um, and hopefully before they become starving, because if they become starving, that's a problem for me. So. They should go grab food when they're done. Yeah, yeah, you can see them going over there and the food's going down. So that's what you have to do. That's all you have to do. Pretty simple stuff. Um, and that, with that being said, that is the last time we get these guys to do working. They're, they're not going to essentially work in the piles anymore because tomorrow is uh, the temperature is about to drop. 
I also forgot to turn on the generator. Nobody say anything. <laughs> that's that's what I mean about it's it's a little bit sweaty to have the generator going. So you know, a little bit on the sweaty side. And it looks like we didn't finish the uh, we didn't finish the the whatever this thing is in time. But that's fine. I just double check to make sure nobody is in something that they're not supposed to be. Nope, it, we're all good. All right, they're gonna basically finish building it. We do have one extra space here, but I'm not really bothering with it, so you know that's pretty much it. Oh, this also needs to be. I put it on 24 hours. That's why it just came off of that, so it didn't make a difference. All right, and there you go. Also gets a big shift, and in preparation for tomorrow, because the temperature is gonna drop to two levels, so. We want to maintain chili at least, I'm going to say. So the, remember when I was blue and like at the third level? Uh, this is like at level four, so we want to do that. And so what we can do is, I guess we'll wait for the temperature to actually drop um, before we actually start messing with it, but yeah. It looks like the food actually worked out pretty well. Let's do, uh, let's see. I guess we could do a hunter's hut then. We can do two of these guys. So that's going to be our food situation uh, moving forward. Looks like they're still around. I thought they were going to go to sleep. <laughs> Apparently not. It's fine because I, I have a bunch of people not doing anything and not working. And that those would be people I would put into uh, essentially either scouts or something else. So We will do that in a moment. I'm just hoping that the uh, the research will finish at some point. They're actually working on it. So yeah, wall drill, amazing, by the way. Really great little building there. There you go. People from our convoy. Uh, we should now try and rescue the people left behind, build a beacon, scout the frost land. So even by the, the game standpoint, beacon comes a little later. Just from, the, like I said, just this scenario, I would say. All right, I can put, oh, I only have 15 people available, huh? Well, I'll use a second one anyways. It's not like it was a waste of resources anyways. I have a wall drill now, I don't care. Why is there nobody here? because uh, they're a uh, building. And not a big deal, like I said. Don't worry about it. Alright. So, temperature just dropped to 40 degrees. Um, so, what happens now is... Now we're at moderate risk of falling ill. Um, I don't think it's a risk of amputations yet, but it's going to overload our basically our medical facilities if we leave it like this. So, we can actually go to the temperature overlay and start turning on heaters for all these buildings. You get a good idea of where people are working too. Uh, so this consumes one coal as well, uh, but I have a lot of coal processing going on right now. Uh, but you can see it like right here that the heater's on. It's only when they're there as well. So you can just leave it on, you can just leave it be. It's okay. So this guy's going, it's gonna give me 9.5 wood per hour, which is like, if they work a 14 hour day, do the math. It's actually a lot of wood, it's pretty good. Uh, do we have our research yet? No, nope, it's just finishing now. All right, now we got our lovely new law we can do. So like again, we're doing an off cooldown every time. That's how we kind of do it. I almost knocked down my coffee. Um, we do it every time it's off cooldown. Uh, so we kind of watch for that. Uh, so I guess the next one we can do is we can start looking at radical treatment versus sustained life because no one's going to die. So we can kind of wait for that. And discontent is okay too. So um, so if you do sustain life, um, it would do, basically, yeah, they, you can't cure the gravely ill, but you can keep them alive. So that would mean if they're gravely ill, they're not going to die because in 24 hours they would die. If they're gravely ill and not re receiving attention. Um, this one's okay if you plan on getting um, an advanced medical facility fast-ish. Um, the other one is radical treatment, which would be if they're gravely ill, they get put into the medical posts. And they 30% chance that they'll get turned into an amputee. If you, they turn into amputee, you have to get prosthetics, which is an entire other production chain you have to do. Um, I've done sustained life sometimes, because sometimes I've been like, oh, I'm not planning on having amputees, or, or I'm not planning on doing the amputee chain for stuff. But we're kind of, this is actually usually the better one to do, because it gets them out. And even if they're an amputee, they just can't work, but like they don't do anything really. So that's why this one's actually pretty good to do. So. I would say it is a superior option, but I would say it does come down to pre personal preference and what scenario you're doing. It depends upon both. So there's no one gravely ill. It's just it's just one guy. If it said palliative care, that would be gravely ill. 
Uh, but it doesn't say that, so that's why you know it's not that. Alright, Beacon Researched. Let's do Hunter's Hut. Oh, no, no, sorry, that's Beacon. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Alright, so I'm hoping that we can get... I guess nobody's available, are they? Yeah, they're all working right now. What I'll do is I will send these workers away. So they'll go over here, and I'll show you a... Well, I, I, actually, you don't really have a movement over here. So why is this guy uh, going to go build three? Why do they not... Or were they not here? I don't even know. But it looks like this, this post is going to run out anyways as well, so... This guy's going to go run out. I can get rid of it, so... So... Alright, this guy's done. We can go get rid of that. Oh, and we have research to do. Right. Um, okay, so what do we do? I think I do steelworks. We want that we want that temperature stuff eventually, uh, but we don't have to do it right now. The the radius is actually gonna become more important. Actually, I almost should have done that, but I want steelworks, so. If they if they spend a day or two like being miserable, I don't care. <laughs> so we'll go with that. We do we kinda need the beacon. It takes a while for my my guys to get around, so we'll 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 start with that. Oh, child injured at work. So uh you get certain event chains. Usually the thing that raises hope is typically better, because what's one child? Uh but sometimes what it does is it, it goes into more stuff like you're like, oh you let like you let Jimmy go get off a day of work kind of a thing. But you don't really want hope to fall either, so I'll I'll let the hope go up kind of a thing, and that's fine. Ironically, that kind of offsets the the like the hope uh, going out. And it, it's still temporary though, but I don't know. If it's temporary, I guess it doesn't really matter. So, what's one child, right? Who cares? Okay, I care a little bit. Get back in the mines, Timmy. Fucker thinks he can just be lazy and play Fortnite all day. Seems to be jiggling a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna say that might be related to Proton, I don't know. Alright, we got two things to explore, Lost Extradition or Observatory. Oh, interesting. So this is a bit random, because the first time I think I played this, this was like a, a gloomy cave, and gloomy cave sucks. So we could actually send someone out. By the way, if you're if you're an absolute like sweaty pro gamer, uh, I wanna say. So one of the things you could do is you can send sick people out as workers and they will get better. Like they will they will heal while they're out there. Go figure. Uh, and they will not be sick, but I, I don't really need to do that. I only have one sickness. Uh should we do we'll do observatory for, first. We'll do let's do that one first to start. And this only gives me 13 food. We will actually probably not bother with that. We are, we have 14 rations still. I need to put the rest of these guys onto onto this one here. Do we have another uh Is this one like almost done? Yeah, we can Oh wow, it's just children, huh? And this is again, this is why like child labor is so good. So I right now have ten people in the mill, like for workers. I can see ten, like like basically thirty people doing food, ten people in the sawmill, and then I just have like the all my children are essentially are just like they're just collecting coal. Which is really great. If you didn't have that, they'd be sitting around eating food and not doing anything, you know? And that's why I'm saying it's so good to, to actually have that. It's really, really quite amazing. We'll probably overdrive this bad boy when we get to the point. So volunteers have lined up. Uh, so so basically, people chair as a giant ob ob observation balloon uh, soars above the city. Uh, this happens, uh, this is a real feat. Uh, everyone is really proud of the work they did to make it happen. Volunteers have lined up, uh, eager to go looking for our lost people in the process. And the woman who came for, for, uh, forward earlier is among them. We needed a win. So I've already sent them out. It, it, it didn't realize I already sent them out to go, so. Uh, so scouts will take a, a fair bit of time, so he's taking 13 hours to get here. Uh, if you send them to a place they've already been, they will go get there faster because they've already scouted there. So that's one of those important things that you'll see me doing a lot. Um, I'll show you again, obviously, when I get there, so. So I'm just gonna maximize the amount of food we get for the first night. I probably should also do the uh, the food upgrade too, but I don't know. I have to, I have to decide. 
when we get there. Now, the nice thing about them working so late is that they'll be out here in the middle of nowhere for quite a while, and then I can just essentially go, and when when they're off work, we can overdrive it so that it's another steam level, so there's the heat zone. It's two instead of one, so they're lower risk of falling ill, which, you know, can kind of, like, edge it out sometimes. Now, one of the things you probably noticed is that I, for the Hunter's Hut, I put them way out of the heat zone, like they're so far out here. Um, that's because they're not actually affected by heat at all. Uh, you can't even put uh, a thing in there. They work at night, and this is one of the really weird wonky parts of the way this works. Uh, is this actually done? Wait, oh no, it's storage in your capacity. That's what's going on. Okay. Now, so this is one of the weird wonky parts about how this works. Um, so hunters that are in the hunter's hut, um, they don't actually stay here. They go hunt. So that's what they're doing right now. You can see them going in the snow and they're gonna go hunt some shit. Uh, so they spend the night essentially, apparently that's when the animals are out. They don't come out during the day, they come out at night. Um, in the winter world, I guess, I don't know. Um, but that's what they're gonna do. Um, so you don't need to heat these at all. It does not matter. Um, there, there might be an argument for like them getting there, walking there kind of a thing, but like you cannot heat them, that's it. I'm sure the game does something where it maintains a certain amount of heat for them, uh, kind of a thing, for insulation or whatever, but I don't know. But yeah, they just kind of disappear. They're probably off in the snow land somewhere, hunting something, that's it. So like I said, not much you can do about that, so. And we just leave that the way it is. Uh, oh, we are so close to getting finishing the steel. I think after that I'll do the hunter's huts and then I'll do I'll do heat zone stuff. I'm just hoping that we don't get people that early. Because uh, I don't have enough rows here for that. <laughs> so, you know, so we're kind of like tapped out here now, right? Like even the workshop is kind of a little bit cold. Look at this thing. I could probably heat that too, actually, but... I mean, we have lots of coal, so we might as well, right? I guess I should have done that. And the, the cookhouse will obviously also need to be heated, but that's when I, when I get it working again, so... All right, now for, uh, I think what is the first or second most overpowered one. So extended shift is the most overpowered, I'd say. The next overpowered one is overcrowding. Um, and just to show you what the difference is, you can do extra rations for the ill, which is use extra rations in a medical facility, speed up recovery. So you're using food to get them out faster. Yeah, no. Or overcrowding, you make it literally twice as efficient. The capacity of the medical facilities is doubled, but using it will cause it discontent. We don't care about discontent here. Discontent will rise slightly just from doing the law, but it's temporary. So that is literally the best law, or, well, second best law, opposed to extended shifts. It is so good. It is so amazingly good. So that's the one you always go for, um, no matter what. So now instead of five capacity in these tents, now it's 10 capacity, which is, yeah, gonna be amazing. Uh, so when people start getting sick, especially because it's right now really bloody cold, uh, so we're going to see at the beginning of the day, people are going to start getting sick. Um, they heal at the same rate. They heal at the same rate. Uh, here's survivors. So there are survivors here. Uh, well, I guess I guess we don't have a choice, so might as well start doing it. Actually, I probably should have done Lost Expedition first, then. I don't think there's anything else here. You know what? We're going to hold on to them, then. I'm going to just go back, then. I'm not going to bother with them. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. I just, I just kind of looked at it, I was like, nah, there's no reason to do it. Alright, so, because they're all going to work, we turn off overdrive. Someone's upset. Protective mother. Mother refused to have her daughter go to work. She's afraid she'll get injured. We can look the, the, the other way this time, but others might see it as unfair. Um, we can say nothing will change, and won't make an exception, or this child won't work for 24 hours, hope will rise slightly. We can just do that, let them uh, the up, I don't care. You've noticing a recurring thing that I just don't care. You know, <laughs> it, it these are not big deals. I don't think that one goes into a really extensive chain. It's only if you start like, uh, they'll go like double rations for children who work overtime, I think is one of the things that they'll do. Potentially, because um, they're growing bodies or something, uh, some bullshit like that is what they do. So, uh, so we did Steelworks. We're going to do Hunter's gear next, because I said I was going to do that. Because we have a bit of food here. Again, that we don't actually have anyone who's hungry yet. If they're not hungry, it doesn't matter. We do have 26, which is enough for like half the population. So that's why we probably need a little bit more food than that. All right, we can disassemble this guy and I'll put the kids into these. Kids won't construct things though, I'm pretty sure. So 
Yeah, no, nobody's nobody's coming over here to deconstruct that. So they'll they'll do it when the when the day is over. So so that's over. So now we're just down to these last two coal mines that the uh, the kids are working right now. So you're doing it. Oh, and there you go. We're already using our eight uh, eight capacity right there. So which is great. So we're already making good use of that now. Uh, yeah, it's gonna complain about storage or capacity. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. And then after I do this research, we're gonna start doing uh, range upgrades and stuff like that, so I can actually have these people over here. I know the, I know the, I know the other one does do. So Lost Expedition is definitely gonna be more people coming in. So the thing I'm, I, I have that last slot there. The thing I'm kind of debating is I'm trying to hold off to see if I need to make another medical facility. I don't think I do, but we might need to. So we'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> We may need to make another one, we'll see. Um, but, like, we can maybe hold out until the temperature rises? Uh, who knows? We'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That's why, like, I'm just waiting for that one. It's not like I can use that for anything else important, so... Uh, we'll do range upgrade to start, and then I'll do the 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 power upgrade. And then we gotta figure out our coal situation, because... How much coal do we have left? Uh, 332... 330... 358... Yeah, so we got... A little bit coal left. It will last us, but not terribly well. So we should be okay for until like uh, until like three more researches. Essentially, was what it's going to need. Oh, we're actually full on wood too, so we could actually just do something. But I guess prematurely, what I'll do since I have all this wood to use. Uh, let's see. Let's go one, two, three. It's already starting to... Oh, no, this this one's actually okay. So we'll make some places for them to go here. That should be okay. Yeah, they're still good on work absences and things like that, so... Eight is good. Eight is fine with me right now, and they're going to go off and... Fortunately, some of them are sick, but we do have, look at that, 18 food rather than what was it before, like... I don't know, like 13 or something. Yeah, so we got a lot more food out of that now. Um, fortunately, people are going to be a little bit hungry. That's okay. What I can actually do now is I can go make it so that next day they're going to go immediately make soup. Um, so I'm just putting all the kids into the into the building here. This one is one you do not actually need to do um, full hours for. That's fine. Uh, here's your survivors. Happy reunion. We enter the camp. Uh, by the way, nobody died while we weren't there. It's always the same, so there's no rush to go there and do this. Uh, but Acquire Excited a Voices uh, welcomes us. Thank God you found us. We were wondering for days, and, and, and we couldn't go any longer. Soon we'd begin to starve. Children are out to surround us, packed, ready to go. So you have the option to escort them or send them, and some of them may die. It'll take longer. You always es escort. Every single time you escort. You don't. You, that's a non-option, by the way. You always escort uh, them back. Why is no one dismantling this? One second. Let's try it again. Uh, I guess it's midnight. No one will do it now, but yeah. So, with that in mind, we are going to need more food. So, we'll prepare for tomorrow by adding another hunter's hut. Because we just added a few more people to the city. Uh, which we technically don't really need right now. Uh, but we gotta kind of get the story progressing anyways. So... Well, I actually might just make an additional hunter set. What, what is he bringing back? 22 workers. Uh, do I have enough? Do I have some workers that are just sitting here? I do. You know what? It's one of those things that we have so much wood right now. Oops. I don't didn't want to do that. We have so much wood right now that there's actually no, no downside to doing this. I like how this cleared out snow. Okay, so what what's the deal with this? Why does it never... <laughs> why does it never get dismantled? I guess uh, they should dismantle it soon, I think. All right, so here we go. We do have some sick here, so I will go do a medical post. I, I It should get rid of some of them. Oh, here they are. All right, so now we can go to... Gloomy Cave sucks, by the way. Um, so that one we're gonna avoid. I think I'll go to the Sturdy Shelter, though. So Gloomy Cave is more people, and again, you've noticed that I don't need a lot of people right now. Um, 
I'm trying to avoid getting more people into the colony just for a little bit. And then, then, then there's observatory. So we're sending him back to the place we've already been, and then I'm going to send him to the sturdy, sturdy shower. So there's no sign of movement here, that's what it says. Um, and we already know there's survivors in there, so... Do you feel the utter despair? I feel the utter despair. Alright, it's heartwarming to see uh, families you reunited after so many hardships, but shouldn't there be other settlements nearby? Our first expeditions left lo on London a long time ago. <clears throat> they, ought to, they ought to be well established by now. They'll surely help us uh, find our footing. So, there you go, look at that. A little bit of, little bit of hope. Alright, so we find a trail leading into the wilderness. We should follow it. Find other people and ask them for help uh, to to uh, ensure our survival. So we're supposed to, we're looking for another settlement right now. If we kind of go to the map, we can kind of see that's where it kind of is, over there. So I'm just letting them build where they need to. We'll put the, we'll put more kids into these things. Uh, I'm going to put all the kids into here for now. I, I still don't know why it's not doing that. Is it because it's not connected by road? I thought I thought a building didn't have to be connected by road. God, do I have to actually spend wood to dismantle it? I'm gonna still wait to see if it does it. Boom. Time to get to work. I think I I think it may need to be. Oh, okay, now they're going. Okay, thank God. <laughs> Just like like confused. Okay, so now we have enough food. Uh, they should basically get enough food now to prevent their starvation or whatever. Um, I'm just trying to get the medical facility going because uh, we got seven sick now. I'm kind of also waiting on the the radius upgrade too. Uh, let's do sturdy shelter. Yeah, let's go there. So, we're, like I said, we have like a full 24 hours before people start dying from that, so that's that's why it's fine. And these these kids will be perfectly fine at dealing with all of this. Generate research up range upgrade. All right, so there we go. We got our little heat radius upgrade, as you can see. A little bit better now. Perfectly good, which means we don't need to heat these guys anymore. This unfortunately does mean that, uh, if I pause it here, uh, it does raise the amount of coal consumption. So that has gone up. So it's now saying it's three 340 per day is being used. Luckily, like I said, we do gather a fair bit of coal and all that kind of stuff right now. So we're still good for now, and what we can also do on top of that, we can do another power upgrade. And then after that, we certainly have to start doing, like, coal thumping, essentially, is what we have to do. Uh, there's our double rations for kids. Uh, if you do this... Uh, I forget, does that actually fucking do anything? I don't remember. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's accidents. That's what it is. I don't think they have accidents, do they? One second. I need to, I'm gonna double check this. Okay, I looked it up a little bit because I forgot exactly what it does. Um, so the way it works is when you have them working, uh, so working children, that is, if they are working, um, they will start consuming twice as many rations. That's really bad. Uh, but they won't get hurt anymore when you say nothing will change. That's what it does. Um, considering that you're putting them in safe jobs, they don't get hurt very often. And, and when they get hurt, they just go into a medical facility and that's it. Um, most of the what I wanted out of them is, is good, but yeah, we you don't do this one. This one's really bad. So no, we can't afford it. I wasn't sure about it, I'll say, so <laughs> that's why I had to look it up. Because I wasn't I wasn't entirely sure about how, how it worked out, so I'm gonna put that guy into there. But now now I know. And knowing knowing is uh yeah. We don't need so many kids on this now. Uh, so you can kind of leave it to like two children. And the reason I leave it to like two is that that essentially accounts for uh, any situation. I just realized that also we're not making any steel for steelworks. Yeah, we, we kind of need that actually. Let's get that going now. That would explain why I thought that we had something. I, it's not a big deal. We still have like 92 steel. I, did, I just do, I do have to do that. So we gotta we gotta throw that down, and what we'll likely do is also start thinking about some steam uh, stuff. But I'll I'll show you what that is a little later. Steam steam vents, that's what that is. 
So we can't really... So we could do... Uh, so some of the things we unlocked was Care House. I don't really go for that. Uh, but there, down there, prosthetics is what you do when you have amputees. Um, you go down there, you can make them. I don't know why you need a law for that, to be honest. Uh, but, you know, <laughs> it is a law. Uh, so it's down here. So basically, gravely known amp amputees will be cared for in low-cost special homes. So they would basically use... They eat half as much, essentially, is all that happens. Um, uh, pretty okay if you have a lot of them. It gets them out of also the... If you do... Uh, what, what's the other one? The um, uh, sustained life. It would put them into there as well. Not a bad option. Uh, triage, if you're using this, you're doing something wrong. Um, so so you can use triage at medical facilities to instantly heal half of your patients. Um, a fourth of them, though, will die instantly. Hope will fall discontent wounds. So if you ever need that, you don't, uh, you've don't. you done something wrong. I actually might do corpse disposal too, but we can kind of wait on that, I guess, for now. Um... Because, actually, no, that one's a really good one, to be honest. Because then there's also Fighting Arena, which I kind of want to go into. All right, we're going to do co Corpse Disposal. So this one's a kind of a funny one. Um, so when you die, you go into into the into the snow pit. <laughs> uh, I'll throw that right over here, is what I'll do. So you want to keep that outside of a heat zone, which is why I'm putting it next to all these things I'm never going to heat anyways. Like, the beacon doesn't need heating. Everything else doesn't need heating here, so... So that's that's one of the things you want to do. You want to make sure that they're not in in the way there. So you know, they're out. Of, they're safely out of the way. Hey, we're gonna have double another heat rising soon. Nice. Temperature's about to go up. So yeah, no, that's uh, we we put them in the snow pit, and it's not a fun place. It's a place where they die and they get put in there. But the law that comes after is really good. Also, discontent is going crazy. Overcrowded. People are hungry. Overtime work. So they eventually might get pissy with me and then go like, uh, hey, we're going to, you know, uh, we're going to be mad at you or, until you lower it, which you kind of don't want to get into that spot. Um, so what I could do is I could just lower these two is what I'll do. So it went down a little bit is what I mean about like it's the bad food that also does it because they're constantly eating the terrible stuff and the overcrowding and all that kind of stuff. It's all go it's all kick again right now. So. You kind of have to deal with, with, with that, so this is a part of the management. So if you did do sawdust, you'd have a lot more to work with, and I'm kind of at the, at the cap of it. It's starting to, like, it's blinking at me, okay? It's, 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 it's very intimidating. It's just blinking at me. We will probably have to get steelworks going, though. I'm going to need the coal thumper, too. Uh, I guess they didn't finish the power upgrade. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll raise overdrive, actually. Is what I'll do. I probably should have done that to begin with. I didn't really use my overdrive a whole lot. Uh, yeah, okay, so it was actually them being cold in their in their little tents. That's why they were pissed off at me. So we got wood, food rations, steam floors, explorer. And there you go. That's a lot of uh, resources. This is why scouts are really good, by the way. Um, so the, the shelter is, uncomf uh, is comfortable and well cooked to deal uh, with emergency supplies. No supposed to at the door to all scientists. If you use any supplies, remember to notify the quartermaster on your return to the city. This means there's another city out here. Signpost tra um, it's signpost by the trail points in two directions. London, 1934 miles. Home, uh, home, 27 miles. Steel bridge. So we'll go, we'll go to this one now. So there is a city somewhere. Somewhere nearby, somewhere. Oh, someone did get really hungry. Asshole. He screwed it all up. Because uh, he, he ate two rations, because he's a jerk. He shouldn't have. All right, now we have 17 people in, in, uh, in the hospitals. But the two I have are still enough. 18, yeah, so they're kind of like swapping it a little bit. Well, people are getting a little bit more sicker than they usually would be, so... But, like, the hungry, on any difficulty, they'll just try to eat once a day, is what they kind of do, so. Which is fine. So, yeah, it was, it was by the way, it was the heat, which, which was the reason why they were so pissy with me, so. And that's why they were mad. All I can say is whoopsie-daisy. But don't, don't worry, we, we kind of solved that. If only it had bunkhouses, that would have solved everything. Yeah, always keep the uh, like I said. Workshops are, by the way, the best thing to keep on like uh, like six to six to like the like the extended hours six to what is that eight? Yeah, six to eight, because that that's like more research time. Like, come on, guys. 
Research time, very important. Alright, there's one... Oh god, there's... Okay, there's a lot of people sick. <laughs> uh, I'm wondering if I should just throw down another hospital. I may not need that, though. Alright. Uh, Alright, so let's go into the Coal Thumper now. Do we want Coal Thumper? I think we want Coal Thumper, right? Yeah, we need a Coal Thumper. And then after that, I'll, I'll make all the other stuff. And there's also this thing here. I'm just debating if there's anything else I should do here. So, by the way, it only went down by one, one temperature uh, meter, essentially. Oh, that was nothing. Sorry. For some reason, I thought this guy had reached there. It was uh, actually this guy. So one of the things you could do is organ transplants. You could use the body parts of our deceased to save lives and accelerate heating. This uh, this way, dead can continue contributing to survival city. This is why this is why corpse disposal is better. Um, now I know what you're saying. Um, nobody has actually died in this city yet. That doesn't matter. That bonus happens anyways. So we could probably get away with just keeping it like this then. We get, we can we can get away with not bot not bothering to make another place for the sick to go because I have two medical posts right so there's a oh there's like a kid that's not here a second I want to make sure it's going at full capacity because there's some hunger here too so so we'll leave it be we'll see what happens so when they're outside not getting sick they they will become after a day I think like gravely sick so we'll see if we need to do that I don't think we need to I'll just leave it the way it is it's okay. You got plenty of uh, people here. Oh, there's an automaton. All right. So there's an automaton. Uh, you get weather station large convoy. So a functional automaton. We stopped at the edge of the deep, wide ravine, marveling at the steel bridge uh, spanning it. Even with um, even so, uh, more so, the huge automaton now sweeping the snow from the roadway. It would be possible to send the machine back to our city and disas or disassemble for resources. So if you send it to the city, you get an automaton. If you disassemble it, you get two steam cores and you get an additional uh, 93 steel. This is a bit of a thing because automatons technically only require one steam core. So it actually gives you a bonus steam core to go with it. Uh, this is like, it is actually a really hard choice and the, the, the game is full of hard choices. That's what it's all about. Um, personally though, I like to send it to the city because that's essentially, again, um, automatons are really nice. You could send it back and you can make like coal like mines or something. You could do that too. Uh, but the thing is like, I, automatons don't have to be fed, right? And that's, that's the nice thing about it. It's 10 people don't, don't have to work in a building and it's really good early on. Check out that one. All right, so long term, or long hours of toil. So now they're starting to get pissed about the extended shifts. Um, so some people are worn out. Uh, some of them have been working on extended shifts or days at end. Their effort is taken as twelve, become um, uh, restless. They deserve a break. So if I, say agree, if I if I say three days, I cannot use extended shifts for three days. Or otherwise, they'll get mad. Um, I'm not. I have no plans of doing that. So I'm going to let the discontent go up. Um, it's temporary, who cares, but that's just the disadvantage of keeping it, keeping it going, so. Uh, deserted bridge, finding a bridge to winter home pr proved that we're on the right track, uh, but it raised some questions. Why was it, why was the bridge deserted? Why was the automaton, uh, under the care of an engineer? Um, there are logical explanations to all, but people are growing anxious. All right, we'll find out, and hope is going to fall slightly. So we'll keep that going. I'm not sure if I can... I'm just trying to rearrange some of this stuff. It's our coal uh, consumption versus... So it says I don't have a lot, but... I, I think I do have a lot, do I not? I think it's just complaining because I'm uh, using steam level 2, I guess. Consumption goes down pretty significantly when I reduce it, so let's do that. I'll use the overdrive or something, but like, look at this. This is perfectly livable, the temperature. It's fine. The idea is you can throw a... Uh, you can throw one of the machines in one of these buildings, and that's it. Actually, I should do that. Uh, I'm not sure if I need... You know what? I'm going to get them to go work in these buildings now. Because actually, I need that more than a hunter's head at the moment. We have plenty of food, so... This is the nice thing about soup, right? Oh, there you go. So all the people are in the hospitals now, so nobody's outside of it, which is good. All right, Coal Thumper finished. Um... Now, what to do next? So we now have a fair bit of options. More scouts is not bad. Uh, what else? 
I kind of want a steam hub though, and then I'll probably do. I, why did it flicker? I don't know. Um, I'll probably do the other one after that. It's a flash blizzard. That's what it was. So we got this guy Atomaton coming back, so he'll hop out. I'm sure. Like two steam cores is a lot, but you do have some scenarios here. You do have options for more of them, more steam cores here. So that's why I wouldn't necessarily do it. I'm gonna turn these back to all the time. Actually, uh, they're gonna go eat. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Actually, yo, we can just keep it. You can just keep it the way it is, then. I turned it off from before, so we'll just keep it off. Because our coal is actually pretty good. We just need to make a thumper and some other stuff, so. Welcome to the thumper zone. Alright, so we're going to throw down a thumper, I think, right here. That's probably a good place for it. That's why I'm also making the, the little steam hubs, because that's going to make a nice little heat zone around this area here, and we're going to put it, we're going to put that down. And to go with it, we're going to also need, I believe, two gathering posts. So what it does is it kind of just poops out, like, um, a pile of, of coal, like, right on top of this is what it does. That's basically all it does, so. And I'm probably gonna just gonna make that uh, automaton basically just kind of sit here and do nothing, so. I'll throw down also two more tents. So we're, we're just kind of shuffling some things around uh, and, and kind of getting it to go. Cookhouse could probably stay. Workshops, I usually just, I move somewhere else at some point um, and just deconstruct it. Oh, we got survivors. So we will escort these ones back to the city. Um, because we're not going to lead them to their fate. That's that's mean. We can't do that. So I didn't. I I, I kind of forget which ones actually give us people. So uh, there is also, by the way, a stat here under housing. So vacant beds fourteen. I just added two more. So I'm going to have thirty four. So we need more housing than that. So sooner or later we're going to have to start shuffling this around. But luckily we have enough. Uh, We've kind of survived the worst of the first bit of it, uh, but for the second bit, we need to definitely have a better, more sustainable coal source, because I'm basically still going through these guys. These little little coal patches, you know. But like I said, that's, what, that's where we start bringing more workers in, so we have more efficient food sources now, too, so that's also pretty good. But I usually don't, I don't let up on the, on the, uh, what's it called? I don't let up on, like, the soup. Um, probably ever for the entire thing. It's just like, I just have that discontent and I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, you know? They may not be okay with it, but I'm okay with it, so. So, you see, they're gonna be request ignored, so they're kinda mad about that, so. What can you do? What can you do? I can start the coal, but we don't really need that because we do have these two guys going, so I can't really divide them up accordingly, so. But having this guy go back is actually not a bad idea. Um, what I might do actually is go for the. I'm probably gonna go for the extra scout after the steam hub. It's likely what we're gonna do after that. Get going. Time to earn your so the steam hub is gonna basically allow me to have like another heat zone kind of here. So the main one is always around the generator. So, which actually brings up the good question, which is I'm sure someone has brought this up because uh, I know it's been debated on the internet a little bit, but because you know we're all nerds. Yeah, let's let's be fair, we're all nerds, but. Why on earth have a, and this is, this is the thing that everyone says, why on earth have a generator that's an open generator for heat where it's just escaping all over the place, right? Why have that when you can do like a dome, you can do, I don't know, there's like a thousand other better solutions potentially to like this whole like uh, impending ice age thing, right? And there's actually, there is actually a good reason for that. Um, so the, they actually allude to it a lot in the, in the mission. So first of all, you're dealing with 1800s essentially technology, which is all steam, coal, whatever, blah, 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 right? Um, so you could say that, oh, if you're going to be making a, a thing, like, why, first off, why are you going up north is the first, the first question. Why, why on earth are we going up north where it's colder? Um, and also, why did they make this open thing? Why didn't they make a dome around it, blah, blah, blah. So, um, and it's kind of explained in the game pretty well. Uh, but it's also like, I mean, I'll, I'll kind of go through it. So it's essentially like, this was one of many things. So there was an impending ice age. They didn't know it was going to be an ice age, right? You can talk about hindsight, but we're talking about hindsight right now, right? So the generators were good enough for this kind of task is they were doing this for expeditions. And then they made a couple more just in case things got really bad, right? But this isn't the only thing they were doing, right? This is British 1800s, right? So they had like colonies, right, in the south. 
Um, so like I guess like Australia, uh, India, place like there, uh, some African places as well, uh, because you know col colonization, right? So colonization, whatever. Um, so that was that was also a plan too, is to to mass move everybody to warmer climates as well, which is something I did get executed on. However, it's it's kind of alluded as well in the lore a little bit that um, chaos did occur there because obviously too many people in that area. So a lot of, you know, protests, violence, failing crops, blah, blah, blah. And snow fell in India. So we they, they, they kind of purposely leave it a little bit open and they don't really tell you what happened down there. But you can be guaranteed that, like, it's not better there either. So, and potentially everything fell apart there because if there's no food and there's no heat or anything, you know, if it's anything, you know, I mean, I guess it's negative 30 here, but like you can assume down there, it's probably maybe like around zero or something. But there's no food. So people are just starving or killing themselves, you know, things like that. So the reason they went to the north um, was because it's untouched. There's a, there's a ton of resources, a ton of coal, a ton of things like that. Um, there's like, you know, not much of a problem there, right? Uh, so lots of resources there to deal with. Uh, it looks like this one's done. Coal pile depleted. Which one? This one? Oh, yeah, it's done. Um, so yeah, the, no resources anymore. So that's 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 a good one. Uh, so yeah, plenty of resources. It's also out of the way. People aren't going up north. People are trying to go south. They're fleeing south, right? So that's another compelling reason of why why they're doing that. And so and and like like I said, it, it makes a pretty compelling reason actually for for that to be the case. Um, so so that's kind of why they said that's why they did that. Um, and also, you know, my my non-lore explanation is because the government was in control of it and the government fucks up everything. So, uh, so er literally everything can be explained away way by the government was in charge of this. So this is a typical government operation and they fucked it up. So, you know, that's 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 what you could say. That's what you could actually say. That's that's my personal. That's not canon, but that's that's what I like to say. <laughs> but it's it's a good it's a good argument um, for that kind of thing. Uh, but you know, again, it's just uh, it's just a video game, right? You know, that's that's really what you have to uh, say to yourself at the end of the day. It's just a game, you know, and it's it's just for fun. Oh, I do have the I do have the Steam. Let's do the Steam Hub right here. All right, toss that right in there. So we're gonna get a nice little steam hub there and that will be quite nice. I also didn't heat this one up and I also didn't make this guy work full time, that's fine. All right, scouts returned. Uh, I got a couple things to do here, let's see. So I can start going to these observatories and gloomy caves and stuff. So I'm gonna go back to the observatory. They go fast because they've already been there. So we'll just do some of that. Uh, let's see, we have a new so the last one after this one is organic fertilizer. Um, this is to spend essentially fertilizer, uh, sorry, f spend corpses to make fertilizer in hothouses. Um, we're not going to do that because A, I don't think I'm doing hothouses, and B, uh, you need corpses, <laughs> which we're not going to have any because uh, I'm already doing pretty well. I think at this point we're going to probably be able to finish it out. So we're going to do fighting arena now is what we're going to do. So that would be, we have to build it. So that's going to be a, an interesting one. I'll show you how I make that. So typically, and if you've noticed, I've kind of been at a point now where I've kind of made this work out pretty well. It's like, I'm going to try and... Uh... Okay, these work out. Oh my god, it gets so fat over here. One second, I'm going to dismantle these. I was hoping it wouldn't get so fat, but it is going to get fat. Sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to, I'm trying to work out the houses so that I can fit more into this look there you go see see how you see how much space lives left over because I did that little uh, little trick there anyways uh, so the way I usually work it out is uh, fighting arena has like a little bit of a radius around it so what I try and do is I try and hit them all but I I put it outside of the heat zone uh, this is perfectly fine to do uh, you can you can absolutely do this and it just raises discontent in all those buildings so you can put three down you can put them outside and that's fine uh, because they actually don't spend that much time there. Uh, remember, it's how often they're in a heat zone. It will eventually be in a heat zone um, at some point because I want it to be in the middle here. It will eventually be there, but uh, yeah, we don't we don't really care. Uh, so we just do this, and then discontent goes down. Blah blah blah. We're fine. Uh, we'll get people to work the this thing, and I got to put more kids in here. I have a lot of engineers now. Uh, so we're probably going to start making a engineer zone. 
Or either that or I can just kind of put more, throw them somewhere down over here, can't I? Well, I, can, I can't see what it looks like right now, so we'll just wait for them to put it up. I'm going to put, probably put up two more workshops. Just waiting for them to build something. It'd be useful. Because <laughs> I'm like, we actually have a lot of uh, leeway here. Oh, we need, we need to actually, this is more important actually. So interesting thing, um, worker, uh, engineers are snobs and will not go hunt food. Just saying. They're kind of snobs. They will no they will not grab food, so we actually need more food than that, so. And what I'll do is I'll put the engineers into this building instead. Food is actually, like, the most important thing, actually, for the time being. Well, obviously. We're, we're in a post-apocalyptic uh, landscape. Who would have thought that food would be the most important thing? But we're going to bring some more people back as well, so. As we build this all up, so. Better to have too much food than too little. So there you go. Finding arena built. We're all good now. They're happier about that now. Uh, apparently there's some sick kind of waiting around. All right, here's the observatory. Again, we will escort them to the city. That's a lot of engineers, a lot of workers, and some kids. A AKA coal mine bait or something, I don't know. <laughs> coal mine bait. Yeah, where, where are these gravely sick and why are they not going to the hospital? Because I have two hospitals open. All right, let's get that heat zone. I'm gonna say let's get that heat zone, but it's he's just not doing it. There's a lot of people not doing what they're supposed to right now, let me just say that. Hello, Mr. Automaton. These things are actually really cool. I, I this is why I like the universe kind of a thing going on here. And I, I just like the whole like it's 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 kind of like man versus nature rather than like any kind of combative. Uh, thing. So what I could do is, because this thing is so far out, and I, I do have a fair bit of wood, I could throw the automaton onto this. So automatons work all the time, but they're just not as efficient. So the efficiency dropped to like 60%, right? But I don't have to heat it. It could be way outside of anything. It doesn't matter. And I can allocate these people elsewhere, you know? And that's why it's so good. So I could probably go get another hunter's hut, actually. What are you complaining about? Using automatons. Oh, our first automaton is operational. This will help the economy greatly. Uh, they can replace entire manual uh, uh, labor crews. They can work around the clock with short breaks to refuel up the generator. We can research facilities to raise their efficiency capacity. Yeah. So the the uh, refueling process is really fast, as far as I know. They kind of just go to it. So what you can do actually for that, and it's a little 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 trick you can do here. You can put a steam hub right next to it and just unpower it is all you do. And that counts as a place that they can do it at, which is really cool. I, I actually like that part about it. But yeah, they, they basically don't care about heat. They don't care about anything. And it's just like, they will just continue to do it. So instead of getting nine, we get like 8.2, but that's fine. And by the way, if you really like them, there's an entire tree here of all, basically all this stuff here is all basically automaton stuff. So you make them more efficient, you can make them work at medical places, you can make them work at engineering places, that one's really good. That one's actually one of the best ones you can do. Um, and you can just kind of make them and, and do whatever. You don't need it so much for this scenario, uh, but we'll see if we can do it, because uh, I, I kind of like them, they're really cool. They're they're like one of my favorite uh, little guys there, so. All right, more scouts. Uh, let's see. So it would either be medical post upgrade, or I go into the next year of science. Let me think here. What's coming up? Uh, just looking at the next tier, if there's anything really worthwhile, or should I just do that? I mean, a medical post is just really good, but I don't. You know what? This actually requires a lot of resources. I'm gonna just use it because it uses up my my already hugely used resources by the way i'm i'm watching for it to be white so i have to like move it in kind of a thing i think in this one i may not do that though so i could put two workshops there and also by the way you can like middle click basically moves it around so yeah i can't really get another one in here uh there's a reason for that because there's gonna be so the all the coal thumper does and i haven't really explained the coal thumper um it just brings out coal onto the top here, and then gathering posts pick it up, which is why it requires more people. Um, that's that's essentially why it does. Uh, is the yep yeah, the we could get another bit of scouts coming over here. 
So we got another scout party that can roam around now, too. Uh, so that's why we kind of do this, is because it has, like, two over there. Also, uh, let's go over here, turn that one off. And we can also set this one so that it's only, it's only functioning at... Uh, so this is a steam vent. It's heating up this entire area by the same amount that the that the uh, generator is doing it. And I'm just gonna set it to 16, basically 14 hour work day. So when they're here, it, they're basically getting more heat. You can see the heat kind of go up there as well. It's actually quite nice when you do that kind of thing. All right, more people are in the city. That's fine. We still have enough uh, of everything. I am going to hate the gloomy cave, but maybe we should avoid it. I don't know. How much space do we have left in the in the in, in my uh how how homes? Fifteen. Yeah, we can make that work. That's fine. I can I can I can I can deal with that. Going to the gloomy cave. Gloomy cave is literally ass and I hate it, and you're gonna you're gonna figure out why. The pain that is the gloomy cave. I'm gonna put two more to there. I probably should get one more guy. Yeah, you know, we have so many engineers actually. So we're going to make the engineers do that. And by the way, engineers absolutely do not mind working in places they're not supposed to. That, that They're fine with that, so. Yeah, we'll do something like that. And three more in there. There we go. Uh, we can do one more child. Sorry, I'm just I'm rearranging some stuff here, workers. I could probably actually just put all the children onto this one here. Just trying to figure out how to rearrange this. No, it's all engineers, really? Oh, never mind. I have four workers available. I'll put one more over there. I'll put the rest into... Yeah, so we, we have lots of food rations. So the thing we can start actually concerning ourselves with now is... We actually make resource depots. Um, so I can put I can put a couple down. By the way, turn this one off. So we don't need... Nothing here needs to be heated. It's just a place for the automaton to go. To go refuel. Even when it's off, they can do it. Don't ask me why. I, I don't I don't really know. I don't, don't ask me to explain things. Also, I have like 52 people hungry for whatever reason. But the thing about a cookhouse is it has to be something that's that's essentially powered all the time. But we should should is a key word. Think about moving it. So one two. So this would be a good place for it because we're gonna have effectively uh, one ring, two ring, and then this is the uh, this is the third ring. Which is why, like, I gave it enough space for... Actually, no, that's not right. One second. That's incorrect. I just realized I did it based on a workshop. So one, two. It would be up here. So when a building, and if you've noticed this, it hits the bottom part of it, despite the fact that the building is is uh, big enough that it would be slightly outside of it, it's still affected by the heat radius, which is what we like. Uh, we got a lot of options here. What do we do? Let's see. There's a steam coal thumper. That one's pretty good. Uh, there's more heating. Well, actually, there's more efficiency, so you would use less uh, fuel. Is what that that's what that one is. Uh, we can we can allow the, us to so overdrive couplings makes it raise the temperature zone by two when we do overdrive rather than one. Uh, not important right now. Improved heaters is okay, but we don't really need that one. Steam hub upgrade. That one's a that one's a radius one. Don't not really important. I usually don't use that actually at all. Uh, let's see, what's here? Lighter scout slides is actually really good. We may go for that first. Um, outpost depot is also pretty nice as well, but we don't need those right now. Immediately, there's no outposts. Outposts is a concept we'll get into a little bit later. We're going to have that. Uh, we just don't we don't know where any of them are. Uh, faster gathering, that we will need that eventually because we are actually gathering stuff from the coal that we have in the other place, but it's not important right now. Um, steam still works pretty good because that's a straight upgrade, and we need more steel. Maybe we should do that first. And there's also flying hunters and stuff, but that needs a lot of steel to upgrade. Like, look at this. This is ridiculous. So that's why, like, that's more of a steel investment that we need to do, like, sooner than later, so. So it's a choice between lighter sleds or the steam workshop. I will do the steam workshop, and then I'll do sleds after that. Because sleds makes the scouts move faster. Those are really nice, too. Is there a reason why, again, I, I run into this several times now. Oh, there you go. Now there's five people working on it. We just had to reset it a couple times. Again, I don't know why there's always people that are hungry. It doesn't make any sense to me, but I'm just going to give them another place to go to and hopefully that'll work out. Is it because they're not pathfinding correctly? That actually might be the reason. Oh, and we can do this one now. Okay, so now we have more science going. That's good. 
So, diminishing returns, so I think it's like, the first one is 100%, then when you have the second one, it's like 130, and then after that's like 110, and then now it's like, yeah, I don't, I don't know what, sorry, like, I don't know. That, that may not make a lot of sense, but it's diminishing returns, so workshops, building a lot of them. Like, two is usually good for the early game, and then after that, it's like nothing, so. Uh, I'm going to put down, though, a couple of these guys. I'm just storing some steel and stuff. Just making some places for them to store resources. Uh, I can do one more for, like, wood. Uh, is that... Was that a re resource depot? Oh, for some reason it just had a different look to it, so... I'm doing that just so I can raise my capacity, so now I can have a lot more coal, I can have a lot more steel, all that kind of stuff, so... We... I like to have a little bit of extra stored around, so... But food rations is one of them that I do. Uh, steel's one. And then this one is... Did I do two steel? I, d I totally did two steel. Uh, we do we can do wood for this one. So this way we keep it more, and then the last one I'll do coal. Just because it lets me have a little bit more over, so it says two days. You don't really need this, uh, the last one here at least, but... I, I don't have much else to do with the resources I have right now, so I just kind of keep a little bit around. What's your problem? Building. Alright, crash light. Uh, some wood and some raw food. We can take the resources, that's it. He doesn't have anything else. So we could go drop this off, and then we can go head all the way up there. Okay, last one's coal. So get ready for the pain. Alright, for absolutely no reason, we're going to do a, a hard save here. For no reason whatsoever. Alright, so... This event here is a piece of shit. <laughs> so, glue the cave, beset by bees. We can hear terrified shrieks coming from the cave uphill. Uh, cave uphill. We come closer, there are several polar bears that turn towards us, blocking the entrance. There are people trapped inside, those bees are picking them off one by one, feasting on them. Alright, so we can either leave the bears alone, which they'll just kill the survivors, or we can risk attacking them, which we get a bunch of people. So, if you're doing the ideal case, um, your scouts will escort them to the safe zone. If they survive, they may die. It's completely random, not seeded at all. It probably should have been seeded, honestly, in this game, but if you're doing some kind of achievement where you keep them all alive, uh, this doesn't count as them dying, but we'll see if it, they succeed. They did succeed. They will randomly die. Uh, there's two events in this scenario that can do that. Um, this is the first one, and it and everyone hates it. If you're playing on survivor mode, you cannot reload, so you know can't save scum it. Uh, you know, <laughs> so what can you do? So our scouts got to attack the bears. People in the cave, uh, three children, 18 engineers, 12 workers joined them, and they drove the beasts away. They will all set out towards the city. All right, they're all happily ever after coming back to my city. Temperature falls. Let's raise the uh, the temperature. So that's all there. That's all there really is to it. Why is this one it, like for some reason that one wasn't on soup? But Aaron's, I'm not gonna have that one actually be on because this one's still on right now. It's still fine. We we would have to heat it or do something weird with it. So uh, I'm not gonna bother. Looks like they're actually eating now, so it's all good. All right. Um, so now we get uh, two new options. We get uh, Dueling Law, which is disagreements with people who face deadly threats every day can be resolved in a duel. Discontent will be reduced permanently. Each spontaneous duel will re re slightly reduce the discontent, but sometimes they'll be killed, so we don't sign that because they all die. Um, but we also have a public house. Public house is pretty good. That one's great. Um, so you get a public house. Patrons are less discontented, so, you know, you know typical British thing. Typical British thing. Uh, that one we'll throw into... I'll just throw it like this, so that'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. So, pub reminds you of home. So, we're, we're gonna make the pub and that's fine. Pub is a pretty easy way of uh, dealing with that. We, unfortunately, seem to have a bit of a coal problem here. Yeah, we're consuming more than we take out. That is a little bit concerning. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna put on faster, uh, faster gathering next time. Yeah, it's we're fun, we're just on the edge, the precipice right now. So we we make uh, we make like six sixty one, but we only consume six uh, seventy. So we're gonna have to do something about that. Um, pretty soon, we essentially cannot go for any more upgrades now because this guy's done too. Hey kids, get back into this one. There you go. That's why children are amazing because you can just put them into here. One of them is, a couple of them are sick in treatment, that's it, so. But it is great because 
Again, we're, we're still doing just tents. We don't even care. Uh, I'm going to do that. What did I just research? Steelworks, right? We're going to wait on the steelworks for a little bit, uh, just because I want them the day to finish. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, yeah, the tents. So the tents are still very livable. Like, they're just fine. And, like, you, as you can see, the temperature isn't really going anywhere. So that's why I do it with coal, and I don't bother, because, like, that's a lot of steel and wood to be putting into upgrading all this. So that's why I, I'd rather, like, rush technology and just get everything I need to do. Because what's a little bit more coal, right? What's a little bit more coal? But it is a little bit, like, yeah, it's a little, little bit wonky, so... So there's our little coal patch, and I'm just, like, mining that. And if I really need to in an emergency, I can put people directly onto the coal patch and then overwork them, or, like, 24-hour shift them, right? So... All right, what's your issue? You're gonna go up to here. So we're gonna go back to the weather station. You can disband the scouts. Okay, so we may not actually need these scouts anymore. What I'll do is I'll, I'll send them as well. I think we got enough workers now. Also, we have a problem with uh, uh, homes. I'm going to dis dismantle this one. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, okay. I'm going to also dismantle this one, I think. I'm gonna. I'm just going to take these all out. Because uh, it's time to move these around now. I'm not sure where to put it, though. We could have another wall drill. Uh, oh, it's not quite done yet. Let's see, wall drill. So we. this would be a second wall drill, but I'd rather upgrade the existing one, uh, to be fair, so... What I might do is, what's this coal deposit? So this would be a coal mine, um, which you haven't seen yet. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it do kind of tech location. So this is maybe a good place for it. I could I could just kind of throw these down here. I don't know. I I, I haven't decided if I'm gonna be going into this. Oh, there's like another one down there. We probably will go into them at some point. So I think if I just do this, it will be fine. Actually, I need to, like, kind of give them a bit more leeway here. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to give them a bit more roads here. Okay, there we go. Because I probably need to give them a couple more better housing, essentially, around this thing. Why is it waiting for workers? Come on, do your job. Yeah, uh, let's see. The last thing we're gonna do is steam still works to them here. Can I also throw down? So we're doing a, some major, major reworking to our, uh, to our lovely science thing. Actually, that's gonna move a little bit down. And steam hub can be like right here. It should do it. That's guaranteed to be in it. So just kind of shuffling some things around. Oh, we can get the pub going. There you go, pub, public house built. We could, by the way, there's no reason not to heater this because look, look how, look how much it's open. It, 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 it like uses no coal whatsoever, so you might as well, you know. I'm hoping they would finish this, but they're just not finishing that. <laughs> how do they leave this job half done? I don't understand. What a bunch of jerks. I don't know. They just left it half done. I'll overdrive it just for this night, because actually we're doing pretty good on uh, medical stuff too. Oh my god, I would make these last two tents if it wasn't for the fact that, uh, I want to put this out of the way and I want to efficiently put it down, but they're, these people are, uh, testing my patience, I think. They're, they're doing the thing to annoy the captain. I'm the captain, by the way. Captain of the bridge or whatever. Alright, we can do these. And this one, just 16 o'clock. There you go. So move these around. Another law. Alright, so two options here. Um, house of Pleasure, and that one's prostitutes can be employed in the public house to further lower discount. Awesome. Totally sweet. Hope will fall slightly. Doesn't matter. Temporary. Um, you can also do Moonshine. And every meal slightly lowers discontent. Eating soup causes less dis discontent. We do that one. Because we we decided to go the, the path of soup, which actually didn't actually end up that, ba that badly, actually. Okay, one sec. As expected. Oh, look. Suddenly we have a... Well... Okay, if I was a real gamer, I could have probably done this to where I would have, like, I think one more house in this ring. But we're fine. This is, this is okay. But this is the maximum amount of houses we can have here. Now it's complete about 11 hours left. 
now we'll be fine over. They're gonna get to work soon, so. It's worse when the when all the uh when all the generators are on and things like that. Like the steam vents and things like that, so we actually see like steam hubs, it tells you per day what they actually use. So there's three of them, there's impeders. Uh yeah. It's gonna complain. But we're probably gonna put a bit more emphasis on that now. Uh, let's see, resources, not resource depot, gathering post. I can't actually see what the radius is of it right now, so we'll, we'll have a look in a minute. So we got plenty of research now, we don't have to worry about that anymore, so we're, we're okay on that. I did put them all to, yeah, I put them all to the... Nope, these ones are not, never mind. No, I didn't do it. Never mind. I thought I, I thought I put them to 1600 hours. That's fine. As long as I notice now and not later. All right, so we got faster gathering. That's going to improve that a little bit. Um, what do we do? So uh, I did say lighter slides. I, 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 I am going to do that now. That should now have resolved our coal problems. I don't think it did. Work time. Get back to work. We'll put two more down. But we may have a slight problem though. I maybe shouldn't have done this. Well, actually, no, we we're probably fine. So what I could do is, and I'll do this. I'll do this for the next night. I'll lower the. Okay, you, can, you guys can both go here, I guess. <laughs> I guess I might as well just have them going together. Hey, they're not eating food at base. They're just out on their own on a merry adventure. So what was I gonna say? Yeah, this coal patch will pile will not last for long so I either need to put another thumper down or upgrade that thumper but what I could do is I could reduce the steam level for one day and then I could just uh, put it with overdrive instead which is effectively the same amount which is not a bad idea it's a good way of handling that our food's still good too I think right how's our raw food doing these 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 things are great so you can see food ration food consumption is, is perfectly fine so so we're actually a-okay on that so no complaints, we even have the upgraded Steamworks. Uh, one second, there isn't anything that's heated that isn't supposed to be, right? Nope, it's all fine. The only things that heated were these two, which they need to be, so. so it's still, discontent is not that, like, not that much lowered, I don't know. I, I'm kind of like, I really do like saw, like sawdust, I really do. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a believer in sawdust in my food, okay? It's really, it's really quite nice, but I don't know. I feel dirty saying that, but. Alright, we are definitely doing some kind of coal-related research now. Probably a steam thumper is all we need. What does that do exactly? I'll, I'll, we'll read it out. So it's 943 coal, enough for five, four gathering posts. So it would effectively double it, and still doesn't require a steam core, by the way. So. There is no issue whatsoever. Why was some guy, like, really, really starving? I just saw that just a second ago. He snuck in an extra meal. He just he was just pretending. He's trolling. But yeah, we're we're in a pretty good spot now, which is like food is constantly good. This is like the biggest mistakes that people can make is like not having enough food, uh, not having enough coal. Which my coal is is a little bit kind of touchy, but you know we'll see. But I can make it. I can make it really last. So what we'll do is we'll lower the steam. Oh, yeah. And overdrive it instead. Ironically, that may have been actually a better thing to do during the day, because then these uh, steam hubs aren't working then. Alright. Oh, good. There's some coal here. Take the resources. So there's a coal mine and there's a winter home. So we're going to go to the coal mine first with that guy, and he's going to go to winter home. So we're going to go to the we're going to go to that nice city. Abandoned station. Recent report from the weather station has got people talking. They're frightened that such an important facility was apparently abandoned. So people are starting to wonder if the evacuation from London, London was a good idea. A few are lamenting openly. I knew we shouldn't have come. At least London had real houses, not tents and wooden shacks. I, I'm, I'm actually hurt. I'm actually hurt. He's making fun of my tents. I, I worked hard on those tents. Premium tents. Nothing but the finest of... Uh, I guess it's like leather or something on there. I don't know what the hell what they make these out of. Also, why do I see so many people going up here? Oh, they're 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 hunters. <laughs> I just saw them like going up there. I'm like wondering what they're what on earth they're doing. 
It's fine. We're going to make the coal last for another day. Uh, did we not get... Uh, we didn't even get the steam coal thumper. Oof. That might be an oof, but I'm not I'm not over overworking for that. That's fine. What I'll probably do is I'll just keep it on until the temperature rises. That's what we'll do. We'll keep it like this. Because I literally said during the day, that's when it was a problem, so we'll let it we'll let it go the entire time, so. I also like the fact that this automaton is just busy at work over here. You can't actually see him over here. I don't know where he exactly is. You can kinda get a workforce idea, I think, right? Maybe, where is he at? Does Automaton count as, like, a guy? I don't know. Dude, I, have, I have a very massive scroll bar, guys. Am I blind? I think I'm blind. I don't know where he went. I think he's inside of it, is what it counts as. And it just hides him. Alright, coal mine. It's abandoned, engine is pressurized, but the mining has stopped, snow around it is untrodden. The eerie science brings it a uh, brosier. So, there's a fair bit, there's a little bit to this, but I'll, I'll kind of go into this. So, a coal mine was in operation until very recently. The machinery isn't running now. Uh, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. Perhaps you could simply mine the extracted, uh, um, uh, sorry, ex simply extract its quota or fill its loading bay. We can retrieve plenty of raw materials if we take the machinery apart. So, we could either only take the coal, which is, it's a lot of coal, or we can dismantle the machinery, but we won't be able to restart the mine anymore. Um, I forget which one I do here. I think dismantling it is is fine to do. Because it just means that you have to make more at your own base. Uh, but you might be putting that into... Uh, you know what we're going to do? We're going to only take the stored coal. Because um, you're looking at those, those steam cores. And if you're going to put those steam cores into more coal anyways, like coal mines, maybe it's better if we just like use it for later. But that that's a lot of wood too and steel. I don't know. This is rough. It's a rough decision. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna dismantle the machines. I. I. I think that isn't necessarily the play, uh, but this one I'm still on the fence about. I'm not exactly sure about. I don't think this is like a terrible choice, but this would be what those outposts would be for. Um, is you would use them. You'd use them for this instead. But I kind of like steam cores. I don't know. There's nothing I really use steam cores on right now, though. Is my only thing. And again, this is the, the hard decisions. And and some people will, will feel strongly about one or the other. This one I don't feel too strongly about. I don't feel I don't feel overly strongly about it. Because we do have options for for uh coal as it is. I'm going to actually take the only stored coal, I've just decided. So we can go research the um the outposts after this. Do we get like uh faster outpost teams? Yeah, there it is. So I'm sending I'm sending one guy back and one guy's going to winter home and that's it. We'll see, because maybe that coal will come in handy. It's useful. Alright, so winter home has some steam cores for us. Winter home. In the streets of the ruined city are littered with scores of dead bodies. The city chronicle describes a shortage of food and citizens increasing despair, following the squabbles, riots, and descent into anarchy. Fights dwindling uh, for dwindling resources and eventual starvation. The last entry. God forgive us, we're eating our dead. There's no hope. That's it. We should actually... So, the news has shocked everyone in the city. We were supposed to be many settlements and construction crews here, but and people living normal lives in, in homes heated by genders, but we're alone. Should have stayed in fall London. It surely couldn't have fallen like this. And hope has drastically fell. And they're all saying about going back. Winter home has fallen. They're all dead. How will we survive here without any help? We have to go back to London. There's no help for us in this frozen desert. People start gather. Um, people start to gather. The news of the fate of Winter home spreads throughout the city. Someone want to drop everything and flee to London. Panic is starting to settle in. I must give them purpose. All right, so with with uh, with everything in life, uh, we must choose a path, guys. And this is this is a crossroads everyone must face. So, people are shaken, racked, feared by doubt, we lost hope in our chances of survival. Desperation could quickly push uh, them to commit reckless acts. 
You must unite them behind a vision of the future. Decide how, um, decide what you want to do to give them purpose, or restore hope, or else the city will descend into chaos and uh, that can suit winter home. New set of laws will become available. Uh, so you get to choose one another. So you could either be literally Hitler or you could be Scientology. These are the these are your choices, and you might think that they're not choices at all, but you know they are choices. Um, generally speaking, um, they're similar in some ways, different in others, uh, and it it really it really actually depends. Uh, overall, overall faith is worse than order. I would say personally, because uh, there's certain things, especially if you want to do some kind of deathless run. Uh, there's one little guy in there that that you don't want to pick uh that's that's uh faith related that would make it bad uh the only problem is if i choose order right now i don't know of another scenario where i would use faith that's the only thing so i was thinking of just because i'm planning on playing all of them i'm thinking of just doing faith just because uh then i would choose order for the rest of the scenarios just so you know what faith has um, just to tell you, I always choose basically order. Order is like, I think superior in every single, uh, scenario. It's always better, but we'll do, we'll do, uh, faith just because I want to make sure that you guys get the full experience. So we're going to do this one, unfortunately. All right. And then you get house of prayer. We need a place to practice our faith in peace. So it's a completely new tree. Cause you notice the other tree I was kind of getting a little full on, right? Um, so we get house of prayer, sermon. Uh, people living nearby will gather to pray, which will raise their hope. Uh, you'll have to build two houses of prayer, uh, is what I have to do. So, that's it. So, everyone, new law is signed. And the thing I just realized is I should have just send this guy to Winter Home. Because I think it actually... No, 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 never mind. Send him back, because there's, there's an entire thing over here. There's an American camp there we want to do. Okay, we want to go up that way. Never mind. All right, so certain people are worn out. Um, again, it's this thing you can force them to work if you have, and this should tell you a lot about what 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 we just did chose. Uh, you can force them to work if you have an active guard station or faith keepers. Um, interesting that that was not an option we had before. Uh, so we can either say regular shifts, or I will not address that right now, which I will never address it. So let me just go make some churches uh, to begin. So oh yeah, like a little bit of faith. So what could possibly go wrong? Uh, let me see here. I kind of want to put it sideways. I'm just wondering if this is, like, too fat right now for some reason. Oh my god, look how fat this thing gets. Alright, one sec. I'm trying to put them sideways, because if you don't put them sideways, we will literally lose the game. Okay, we will not lose the game, but... Uh, I'm gonna be really annoyed. Okay, there you go. That's as I think that's as small as it can usually get. Uh, yeah, I don't exactly remember. I mean, I guess I don't want to spend all day on this kind of a thing. So that's on like, uh, does that one work? I think I, that that's probably too little for it. You know, it's too little for it. So I mean, you gotta you gotta find that sweet spot. You know. By the way, this doesn't actually cost anything. I think because I think you get a full refund. So whatever, we'll just put. This is good enough. Wait, what? Wait, it, it feels like I didn't even put it down. No, I did. Okay, well, that's just how long it is. Whatever, all good. Actually, how's the other way? Actually, no, we wanted to have it the other way. Yeah, dude, it could be totally smaller than that. Like, look, look, look how large it is. No, I refuse. Because they could actually, by the way, be a little bit smaller than that. God, these are the worst. Every single time. Uh, let's try and... Let's try and do something like that. Sorry, I, I'm refusing to to yield to. Yeah, I mean, it's as good as it's gonna get probably if I look at this now. Yeah, see, this is how small it could be, but it's like it's it, they're larger just slightly, but that's okay. It, this I'm willing to deal with this. this is okay. Uh, I'm gonna make another road path over here. Okay, there we go. So obviously they're not too happy about this news. Um, this would be I first have to make houses of prayer to go. Um, the tree gets pretty interesting. Um, I don't think I can really show you all of it right now. Uh, but yeah, the pr prayer is the first one. Um, shrines is also something you get, which is really neat. So they take breaks when they pray. Um, shrines raise hope of people working nearby, raise efficiency in nearby workplaces. You have to build three shrines, whatever. By the way, it even works on automatons, I believe, which is really funny. Um, even there's, there's some things that work on automatons, like order gets something where like you get a foreman 
and basically, uh, he comes in there and he just like shouts at people to make them work harder, right? And you can apparently shout at at the uh, at the automatons to make them work uh, harder too. So you also get a house of healing, which is pretty good. Oh no, no, sorry, that's the bad one. Sorry, that's not good. Sorry, opposite of that. That one's awful because someone dies when you do that. Someone literally dies. It's you say house of healing now. Someone, someone, someone will die when you build one. So you don't. We don't do that. Uh, but that would essentially make places of healing that only are employed by workers, which is kind of cool. Uh, field kitchens are okay. Evening prayers is uh, you basically get to use it and you get to like uh, you convince a lender to stay potentially evening prayers kind of thing. Um, you get a temple, you get faith keepers, things like that. Faith keepers, as you can imagine, are um, obviously going to be very, very friendly people, and very nice to us. Steam coal thumper. Can I just let's see. You know what? There's a there's a lot left in here, so we're just gonna keep that the way that it is. I'm, not, I'm gonna replace the steam coal thumper later. Uh, let's go see. What do we what do we want to do? Um, outpost outpost depot wouldn't be the worst idea because I just I actually don't even remember what I did. Did I remove it? No, I didn't. Okay, we can do that next though. So we can do outpost stations. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else we should get first. No, none of these are that important to do. And it also, the temperature is about to go down, not up, so that's that's also a good reason, compelling reason to do that. The unconvinced want to leave. Sir, you've convinced the majority, but hope is low. Um, a group of people are so scared that they're, they want to flee for uh, the city for London in 15 days. Uh, they've come to try and change your mind. You say it, faith will save us? Nonsense. Uh, what, what, are we going to pray for food? When are we going to starve? Uh, shuts one of them. If we don't try and reach London, we're going to end up like Winthrop. Calm down, we're not going to die. Lunder, so your people are divided. Welcome to the, by the way, this, welcome to chapter two of this scenario. So we've done surviving. Now it's more about uh, unrest. So some are so scared that they plan to leave the city for London in 15 days. I'll try, they'll try to convince others to join them, preying on their discontent. Um, that's the key word is discontent. Uh, so fear may lead people to do disparate acts, maintain peace, and give people hope and manage their discontent to guide the city safely through the looming crisis. Yeah. So we got 19 Londoners. Uh, people, many people may join the Londoners. So you basically are, we're going to undo it with laws and some other stuff. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we could go back to regular food, actually, to be honest, but I really like... I really like soup. Well, I don't like soup, but you know, it is it is what it is. You can do like overtime and stuff to like make them not do that. But also, hope is a big factor in it. I forget exactly what is the thing that manages that. I usually just didn't care. I, I, I was just like, I'll just keep it the way it is. I'm all good with that. So I'll keep the I'll keep the generator going, and then I'll raise it to steam too in a little bit. Because right now it's it's heating up all these buildings remotely, which is really nice. Ooh. Let's, let's add more discontent to make our work problems worse. But I think discontent matters, but there's tendency right now for them to do it. All right, so we've got the houses of prayer. They can they can do their thing. Hope rises. Actually, it's more hope-based because you, you, you just noticed it went down a little bit, so it's hope. I, I mean, it's probably both, actually, to be honest. I, I don't really know. I, I, I usually can keep everybody, so we'll just leave it the way it is. All right, someone's over here. Survivors. Escort to city. So we have some more schmucks that are going to be over here causing us problems. That's fine. We'll be fine. Uh, did that did that road finish? That road did finish. Check this out. Get to remove that one. So these churches and stuff are ba built in a place tr specifically to try and get as many as possible of the people. And it will be in a heat zone eventually. So it's not like a giant problem, but you know, it is. it is what it is. All right, uh, next thing's up, uh, let's see. We could do more food. Uh, that's not a bad idea. Hunters' huts will employ fewer people. That's a pretty good one. I like that one, that one's excellent. So five fewer people is pretty good, and then we can start trying to do flying hunters, so. Less people, more efficient, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go down that route. So, I'm not sure if I need the people for anything right now, but it lets me, gives me some op flexibility. What I could probably do is I can probably just add some more uh, technology too. And there's also this this uh, outpost station, which we're gonna do something about in a moment. I have to turn this on first. And then we can turn off this guy. There we go. 
Yeah, it's complaining that to turn off the overdrive, it's gonna, yeah. So it blows up uh, eventually. <laughs> now it would blow up pretty fast there, so. Let's see, outpost stations. There's one over here. And we can, we might as well do two, because we are going to eventually use the two, so. No reason not to. I feel like uh, I'm being punny, but I'm not. All right, I can bring this guy all the way up here. And like I said, I'm going to put throw down a couple more workshops here. I just need to make sure it's inside of the radius of this. Oh, that's actually quite good. I actually cannot do this uh, because I just noticed that I would be I would be interfering with the ring here if I did that. So I have to actually go this way. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the rest of it, the rest of it won't work. That's that's fine. That's two more is okay. Again, remember diminishing returns, right? So they will eventually be a problem. Okay, now it's complaining about mineable resources. I was gonna see if it makes one more, and then that's it. I will. Re yeah, see, it did one more, and that will last until the the next day. And I'll have a new generator for it after that. So. But these are good. And there you go. So they're all done. Let's go throw on the steam coal thumper because that's going to make a heck of a lot more. And there you go. So we can now use that steel to make better um, hunters buildings as well. So that's going to be pretty important too. Although I, I have a lot more people than I know what to do with right now, which is why I like it's why I like workers or why I like order so much because order uses a bit more workers, but just superior overall. Uh, but you know, like I said, I won't, I won't uh, force the issue here because I, I would like to, uh, I would like to show you both because they're both kind of cool. Just wondering if there's enough people. It is not. All right, so this guy is going to go to the American camp, but first I'll send him to the observatory because it's faster. I am going to have to make an additional place for them to go. I'm probably going to just throw down this. I'm gonna just remove one of these huts. Reason I'm doing that is because I there's there's another ten extra people coming to the city, so I need to make a little bit bonus. So I have 17 capacity and this is like 31. Uh oh, wait, is that not enough? Yeah, I'm adding 10, yeah, it'll be enough. It's fine. Sorry, I, I thought I mathed it out in my head, I wasn't sure. So, still have a little bit of a tendency to come over there. Apparently this law has the biggest cooldown imaginable. By the, by the way, if you don't, by the way, you could, you could also totally decide not to go. So Winter Home has trees in it, if you want trees. Uh, you could totally avoid Winter Home, but on like, I think it's like day 13, which is like now, a guy comes over to the city and tells you. So he just like, he, he dies and then goes like, hey, I'm from this place called Winter Home. And then the event chain starts anyways. So you can't just avoid it. We can do short sermon, sure. Let's do that. Alright, American camp, let's go. Alright, now we have enough work now we have enough homes for the new people that are coming in, and I'll be fine. This guy's gonna be fine too, so. What's your problem? People join Lenders. People who want to leave for London uh, successfully urge their friends and neighbors to join them. People are more easily persuaded because they have little hope. Uh, in our ultimate survival, so just complaining about the hope, I guess. But essentially what you do is you just deliver these things off cooldown and things like that, so we're just trying to raise hope is what we're trying to do. That lovely resource. It's all we're trying to do, so. I'm going to do a couple more things, but I might go for the automaton path, though. Because I have, like, two steam cores, so I'll have to decide. Oh. Apparently we have a bit of gravely wounded, or sorry, a little bit of sick people. There's a couple of paths I still want to go into, uh, so... We'll have to do that, but I figure getting our food situation sorted out is good. So now we, unfortunately, we now have a lot more people to work with, uh, so... I can shuffle them around. Alright, let's see. Um, I'm, I'm gonna have the children keep working there. I don't see a reason to not have them work there. But now I have more engineers available, so I don't know. I can put them into literally anything. 
But uh, there's also this one, which is like, you need workers for that, so maybe, uh, yeah, let's shuffle it around again. Give me a minute. There you go. Alright, we'll send them to the coal first. He's gonna go. So this is the outposting station. You basically give them a bunch of resources, give them a bunch of, of stuff, and then they just come over and they they make a little outpost there, and then they're gonna send, I think it tells you here, 800 coal every day. That's, that's a lot. It's a lot of coal. So that's why we're doing that. Um, that's why I'm kind of like, I'm kind of glad I didn't actually tear it apart. It was actually not worth it to tear apart. We're gonna start stockpiling all our coal. That can almost sustain our base right now. Look at that. We barely use anything. All right, so we got the scouts again. We will send them back out to here. And then there's like a frozen grove, snow cliff, things like that, so. We'll check out what those are doing. And that should be good. I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else. Because like I said, I was also thinking of the, these two coal mines, but it, like it, I left the option open and I just, I didn't cost anything really, so. Steam cores and uh, things. So the American camp was well supplied with everything except food. Searching the tents, we found more victims of hunger. Remember, we're British in this game, so uh, we're, we're LARPing as British. Most of them have ba uh, badly worn but sophisticated artificial limbs bearing a company symbol, Tesla Manufacturing. We can only bury them and take their equipment. So that's interesting. So they have Tesla. So Tesla exists in, in, in this universe, um, which is kind of fun. So like I said, it's, it's real people kind of a thing. You have a temporary settlement over here. You can see two rows of small huts, no smoke or other signs of life. I'm sure, let's go check that out. So Tesla, Tesla does exist. And like I said, there's a lot of real people that, that are in there and they do different things in this universe or they died or something, who knows. So sometimes you see them, but like they do reference a lot of like real world, world people, which is, I, I think awesome. I, I like that aspect of it. I'm gonna keep this all the way on. Oh, wait, we can have some more coal here. I guess I just might as well just do all coal. Unless I need raw food? No. Yeah, I have plenty of everything else, so yeah, we'll just do this. So research is just we're just we're just blazing through it now, so. Uh these are not important. This is factory is kind of good, but we don't need it right now. Uh heaters. When's our temperature drop? Not for a little bit. So another level would not be the worst either. So I'm just seeing if there's anything good right now we can kind of invest into. Infirmary would be good, actually. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll rush to the infirmary. That's what we'll do. That's a good one. Because that heals people a lot faster. And if you have gravely ill, they will be healed immediately. Because I'm, I'm kind of at the cap for this right now. So I think, I think going into that would be good. And then I'll do the other levels. I, I really like automatons, especially automatons that can sit on research buildings. They're really nice. So, we're gonna definitely need some more heaters and things like that. Uh, oh, yeah, that's all good. Well, okay, so we now have the two trees, like you kind of saw before. Um, we kind of did finish everything here. The only thing we haven't done is House of Pleasure. And we probably will want to go down this tree eventually, but we're not going to do that right now because we want to raise hope, and unfortunately hope will fall if we do uh, prostitutes, so... Uh, just, just like real life. So we're gonna do evening prayers. We're just gonna do some things that are. Although this is also pretty good. Shrines is nice. So we'll do shrines actually. That's actually better. So we gotta make shrines everywhere. So it's like another building that's kind of like the one I just did, which is like uh, the ones I've been putting around the uh, lovely building that that has like a, it has like a little radius around it, which is super cool. So I'm gonna put one over here. You have to put three down, but like only two, like basically two of them cover everything. And we'll also put one down for our automaton. <laughs> so. They don't need to be worked on, which is nice. But you have to put three down, so, you know, it is what it is. But I'll just do that. Actually, does that thing count as a... I don't think the outpost... No, no, that doesn't count as one. And neither does the hunter hut. Do the hunter's hut count? No, these do not count as workplaces, weirdly enough. I don't know why. Apparently, hunter hunters don't stay around, so... The rebirth of faith. People have started to visit the house of prayer. There aren't many of them yet, but they may. It might start something special. It seems really. Uh, they, it seems like they really need a proper place of proper place of worship. Uh, did I not have another? Oh no! Right, I didn't do the research for that. 
So I, there was another path you can go down with that too, but I chose the one that would uh, mean that we'd have more efficiency and they have to build things for it, so. Or it's places of work, so, you know. People feel in, in, inclined to pray more often. They're happy, so. So they li they have to live near a, pla a shrine and some other stuff. There's also a little bit more space here for this. I don't know. I could I could zone down another another temple here somewhere, but it doesn't matter. All right, we now have coal being delivered, and there you go. First one, 800 coal. Considering last time we were basically like scrounging up just a little bit of coal, that's like a lot of uh, a lot of coal for us. Temporary settlement, walled colony, or dread dreadnought landing are the two things that we have. So we're gonna go to the walled colony to start. I I also totally didn't read what it said there. My bad. The center of the settlement is marked with an upright boulder. It's roughly um, planned uh, face someone uh, chiseled with the following. May God forgive the genius who sacrificed. Sorry, I clicked off of it. Um, uh, sacrifice human lives in the name of progress, for we can't exile the Tesla city. We won't touch the monument, but we decided to dismantle the huts for wood. So that's what it actually said. I, I didn't mean to skip it. I don't like skipping story on you guys. I apologize. There's a, by the way, there's a there's a distinct reason why I have a second outpost depot here that you don't see me using yet. You probably looked at the wood on the map and you're like, why aren't you going for that, Mike? Come on, man. But there's always a reason. There's always a reason. And it's because I already know what's coming, so. It's uh, the actual thing that we want to put outposts, uh, outposts into, but I won't say I won't say anymore. I mean, well, you'll find out in approximately six hours. Don't worry about it. Yeah, these medical posts, they... Man, I need them to go faster. I am going to go... Yeah, I, I, I do need to go for the automaton side of things. So when we get there, it's primarily like... It's not so good to get the one. It's more good to get uh, engineer one. So you need like two extra tiers of signs, actually. To make them worthwhile, I feel. Like, automatons are useful all the time. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, it's it's some other stuff. So Londoners gain some more followers. Not much we could do at the moment. It's fine. Don't worry about it. House of Prayer. I, I'm going to just hit those last two with this one. Because everybody else has a House of Prayer near them. See? Look at that. Perfect. Except for that one. I guess I didn't quite do it right. Whatever. I guess this should be on the other side. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? It doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay. It's good enough. So efficiency is raised in these buildings. So it's 120% because they're working near a shrine. I don't know. I don't know where the one employee delivers 20%. Oh, uh, right, right, right. That's how it works. Because uh, yeah, we have so many buildings of these. Again, that's why it's so good to basically just make a whole bunch of uh, buildings for it. So uh, infirmary, yeah, let's do that. I don't. We don't really need it right now, but you know, eventually it'll come in handy. So. Uh, all right, so we have freshwater springs. There's a frozen grove or the snow cliff. There's a hole in it, and it's inhabited. We see a lone figure bustling about. We'll go to the frozen grove first. Which, this is the nice thing about having, like, two sets of scouts. Like, one going up here and the other one going the other way. It's nice. So they're not... They're not, uh... Not too tendency... Too, not too much tendency to, to join the Londoners right now, which is good. I, I, don't, I don't know why they'd want to go back to Trash Island, to be honest, but, you know, what do I know? Actually, it's not really a Trash Island anymore, now that the f sea is frozen over, so. Exile Colony. So, we will... We could rob them of their supplies. I forget if, uh... Yeah, whatever. So the Exiles are alive just barely. We can bring them to our city, although they might die on the way. Uh, one, of the, one of the dying held a dire to a chest. The last entry exiled from t Tesla City with food and fuel running out. We sent the strongest among us to search for help. They're our last hope. Um, this refers to these poor Yankees we buried. I guess we might as well escort them. We could also rob them of supplies. That'd be fantastic. So wait, can't we... The scouts will rob the dying exiles and leave them to die. But it says that we get people, though. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the rewards there. I think that's a mistake. We'll just escort them. It's fine. We don't need their, their stuff. Uh, I guess I wasn't. I guess I was supposed to go to the dreadnought landing. I just realized. Oh well, not a big deal. I thought that was the city already. And whatever, we got time. It's not a big deal. We're missing out a little bit of efficiency here, mostly because I forgot. But again, we're not. If this was extreme, it would be worse for me to do something like that. But you'll see when I get there. You'll see. 
Oh, we got a new law. Let's go sign up for evening prayers. See, look, these are so innocent right now. 20 food rations. They will just pray, guys. What could possibly go wrong? Like, how much worse can it get, you ask? Well, let's see. So after that, we go right into the temple. Uh, so now now we're making temples, all right? So we'll be able to build a magnificent temple um, to the devotion of our people. It will uh, kindle hope in hearts and of, of, of the faithful and doubt the sway, uh, and sway the doubtful. So we have to build a temple at that point, but yeah. And then you also get faith keepers. Yes, you get a, you get you get the you get the goon squad. Our most devoted uh, believers will ensure the rightful uh, righteous are able to work and pray in uh, peace and security. Um, so you know that's 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 how it is. So you can see it's starting to go a little bit bad. Breath of hope. People have started to leave personal charms, uh, beads, and written prayers at the shrines uh, as vaultive offerings. It seems uh, it to help to keep their spirits up during these trying times. Oh, excellent. That's good. See, it's it's just so innocent. That's I mean, that's how it starts. But you know, you know how like most things like religious can turn out. You know, it gets very very cultish. So uh, join us or else. All right. So do we need? Oh, I already did flying hunters. I just realized. Yeah. Okay. We can we can go into that now. I now don't see a reason not to just go into mechanical second yeah we need to do the mechanical stuff so we'll do that all right so we're gonna use our resources here for an infirmary right there which is apparently affected by the shrine go figure infirmary is okay and then we're good what we're gonna do after that hunter's hangers we're gonna upgrade all of them and then we're basically out of resources now <laughs> so there you go that's the end Honestly, it's steel more than anything I need. Coal is, like, not as important, so. And that's why I keep people in tents. Like, if I if I spent that steel, I wouldn't be able to spend it on this, right? And it's, like, steel that's kind of a waste, you know? So there you go. We got a nice infirmary. I can just now just... I can just drop the medical post now. So, because we have a better place now. That's like That's, like, the king of, like, medical facilities. I think it has a capacity of like 10. Buried shame. Poking around the trees uh, marked with crosses, we found shallow graves under them. Uh, the dead bodies lack most of the bigger muscles. Uh, and obviously some bones bear signs of cutting tool. The corpses have been obviously stripped of edible parts. Now we know what kept the survivors by freshwater strings from starving. We'll leave the graves intact, but we'll cut trees for wood. All right, that's it. Go to snow cliff now. So, they lived happily ever after, what can I tell you? I think we're bringing back, how many people are we bringing back? A lot of people. Alright, we may need to go for an additional uh, lane of this stuff. Let's see. Well, I might as well just cut this out. Oh, wait, I already did that. Cool. Yeah, okay, so whatever I do here, that's that's it. So, I'm probably going to have to do another heat generator upgrade, that's fine. Because when these people come, they're going to be kind of pissy. But we have enough coal now. Coal is not no longer a problem, but we're still we're, we're still all sleeping in tents, so... But they're going to have to deal with that. Like like I said, this scenario in particular, like, coal is not a big issue. Like, in terms of, like, because look, I'm still warm. You know, weather is fine. But temperatures are going to drop today, so... But now that we have, like, 3,200 coal, it's like, who cares? <laughs> We're all good, we're all fine. But I'm definitely gonna do the another range enhancement there. That's it. That's how we're gonna do it. So like I said, pretty pretty straightforward to do it on a, a hard difficulty if you wanted to. So I'm just gonna make it go really fast now. You just gotta kind of have to roughly follow this kind of a build, so and I'm just gonna every time these things are off cooldown you just use them to get more Londoners to to not join. So there you go. All right, let's send them back up. Temporary settlement. Unfortunately, some of them are going to be a little bit chilly because uh, I didn't really make a plan for that, but probably going to start heating up some of these areas. Oof. 
Just realized, oh no, that, that's not working right now, that's why. Okay, I was gonna say, like, the temperature fell and, like, this is not on, but it's actually not open. So that's, that, that would be why that happened, so. Alright, so, let's do... So we have another power or range upgrade, which was what I said I kind of wanted to do. Um, factory is a prerequisite to stuff, we'd have to do that. Um, resources. Steam wall drill, very important. Uh, I do want to go into that soon. We don't have to do it right now, though. There's also this, um, infirmaries will employ fewer people, uh, negative five engineers. Uh, we do get some hot house stuff. We're not going to be going into that. We, we've, we've committed fully into, into hunters. We can also go into houses, but we're actually going to wait on houses because we actually want the redesign before we sink too much into that. So likely what this tier is going to be is it's probably going to be, um, Keating. So, so range first, then heating, and then one of the other upgrades. I don't need to have fewer people working at the infirmary. I might need a heater upgrade, but you can see it's actually just staying at this temperature now. Like this is this is the temperature now. But another upgrade on the generator would effectively resolve any problems at this point. All right, so you get some wood, ration steam cores at the snow cliff. Uh, the man we've seen from afar was nowhere to be found. Searching his burrow, we found a dire of a scientist who fled Winterholm. After starving, the city fell into chaos. Its leader, an army captain, appointed him himself an, an absolute ruler. He tried to impose order using force. Huh, I had one of those options. Uh, plenty of people disgruntled, deserted the city, and most of the other ones rebelled against him. And then there's a shrouded cave that we can see. Uh, by the way, Winterholm is one of the scenarios you get to do. They added that after the fact, so you can kind of play as it, but... It may not entirely be canon, I'm not exactly sure. I'm hoping we can actually do this range upgrade. Fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, yeah it's like 10 o'clock. We'll, we'll be able to do it. And yeah, there, there we go. Look at this. We get like 26 now rations. So despite the fact we keep bringing people in, it doesn't matter because we get it. We get more than enough rations to, to like offset it. So actually might change this to raw food right there just to make sure we always have enough we can we can we can make some more like resource depots there you go those could also be upgraded at some point i'm just like i'm just stockpiling coal because i love coal coal is coal's king the future is now old man coal is everything the coal can't even get in here because of like you know because <laughs> we have so much of it all right we'll do the power upgrade too might as well we're just kind of sailing through this tech tree. Survivors, children's hideout. Uh, we talked to the children in the hideout, little survivors. They said that one night their teachers and some hunters took them out from uh, from Winterhome on a secret adventure. Teachers told them they're going to stay here. Uh, they're uh, they're going to stay here a while. Uh, when the food ran low, their guardians went back to get more and didn't return. Uh, it seems that these kids were evacuated in time before things in the city got really ugly. So we're going to escort them back to the city. So there's just a bunch of kids here. Ah, look at them go. So you could just send them on their own, or you could lead them to die. Um, now we're gonna, I, you know me, I'm like, I, I, I like evil things, but like, damn. Like, damn, that's, that's too far even for me. That should, that should tell you a lot, so. Way too much, way too much. That, by the way, it doesn't actually impact really anything in the story-wise. Uh, in fact, most things do not impact anything story-wise, uh, I'll say. It, it, it's actually fairly good about that. There's just a little thing at the end. Also, I have a lot of people not working and doing anything, so I guess we're pretty good. I guess I didn't need to do the workers thing here. I might go throw another couple of food things up because we do have a lot of people coming in here. We'll just do that. Might as well, right? And two more coal, coal locations. There we go. All right, few people are persuaded. Um, so a member of the Londoners is talking to a crowd. He's trying to scare pe as many people as po possible into joining the Exodus into London, but his visions of doom ring false in the ears of people who are content with the situation in the city. So you can just let him, you can let him speak. You can ask a cleric to reassure people, or you can disperse the cloud, uh, crowd. I'm gonna just let him speak, because it don't matter. They, they, will all, they will all come back to me, it's fine. All in due time. Not this is the gamer colony, okay. What, what's in London, honestly? They just have to they just have to be shown that Trash Island is not the place to go. 
Night by Faith. People are, are holding a, a evening of prayer this afternoon. Plenty of people are here. They're praying. They're also talking and laughing. I haven't seen anything this uh, heartening in your city for a long time. It's really brought the community together. See, look at that. A little bit, a little bit of Scientology. It's fine. It's all good. All right, let's go to Dreadnought Landing. Just, just, just a smidgen. It's okay. <laughs> what, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, we're not gonna go completely up that tree, but it's, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see if, I'll see if I'm able to show you. Otherwise, I'll like post a screenshot of what, what eventually turns into. So, or you can just kind of look it up on the wiki. It's, it's actually, it's, it's amusing. But essentially, at the end of it, people die, uh, and that, you don't really want to go that far. There's also a point where it's quote unquote uh, crossing the line is is considered kind of like a sort of badder ending, but it's really just like it just changes kind of like the ending flavor a little bit, not significantly enough. Uh, realistically, like the game is a survival game, and if you survive, you've done good enough. Is is kind of the way it goes. Usually, when people do these other things, it's just they're they're trying to be fancy and uh, you know, like I'm trying to be fancy right now. Kind of thing. So I can do, for example, like uh, the temp. The temple's fine. The, what could the, there's nothing wrong with the temple. I think the temple is open 24/7 though, if I recall. I don't remember. Magnificent testament to devotion or people. I don't remember. Listen, everyone. I'm just gonna assume maybe it won't be. Although it's it's a rather large ass building. Uh, well, we'll wait on that. I'm gonna wait for the. Well, actually, I can kind of. I can raise this right now. I think I think there is enough space for me to put it in there. I think it's a 24-hour building anyways. So where is it at? Temple. Yeah, no, it's a it's I think it's a 24-hour building. So we're just I'll just toss it down here. And let's put this back the way it was. Alright. So writing is on the wall. Someone has to face the walls of prediction of doom for our city. This is troubling. People fear. We'll share Winterhome's fate, and and um, scared minds are swayed by even the smallest nudges. So I could send a cleric to reassure people, or I could ignore it. So I'll send people a cleric around. They'll go reassure. I probably should have actually. I, I think I, I think I was supposed to ignore it. I think I just made a mistake. Whoops. Uh, so yeah, if you ignore it, you get an option later to. Uh, basically talk to the people and you bring a bunch of people over to your side again. That's what I'm trying to do right now. But I maybe wasn't supposed to do that because the minute you send clerics over, um, people people get dank, dank, dankly memed on. So, so I guess we'll I guess we'll see, won't we? And this is a not a 24 hour place, but yeah. I'll do ceremonial service. So just it's a, just about this stage is about building enough things and just making sure you just use everything that's off cooldown and things like that. There you go. Generator power. I will do the last bit of resources. So that's that it's gonna do steam wall drill, so that's the next version, which is like effectively it doesn't exactly double the amount of wood you get, but you get a fair bit more wood, I'll say. Um, it's still worth it to do, especially because I have my automaton in that building. Um, after that, there's actually nothing else really to go for. Like, you could do the efficiency upgrade, uh, but I have a lot of coal coming in. Uh, the venting stuff is okay, the heaters are okay, but it's like, yeah. But overall, like, these tents are about to get really toasty. Like, there you go, see? So I still am not at the point where I need that. A huge ship has been dismantled here, only massive kneel plates remain under the ice. Railroad tracks lead south. Explore. Found a hull place bolted to the bo uh, boulder. It is engraved with the following inscription. In, in the year 1886, the American expedition aboard uh, Hephaestus, I think that's how you say that, uh, landed here in search of haven from global glacification. Uh, may God preserve the souls of fellow countrymen who perished on their way aboard our sister ship Prometheus. So, Tesla City has been discovered. That's actually what I was looking for, not the walled city. All right, so let's go hop, hop on over there. So, good old Tesla City. We'll see what our dear friend Tesla has to say. That's Nikola Tesla, by the way. Not, not like the car company. It's not like Elon Musk in there or something. Although that would be pretty funny. Now, in this timeline, Elon is a... Uh, he never buys Twitter. I don't know. <laughs> there's, that, there's, that, there's no joke there. I'm sorry. There's absolutely no no joke whatsoever. Let's see, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, we have 33 vacant bets, so we're pretty good. I made a, I made a whole lot. I made excessive amounts of everything. Uh, 
I like playing. I like playing the kids in the in the uh, the workshop here. Technically speaking, I could just not have the kids working anymore. Because we have enough workers now that it doesn't really matter anymore. Like, we're kind of at that point now where we don't need to have that. And the, the kids can just fuck off and play or something. I don't know what they're going to do. Whatever kids do. They're going to chillax. Alright, so steam wall drill. And so for the next one, I'm going to go straight into difference engine. Which is pretty dang expensive, actually. Plea of Faithful. Sir, a priest is here with a group of followers asking you to cut the cut the public house opening hours. They they contend that the a pleasure uh, the pleasure that they offer offers poison the minds and souls of people. So you could say um, uh, the if its effect will fall by twenty percent. Hope will rise. It'll be open two hours shorter, or don't change anything. So I'm gonna just not change anything. I think it's a temporary thing, right? I'll pop the decision. Yeah, it's temporary. Yeah, I'd, I'd rather I'd rather not do that. Dude, I like the pub. Dude, people, British have to have their beers. Okay, I, I took one for the team, guys. I took one for the team. All right, the pubs will remain open, and hookers will be eventually put put into there. All right, all right. One second, one second. Random hard save for absolutely no reason whatsoever. This is the second. Whoops, don't don't, don't quit to me. We're never quitting. Um, this is the second scenario where where people can die. So. It's a modern city, meticulously built. A tower, uh, a tall tower emits a constant barrier of light, of lightning, deflecting incoming snow. But nobody comes out to greet us. So explorer. So there's evil minds and bodies will prevail over the cold. It reads the slogan uh, to the entrance of Tesla City. A tall central tower shines uh, with a blue glow of electric discharges, which form a protective dome around the town. But something went wrong here. There are charred bodies lying in the streets, and the stench of burnt flesh taints the air. We saw a lightning streak, uh, streak from the tower hitting a building and leaving a gash in its roof. So we can risk entering the city or stay away from the city. You always enter the city, no matter what. And if people die, which they just died, or scouts enter the city and they, they're dead. Um, so you can, you can save scum this. Again, it's one of those things where you don't have to do this, but you're going you're gonna to lose five people if you don't do this thing. So uh, Okay, apparently I'm getting really unlucky. Is it seated? I don't think it's seated, right? But you could do this, and it's like, I, I, I it's supposed to be like 50%, I think. So what I'll do is I'll send him back, I guess. We'll see if, we'll see if that does it, maybe resets it. Okay, there you go. Now we've seen a thing or two in our lives, nothing has ever frightened us as much as Blast of Lightning until we figured out how to switch it off, and I'll establish an outpost here. So yeah, feel free to save scum that. If you're on Survivor, then you can't save scum it, and good luck to that. Um, one sec. I gotta. I gotta do some stuff here. Let's see. I need workers. Send these guys over here. So this one's very important. Uh, Opus could be uh, set up here, delivering an estimated one steam cores every one day. Free steam cores. Sign me up, my friends. I will take that. Very, very, very good bonus. But by the way, you get that no matter what. They can die, and you'll still get to set up an outpost there. I guess it's assumed that they did manage to shut it off or something. I don't know. But that's uh yeah, that's one of the things you can you can kind of get with that, so. But kind of irritating, so. Alright, so we got some more kids, uh, food rations, wood, and a steam core. Alright, send this guy back up this way. Do I send him back up here? Oh, I guess we're done here. Never mind, I thought I thought there was something else here. Uh I don't actually see any reason to put them into anything, so that's it. Alright, well I'll just uh disband the team then. The A team. Oh, we're missing one housing. Literally, it's housing for kids. Go figure. All right, let's go finish up what I was doing here, and we'll just put a nice ring of roads around it. That's it. So I guess the roads. So the roads are needed connection, but you can actually see those pipes underneath it. So I guess the assumption is that the generator powers it somehow, even when you don't have it on. I mean, it kind of says that. At the beginning of the campaign, but that's what you have to have. But they don't count as heat zones, I think. No, they don't. So I don't know. It's they're they're out in the cold when they're over there. It's just the power, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, we wait. Why do we have one gravely sick? We have this guy here. It's fine. So this this is like a amazing. 
yeah, we got 20% from transplantation, tra uh, transplant transplantations from the, the research. So, you, like I said, you get that bonus. That was the, the law I signed to make it a little bit better, so, you know, it's so good. That's why that's why we always go for the hole because we're not like we've lost nobody. I'm not even just talking about the saves coming. I just did, like we we've, we've lost nobody anyways. I don't think scouts dying to random events even count anyways. You know it's fine. So, hopefully you've been enjoying the soundtrack. There's a really some really good soundtracks upcoming that are really good that like add a lot of suspense. The game is just really amazingly made. Uh, so there's a a fishing hut here which is. Um, the fishing village used to supply Tesla City of food. Finding out, uh, searching out, we found a letter. Mike, so referring to me, don't return to the city. Tesla is a madman. He cast out all amputees, based, and all the sick, based, based. Jerry's parents and old Beth are both among them. There will be blood, that's for sure, and soon. Uh, the city was left in, uh, the village was left in disorder. We can send a team here to start fishing. Uh, so this is another outpost if you want to outpost with food. Uh, we're going to dismantle for wood because uh, we don't. We're, we we can only have two outpost stations, if you've noticed. Uh, we'll do the ice corridor first. I guess I could have brought my scout up here. Maybe I'll maybe I'll bring it up here. Let's bring the scout up. Actually, there's really no reason not to, because I might get an event where I have to send them back, and then I'm going to be annoyed. We also have like how many days do we have until they they go? Ten days. We got like lots of time. We've basically explored everything. So. So at this point, it's really about, like, honestly, I could probably even remove some of these, like, overtime areas. The, the workshops I'll keep on overtime, though. Another act of vandalism. So I, I should have been doing ignore it, I think. So the fact that I didn't do it, I think, screwed it all up, but I'll just ignore it, then. They're doing graffiti, man. So they deface four walls, uh, urging the people to join them and abandon the city. Some graffiti even mocks your leadership, branding you as an unfit inca leader incapable uh, of doing uh, what it takes to save your people. Well, you know it's all true, but we'll just ignore it then. See, look, they're 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 sabotaging me. Clearly, they need more church. I'm just saying. We'll solve that. Well, we'll solve it with more church. Church solves everything. Please come come to the house of Scientology going on now. People regain hope. For the first time, Londoners have failed to persuade anyone to abandon and our city and flee to London. People are recovering from their shock at the news of Winterholm and are starting to hope for the future. That's really what it comes down to. There we go. Do another one. There. Hope goes up. Hope is rising. So what I may also do is I may also throw down another cookhouse here, but I will not power it. So we're going to put it up here. I'm going to just have them build it. And I'm going to just not man it at all. I think I can just turn it off too. I think they can still do it. Because there's actually like a limit to the amount of people that can go into a food place. So, uh, let's see. What should we do now? Let's see. Advanced still works. I didn't even look at what was in the last row. Oh, that would be house housing, which I, we haven't started that yet. We'll start that eventually. Don't worry about it. Like. We're, we're, we have a temperature drop coming in two days, but, like, we have lots of time to do something about that, I think. Right? Do we? Eh, we got another power generator upgrade here. I kind of want to do automatons, though. It's four days for me to do something, though. Because, uh, as you notice, know, I'm getting now steam cores, so... Steam cores are super nice. I think if it's just shut off, they can still get food from it. Uh, just do off. It's just a place for them to go, because they, they can actually queue up, and they can actually, like, not be able to go into something, which is weird. Uh, we marvel at the thick slabs of ice that have been crushed and swept aside by American Dreadnought, um, whatever. <laughs> Soon we may be able to learn how it man uh, managed to accomplish such feats. Uh, we can see a huge uh, silhouette in the distance, which, which may be its sister ship, uh, Prometheus. So, that's kind of cool looking, I like that. So let's go look at the Dreadnought. So Dreadnoughts is how they usually transport it around. I think the, the New London one kind of stopped. It, it kind of showed it off in the cutscene, what the Dreadnought kind of did, so... Which is kind of, kind of interesting. Kind of a neat little thing, but that's, that's their technology. It's like land tanks kind of thing. Land ships is sort of what they do. Which I think has been played around with, like, throughout history, obviously, but... I just realized I never upgraded this machine, and I should do that. Uh, let's do a steam wall drill. It's kind of 
I have, I have a lot of people not working right now, so like 91, like some of them will be able to do that. All right. So we're starting to get to the end of the Faith Tree because I don't really want to go that much further. Um, Faith Keepers is probably the last one I can do. Although I don't really need it. Uh, so eventually things start going really bad. Uh, so Public Penance is like... Uh, they whip you a bunch. I think Faith Keepers are the last one. I think the minute you do one of these two, I think it's crossing the line. We could probably just do this one. That would be fine. Uh, so Righteous Denunciation is... It is the duty of the faithful to denounce the wicked. It is a true sign of compassion to bring the wicked to the light. The groups of people occasionally abandon the Londoners. Small amounts of resources will be uncovered as well. Discontent will arise. So this is like you're telling on people, I guess, is sort of what that is. Or no, no, you denounce, I see. You, 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 I guess you sign something and whatever, I don't, I don't know what it is. Uh, penance is definitely when it goes bad. Um, we also have the field kitchens. This one's a good one. Each, each field kitchen will provide people working nearby with hot meals, keep them warm. Uh, so if, at the cost of food, uh, it raises the temperature of a nearby workplace by one level. Really, uh, this one's actually quite good. Um, not, not like super good. But like, oh no, it's not that, it's really not that good actually. I changed my mind. We'll still probably get it just because we're in this tree. This is why this one's worse. Um, and like I said, House of Healing is terrible uh, because someone is gonna die if you do this. Uh, so House of Healing doesn't require engineers, treats gravely ill and all, uh, all patients with, this, um, with a small hope bonus. You have to build a House of Healing and it heals people slower than infirmary, but, and again, someone dies. So, trust to the Faith Keepers. So this one's, I think, 24 hours, I believe. We'll do that one. The change of heart. A man was found uh, silently crying in the temple. He approached, uh, uh, we approached him to ask if he needed help. He, he, he told us he wanted to see you. I thought my faith died a long time ago, sir. My wife and daughter is in London, but I couldn't see any purpose in our new life, uh, the fight for survival. When I entered the temple, I saw a future for us. Uh, now I'm ready to face it. Glad to hear that. Good to hear, good to hear. I probably will just... I, I, I don't see a reason not to just make more resource depots, honestly. We need more coal. Because I, I just see this coal thing sitting out there, and I'm like, it's such a waste if I don't do something with that right now. Alright. These ones I'll wait on, though. Uh, so, we have this steelworks now. And, uh, so the next thing to do... And this is... So... Shelter, so this checklist, which is feel, heal people 15% faster, I really don't have a problem with that. Uh, better weapons, so they, they will hunt more. Don't have a problem with that. Way a lot of people. Housing is not an immediately a concern. Um, don't care about that. Additional scouts, uh, I think that's not the worst thing to get, but not right now. We don't need it. We have until, I think, the end of the Londoners thing to deal with that, so... Um, and also, there's really no other real big upgrades we can get here that are really nice right now, so... So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually start going down the factory tree. And that one's gonna be really good, because it's like a... Oh yeah, dude, look at this guy, he's like building it. Dude, look at him, go! He's feeling it up. I, have, I actually love the automatons, they're so cool. So yeah, I want to make a couple of automatons. Let's just go with that. Alright, there you go, he's working at it now. He's going to go refuel. So if you see him go, he should choose this this thing right here to do it at. So even though it's not working right now, look at him go. See? He, he does this one instead. Which is nice. Alright, Dreadnought. Explore. Get going genius. The Dreadnought was stripped of useful machinery, but its hull contained less steel to justify building an outpost here. Um, on the bridge, we found a log with Tesla's last orders. Transfer all supplies and able-bodied... Uh, survivors aboard the Hephaestus, right? Uh, take amp uh, take the amputees only uh, only if you have the prosthesis to make them useful. Wrecked vehicle is next. There you go. So that would be a steel place. So if you want to bring steel in, you could also get steel from there. Not 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 too bad. You can do that if you want to. Uh, but I, I think the two best ones is obviously steam cores you choose every single time, and the coal is useful to stockpile up for later, you know. Oh, we can do this guy here. We can have engineers work as faith keepers. Excellent. This is the one that works 24 hours, not the temple. I see. Faith is our only hope in this frozen hellhole. Let's pray. <laughs> 
For those who see Cope, raise the eyes from the heavens. So this this went from a simple, you know, oh, we just went to church, you know. It, like, come on, they can go to church. What's the harm in that? And uh, and now now it's becoming a little bit more cultish, as you can see. But you know, there's nothing saying that you have to keep going down the the, the tree of laws. There, you know, you just you don't have to. Ten wronger doers were inspired to amend their ways. Okay, I can upgrade those. This guy is upgraded. Research station sounds good. I kind of want to move the temple because I don't. I, well, I don't need to move it now. I'll just keep it the way it is then. If I don't need to move it, then I don't need to move it at the moment. So, it's we're gonna get another radius here. So that's on like I'm just planning for that eventual case. Eventually, it's gonna go up a little bit more there. So that's kind of what we're gonna do. So I'll, I'll speed this along because we're we're obviously doing pretty well. Uh, obviously. All right. Okay, just keep going. Faith Keeper, so we could do... Discontent will fall when the procession starts after midnight. Sure, why not? Wrecked vehicle, let's have a look. Uh, while disassembling, we found... Um, discipline has, that. Disassembling the wreck uh, to salvage what we could from it, we found a hidden cache on these supplies. Okay, there we go. All good. So, like I said, a lot of these scenarios are just like... If you play it on normal the first time, you kind of get those, those choices first, and then they're shocked to you that you need to switch your priorities. So, I'm going to ignore the threats of vandalism again. So, they're urging everyone to join them and abandon the city. Uh, some graffiti, even mocks your leadership, is the same thing. Alright, just going to let them mock me. So, uh, let's see. People are concerned. Captain, a, people, uh, um, a group of people gathered to seek your assurance. They're concerned about the messages on the wall. These slogans uh, appeal to, to, the, to the most discontented. Your lax approach to them only emboldens them. Perhaps it's time for a different uh, attack. So, I will say, uh, we're going to do have faith, words will know, do, do no harm. So I think we're going to try that way. So, I'm not sure why I find a way, need a way to keep the pieces is, is on, because that's supposed to be faith keepers, I think. But you can, you can ask them to walk the streets and then they won't do anything, but I'm going to do that one. Because I think that will get us the, the best scenario out of that, but we'll see. Londoners can go screw themselves. Like I said, we have nine days to deal with them, so. It's like a lot of time. As you probably noticed, they're like going all over the place, so. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, I think streamline automatons is what we want. Yeah, so you get you get three three lanes here, effectively, right? You get the prosthesis, which is they cost. So that's one of the things factories do do, they, they, they make prosthesis. So if you have no intention of doing pr uh, prosthetics, you don't need to make a factory necessarily. Um, they're still kind of good to make, and it doesn't cost that much to go into. It's just research, right? Priorities, you have to understand. But that's one of the things you can do. Um, is is you don't need to unlock it with research. You just need to unlock it with the factory. Um, and I can make it, but I have to sign the law, which is kind of weird how that kind of works. Um, you can do automatons cost less to make, so you can start making automatons now. It's one of the main things that the factory does. Or you can do automaton integration, which is improves the workplace integration, boosting their efficiency to 10% up to 70. So as you can imagine, as you go down this, so this would be 70, 80, 90. I think it, I think that's the way it goes. You also get some kind of event that happens, which we'll we'll see in a minute. Uh, with that, I'm sure. But that's that's the three that you get here, and this is this this makes them. I think I think a 90%. So they're not as good as, let's say, a fully staffed building, but they work all the time. So overall, more resources. Excellent. So we're going to do streamlined because we're planning on making a whole lot of them. So let's do factories. I think we're going to have to put this down somewhere else. I guess I'll put it, like, over here. We're going to need a steam vent for it, then. Uh, or not, actually. No, you know what I'm going to do? I just decided... I decided nothing. I'm just wondering where to put the factory. Ah, oh, that's it. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna disassemble these and put the factory here. There's not a whole lot of time. I, I don't actually need that many science buildings because we're gonna do something where we get a lot more science actually in a moment. Uh, wood, steel cores, there's a research station. Signs of fighting inside, broken furniture and damaged scientific instruments, splatters of blood. Uh, inside the ransack station, we found Tesla's audio diary. A voice speaks. All the observed changes, like the sun dimming, the volcanic ash that could not, could not have caused cooling. But what if, what if the huge quake of 1887 in uh, 
Patag Patag Patagonia, I don't know, was an asteroid strike. Then there's shouting, crashes, and silence. Uh, numerous tracks lead them towards the, um, from the door towards the mountains. So there, there you go. That's that's I kind of alluded to that at the beginning, but it's the, all three things together. So is what it kind of is. But they don't really explain to you what it is, kind of kind of thing. I mean, it's one of those things that's like it happened. We're in it right now, you know. Uh, supply depot. Oh, I guess I never did this one. After searching the factory, found valuables, which is Rune Warehouse, Frozen Pond. Okay, so we'll do the we'll do the Frozen Pond for sure. Go there. Uh, by the way, this scout has like 839 pieces of wood, 360. Uh, they, they they by the way they can carry a lot of things, and you can just keep them going. Unfortunately, if they if they die though, it's a it's a bit of a problem though. So it's a slight concern. So. Uh, what we're doing is, it's not exactly a cheese, I'd say. Uh, it's more like a, more like a, a happy little, happy little thing you can do in this game. So we're trying to make automatons. And so one of the things I kind of talked about was the fact that um, workshops are not really increased by, you know what, we don't need this many of these. Actually, I'm going to do just two of these, three of these, sorry. Um, workshops have diminishing returns, like I said, uh, but one of the best things you can do to increase it is you make them work from six o'clock to to, well, like extended hours. You're making them work from, you know, 6 to 8 p.m., right? Um, there's one other thing you can do after that to make them better, and that is you go for engineer uh, automatons right there. So I'm doing the streamline first to make them cheaper, and then I'm going to go rush that one, and then I'm going to have them doing that all the time, and then you're effectively researching 24 hours a day. And that is, like, I, in my opinion, one of the best things you can possibly go into. Uh, is it tech, factory? Yep. It's affected by the heat there. There we go. So, can I put a workshop down here again? Let me see. Ooh, nope. Can't do that. Close enough, though. It's okay. I don't need that many. I have another workshop place right here, so we're okay. That's what I was kind of thinking to myself. I'm like, I could have done this a little differently, but I guess not. Uh, food for the hungry. Uh, so, that for, uh, our faith keepers found someone's illegal stash of food. It's quite big, so they plan to distribute amongst, uh, amongst people in need. Perhaps you'd like it to be used another way. Uh, keepers have the right idea, or we could add it to the stockpile. So I'm going to just say uh, the hungry will be fed. That's fine. We, I mean, like, is food really a problem? I'm, I'm like stacked up on this stuff, so. Yeah, plenty of that. In fact, I'm, I'm going to go throw down some more like food buildings, I guess. I'm just going to keep stockpiling, because why not? Ga not gathering posts, sorry. It's a what, resource depot. Uh, let's do another research. So again, uh, we're going to uh, uh, the integration so we can rush that research thing. Uh, I forget if they will kill me. I don't think they will, but we'll try it out anyways. I don't think they do, but I forget this one. So we climbed out a cave, uh, a low stone wall, uh, stones across his entrance. We can see several men. So there, <laughs> he's got a gun. A few tired men, as we approach here, uh, the cave, the inhabitants pull out rifles to take positions behind a wall along the entrance. They're in bad ship, weak, weak from malnutri malnutrition and weakness. We will talk to them. Okay. I'm not sure if they would would have a problem with that. Seeing as we have no ill intentions, I don't think I don't think they'll kill you, actually. I don't think they will. I mean, they are Americans, after all. Can they really be trusted? But uh, The Americans told us how they, they dealt justice to the inventor after expelling him from the city. They, uh, we buried Tesla's battered uh, body in a cave and are heading home with those poor wretches in tow. So they're, they're heading back. So, Tesla is now dead. Rip Tesla. Rip in pieces. Alright, Frozen Pond. Our search hasn't found anything of value. We may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Uh, that wasn't really the case. So I'll go back to the other one here. I guess it was good that I sent up both scouts. Uh, like I said, we have lots of time, so... so I'm going to leave these completely uh, unmanned for now, because I'm just doing the research to... I'm trying to do the research, at least, to get the automaton upgrades. And we're going to do nothing but make uh, automatons now. I actually would like to get another steam wall drill. Let's do another one. We can do also a shrine here as well. Because they need to work faster. Actually, there, there should be a shrine up here too. Is this just wood and steel? It kind of is, but yeah. Putting it, putting it in the corner there. 
wood's a bit of a problem, but, you know, we'll see. Alright, so we need engineers to work here, and we're gonna start making... We're gonna start pumping out automatons. I, I could just make it infinite, but, yeah, we, we kind of need some stuff. I'm gonna have this worked by an automaton. I, I figured it's worked so well right now, so... Alright, so we get another research path. Uh, so, uh, this one would be public penance. This is probably the point of which it goes to uh, the point of no return. So, this is a little bit too much. Those who stray must do public penance to discourage others from following the path of evil. Um, and then they can be forgotten. We're not doing that. Uh, and then it just gets worse. And, you know, like, how worse? Well... You know, I, me as a captain could uh, pronounce himself as God of, of you know, the new God or something. Yeah, I'm not sure if this one does it, but this will be this will be okay. We'll do that one. If it, if it if it's over the line, then whatever. It doesn't affect anything. So see if we can do some more uh, stuff to encourage people to come over from the Londoners. So they're already a little bit concerned about it. Obviously, who can blame them? All right. Oh, I didn't read it. Sorry, my bad. With moderate effort, we were able to remove some crates containing supplies under the snow. We'll put them to good use in our city. Sorry, I played this game so much that it's like, I played this actually sometimes, like, because I've been like, oh, I kind of want to, you know, like, play it again, so. Someone has stole set 92 food ration from the, from the stockpiles. Uh, people saying it was the Londoners gathering supplies for the journey. It seems like a ridiculous idea of leaving for London is game for traction. To so continue to send faith keepers... I'm gonna just leave them be, I don't care. It's just discontent, who cares? And it's food I don't give a damn about, so. <laughs> we have so much of it, it's fine, we're, we're okay. I like the noise, by, by the way, it makes when, you're, when it finishes uh, making automatons. I am gonna make it go a little higher, though. I'm just trying to get uh, hope to rise now. As long as hope doesn't fall anymore, then I'm, I'm actually okay with it. These, oh yes, and this will be more food rations. I should check on how our food's doing, actually. Maybe coal, I guess? So let's see how our food's doing right now. Let's see, food is still doing really well. We could probably add a couple more uh, buildings for this, actually. Because we, 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 we just have the capacity, why not, right? Uh, we, have some, uh, we have some slight lumber problems. Oh, yeah, okay. They're, it's making it good. The, the cost right now, actually, one sec. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. We, we already did the research for it, sorry. That's why I did this one first, because it costs 20 less, 20, 20 less of both, right? So, obviously, that's something that is better to do earlier on. Uh, so, did I do. I may have forgotten to do advanced steelworks. That just occurred to me. It's not that important. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't have enough wood for that. We'll wait. That's okay. Yeah, we need to do that, and then I need to do the last bit of research here, which needs wood, so <laughs> we need to get some wood. 50 wood. All right, well, we could wait for that. There you go. That one's, that one's going to be an excellent one. What's going on here? Tip from a believer. A woman has revealed she knows where some of the Londoners gather. We'll act on this information. Okay, so someone will be persuaded to stay. That's that other event that happens. The uh, It was the one I kind of did there. There we go. We got our first automaton. One of the guys has a ton of wood right now or something. So we should kind of get that going. Also, let's put... Where is it? Steam hubs luckily only cost steel. So we can just do that. And just throw that down there. So city's doing pretty good though. So he's fine. And now we're going to greatly increase our wood with the steam wall drills, so. And they're going to get way more efficient. So it's already like 11.9 right now. So I don't remember what it was earlier, but yeah. it's And it, we're just going to keep it going up. And it's going 24 hours. You're going to see this going up all the time, which is really nice. Automatons are amazing in this game. Uh, they're not great for every scenario, though, I will say. Uh, but they're really good for this one. I would say. And they're really good in the next one we'll be doing, so. But that, that one's kind of centered around it. There's an entire scenario they have for this, so. Alright, so. This was the. This was the inhabitants, so. Let's go to Stone Ship. So I was just making sure I had that one. So that was Tesla's grave. And we're just gonna be making lots and lots of automatons. Although we may need to work on uh, research actually next. 
I'm debating what to do now. Fundamental research. All right, so this is a good one. Here we go. So an engineer is asking for the day off to work on the automatons uh, closely. The automatons can be improved. Uh, they may be the pinnacle of our technology, but if we learned how to make them, we can surely learn how to make them better. If I look at uh, closer at any machine, I can adjust them to improve its performance. Why well, should be any different with them? So you can either tell them to fuck off, or you can tell them uh, carry on with the project. So you won't be able to work. That's fine. Uh, this is a chain event chain, so there's gonna be a little bit more with it that we have to do with it. I'm just waiting for this research to finish here. This is a really good one here. All right, that one's done. You can now make the automaton work at this uh, building here. Uh, I'll also put, I'll throw down a steam hub over here too, so they can go repair. By the way, you don't need a lot of them. You just need like three of them, and that's more than enough. All right, so this got returned with some wood and some resources, perfectly fine. I'll send it back up in a minute. So we can either make them more efficient, additional scouts. I might actually start going down to the the uh, the stuff I need for heat. Let me just check. Yeah, okay. We'll go down the heat path now. There's other things I could do, like additional scouts or whatever, but it's not a huge deal. And I'm not going to send the, this guy back up there, so... So we already sent our automaton over there to... Uh, to now We now effectively have 24-7 research, which is really great. I'm going to send this guy to do that. So we're gonna make another automaton. We need we do need to keep like a little bit around for automatons, but we're we're still okay. But I'm gonna have to upgrade these wall drills again. Although I think this guy has like all of the wood. He has a thousand wood, this piece of shit. <laughs> Alright. Might as well disband. I can go chill in the city. So yeah, infirmary has done amazing, by the way. Oh, also, we are definitely gonna need additional heaters. I could probably just do the radius. I could just rush that. We can just do that. Because now we have automatons working all the time for this thing, so, you know, pretty good. Is there a... Is it... Did this guy's really... Fucking assholes. One second. I just want him to finish this. Are you going to go fuel? I don't know he is. One second. Off. I just need to make sure these steam hubs are off, because uh, they're only here to refuel. They're not here to do anything else. I don't have any other steam ups on the right, do I? Nope, that's it. Why isn't he doing it? Refueling. God, he takes forever, doesn't he? He does it just to spite me. Alright. So, we can explore the stone ship. Uh, so, there's nothing of value, but there's no more privacy thing. So, there's no covered supplies somewhere. So, we can grab, grab that, and hopefully, that will be the last thing. There we go. Put this guy back in there. Remove, put the engineers back in, and then another guy to work on that. So yeah, we have science going all the time. Very, very, very nice. I love I love that actually aspect of it. It's so good. Uh, let's go make more automatons. Because we can always have more. We can always have more. They're really good. So we'll see what that lovely engineer has for us uh, at the end of that, so. I mean, honestly, these people can just go fuck off. I'll just have a city of automatons. We'll be based. Just have our city of uh, giant hulking machines, you know, and then that's it. We'll be good. We don't we don't need people anymore. They don't understand. They need me more than I need them. So another theft. Uh, people are angry. Uh, so basically, they're taking 114 food rations from the suck piles. They're angry. Uh, I'm just gonna let them be. I don't care. They can go do whatever they want. We have a full seven days to deal with them, and they're honestly, they're still going down. They're like, you know, there's almost no Londoners. Well, that's 26 out of my, my population of 400, so, you know. People are angry about their, their thefts. So be, the crowd is gathered demanding you stop ignoring the recent thefts. You have to do something. Uh, if you have these st thieves steal our supplies, more will think, uh, think that maybe the Londoners are right and it's safer to go with them. Uh... So I can so sign public penance. Don't do that, by the way. That's terrible. I won't do anything about it right now or disperse the crowd. Uh, don't forcibly disperse them. I think that's a bad one. I don't know. I, I just won't do anything about it. Just ignore it. Even though the hope went down a little bit. Again, I think I may have screwed it up when I when I did something about the first the first uh, one. So we'll see though. Essentially, if you if you turn the other cheek, it it ends up being pretty good, actually. Ironically, it's a uh, it's it's actually the best way of doing it. So, have faith. We made it this far. We'll stick it out to the end. So, thirty Londoners. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using like ceremonial service and stuff, so. Alright. Uh do I want to do I guess I'll do the heating first. And then I'll do the range upgrade. I'll just make one more automaton. Why is there one just chilling here? What's he doing? He's his workplace is the drill. He is drilling, by the way. He's doing his job. He's over there, because you can see the buildings are on, but I don't know why. Snow guard with supplies. Oh no, so now we got a crate full of supplies, no telling who may have left them there. And that's it. That is it. There's no nothing else to see, so let's all head back to the city. There's nothing else for us to do here. So we got the best possible scenario, so where we ended up, we explored literally everything. Uh, we kept the coal mine going. Uh, winter home we don't bother with because we don't need that much lumber. Uh, Tesla we definitely want. So it's really like your your other outpost station. It's either this one, this one, or this one. So steel and wood I feel aren't that great, and coal will come into handy soon. But you've noticed how like uh, I I didn't have to upgrade any of these tents either. Like I've been actually perfectly fine. And that's why that's why I kind of did it that way. I I felt it was like the best way to go. So. I just want to make one more automaton. We could make like maybe two more. I don't know where the other one would work though. I could maybe make another like workshop or something. Yeah, let's just make another workshop then, fine. But I keep them out of a heat zone because they don't actually need heat to operate these buildings, which is why there's just this little corner here. It's the automatonville or whatever. I really like the noise it makes when you make a new one. So you just throw another one and then, then you're good. So just get chill. I think they actually, like, they, what they do, look at this, they plop themselves onto the buildings, like this. It's like, it's like sex, look at this shit. Look at that. And then, like, it's working now, so. It's amazing. Alright, generator power upgrade, and do another range upgrade. And then after that, the sky's the limit. What I'll probably do is I'll make the automatons cheaper slightly more, and then, keep, I mean, keep pumping them out, why not? There's these field kitchens as well. I, we we may not need these, but whatever. We we could just do this. I don't really see a reason not to. So there's only like two laws left that are useful at all. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. So the important thing is you keep this in the heat grid too, but it's like it's also still not really in there too. So one second, can I put a gathering post like over here? Where's gathering? Is that still... Yep, that's in the thing. So what we can do is we can just take that one out. Yeah. So th this will just raise the heat level of the buildings. You don't really need this, to be honest, but that's not stopped me so far, so, you know. I'll, I'll, I'll replace this one here. I probably should get some range upgrades or something on the, on the heat things. I don't know. There's a lot of things you could do here that's different, so... And I made one more. Yeah, there you go. So now we have four workshops going 100% of the time. And, like, the efficiency is, like... Uh, let's see. Uh, these are not that good, but these ones are good. It's just because they're slower. That's what it is. Uh, but we can get some upgrades to make them faster. So that's, that's what we're going to be kind of going for. There we go. That's why I don't like... Honestly, I don't like soup kitchens. <laughs> I think it's, like, the worst one. But we might as well, because, you know, we, we did this one, so... Oh, yes, the, the, the kids can work there. Make them do it. There you go. Two field kitchens. Because it unfortunately uses up uh, your food for that. Test subject needed. Sir, an engineer working on the automation project is... Uh, automaton, not automation. Uh, automaton project is back. He wants to borrow an automaton. I'm close to a breakthrough. I need an automaton for a day, and I believe I'll be able to... Per, um, to propose specific modifications that will, that will raise their per, uh, performance permanently. Absolutely give him an automaton every single time. If you don't do it, the, the project will fail. Give him an automaton. So one will just go somewhere else. So this, this one's the one that left. So that's fine. Don't worry about it. Perfectly fine. You're persuaded. Uh, so you get another one. Another member is talking to the crowd. He's trying to scare as many people into joining the Exodus to London. But his visions of uh, doom ring false in the ears of people who are content with the situation in the city. I'll just let him speak. It's okay. Doesn't matter. Still, we'll do, do some food things and whatever else that we want to do. I don't think I, like I said, I don't really need the kids to work there, actually, to be honest. We should look at if the children are actually working anywhere. Yeah, they are. They're working at the cookhouse in this place. We have enough workers now that I don't think it really matters. 
Are they all... Yeah, there you go. Now they're not employed anymore. We're good. That's it. So, we don't need prosthesis. I, I don't really need another automaton, so I'm just going to wait on it. It's more locked behind research now to make them more efficient, so... But I've kind of opted to do uh, temperature levels and things like that, so... The only thing is that this this may, this may will stop working, actually, if I don't do the range upgrade, which I, I actually should have done the range... Oh, no, I did do the range upgrade first. Okay, good. I thought I didn't do the range upgrade first. <laughs> All right, good. Uh, the previous version of myself was absolutely correct on that. Good. Um, let's see. Automaton integration, not a bad idea, because if you raise their efficiency, guess what it does? It also raises the amount of speed that the research works at. Um, there's also, oh, we already did power. Okay, that's why. So I did do both. So we're going to do, not the redesign, we're going to make them better, is what we're going to do. Because I have the bare minimum I need for like a solid, like, a uh, uh, city right now. So making them better at what they're doing will just snowball and everything will go faster and all that kind of stuff. So, ooh, that's, that's kind of spicy, this amount of uh, coal. Oh, do you know why he's doing that? It's because there's no one at the coal thumper right now. That's why. Not a, not a big deal. We have plenty of stockpiles of it, so... We'll see when it comes back online. I, I'm not sure why it never counts it, though. I'm not sure why it doesn't count it. But yeah, it's essentially complaining because I have it at, like, level 4 everything, so... We'll see once it comes online what it, what it turns into. But I'm probably just going to throw down two more coal plants here or something. Hopefully we'll have a couple more... Uh, well, we will have more steam cores. What am I saying? Hopefully. We will. We'll absolutely have more steam cores. So, but yeah, we could just start making automatons to just replace key parts of the city, and that's it. But I, I wouldn't mind having like a maybe maybe an automaton based like uh, like steam thumper thing. You see, like how we're talking right now. See, before it was like uh, you know we're not even fed, and also these things are don't have any people in them. See, people weren't even people weren't even hungry, and there you go. All right, there you go. That's the last bit of this guy. So we can just disband that team. Go team alpha. There you go. So now we got a ton of wood and stuff. I guess I might as well just go make some stuff then. So let's see, are they... So now we're in the real heat right there. Let's see consumption. Okay, it's not that good. Okay, I guess I will make... I guess I'll make another thumper and I'll put it around this guy is what I'll do. That's what I'll do. I mean, I, I do have plenty of stuff for this, so we're actually okay on that, so. I may have this be used by just the automatons, but we'll see what happens. Because I can just, I can just turn this on. There you go. Automaton research completed. We can do the last one too, might as well, right? It's also expensive, so that's also a very compelling reason to, to use that up, too. Yeah, was he done with the automaton? My man needs to go and uh, do some research, also. Where's this uh, guy? Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where the steam hub is. Turn it on. There you go. Yeah, I think, I think we're going down now, so... Because we did do a lot of upgrades. Like, this thing is, like, eating, like, 50, 96 coal per hour. So, but this way I don't have to do anything with tents then, so, you know, we're, we're good. Alright, let's get another level of mare. I, I, I kind of just queued up a bunch of them, because... And there's no reason not to queue up a bunch of them, it was fine. Alright, put some engineers in here. I guess, the, I guess our kids will be uh, working in here. There you go. They're off partying. Fine, it's perfectly livable. So now we need the steam core. Now this one might make you irk a little bit about it, but he says the engineer working on the project has uh, sent in his report. He he broke the automation, uh, the automaton he borrowed. Uh, now he wants to, wants the steam core. It, so it's like I guess it's like two steam cores basically for this. The damage hasn't been for nothing. We can fix the broken machine. Oh, so I guess I guess you can fix it. That's it. And on top of that, you can now adjust the automatons to make them work faster. Engineer is busy again, but he said he's onto something really exciting. So we could say, uh, if we don't have a steam core, we'll find one later. We could say we can't afford it. So it raises by 5%, five, 5%, but then you say, um, the efficiency is 5% and we use one steam core. 
So I think I think it's uh, you get another big bonus for it. So they're already getting like really good. Also, what the hell is this uh, wrong? This is I think wrong. Whoops. They're going to totally get frostbite if they stay in there. Hold up. Gathering post over here. Okay, that's that I think is what I need to do. More automatons. I'm not sure what to make them do now, to be honest. <laughs> We're kind of at the point where we kind of just have everything, so I can I can have them work in here. So I was gonna make this like an automaton place. I was thinking, or but I was also thinking of like the coal plants here. I don't know. See, this this, this is now you're getting like you're min maxing, and you're just like, oh, I don't know what to do now. Uh, let's see. So we got automaton redesign. Yeah, that's the one we want. We'll do that. And there he goes. Go ahead, kids. Get it, get it, get into there. Work is over for today. There's time for harvest and time to sleep. People are hopeful enough not to join the the hunt lunar. so they're they're perfectly happy now with the way things are going. Um, so discontent is fine too. So bad food is still a factor, but you know whatever. What are you gonna do, right? I guess I could go throw some more food together. And change this to food rations. So temple mended, made people mend their ways, but we're not doing any other things in the tree because, like I said, uh, there's no reason to at this point. Like, yeah, house of healing will kill someone. Public confidence is too far, uh, and then that will slightly change the ending with flavor text. Uh, of course, like you can always play at your own difficulty level of like going like, oh, hey, I'm going to do absolutely no laws that that changes at all or something. You can do that. That's perfectly valid and allowed. Actually, why am I doing this long? I don't know why I'm doing this long. I'm just thinking about it. I'm like, I probably didn't need to do that. Now oh, this should be 16 o'clock. There we go. Oh, we have seven people that are sick. Why are they not going into the... Uh, I, I don't even need this anymore. I don't need this either. Uh, this one will probably be good. There you go. I'm not sure. Why are they not going into the building for being sick? And also, I don't know where they are, where they're even getting sick, so... Uh, so yeah, we're done with purpose, we're not bothering with that anymore. Um, honestly, we can get the hookers, but let's go lower hope, so... I'm going to wait on that one, actually. So, we're effectively done, there's actually nothing else we want to do, because child labor, all laws, obviously don't need that. Organic fertilizer doesn't matter to me, because um, we don't have any corpses for that. Triage, we will never use that. Care house is actually not bad, we could do that. Hope will rise for that, that's fine. That's a good use of that time. It's not going to get used, but, you know, I'll put it over here. They'll be happy about it, at least. Uh, let's see. So they're already at 100% for this, so let's go get additional scouts then. Even though we don't need it right now, uh, it's fine. We could also probably reduce the coal levels because, uh, you know, actually that would probably be more worth it to do. I think about it. Let's do that instead. Generator efficiency. Sorry, because I just realized that we are using a lot of coal here, so it's just barely good enough, but you know, barely. This is not a barely good enough kind of a, a family. First, no lenders are convinced to stay. Um, so, they, uh, so, uh, several of the people who want to flee to London have decided to uh, trust you and stay. They say your recent decisions have convinced them that there is hope for us yet. Oh, nice. I mean, where the hell are they going to go? Also, where the hell are these sick people? Preparing for a hunt. They're going to go hunt. Okay. Have a good one. Tell me how that works out for you. Okay, care house was created. Hope goes up. Apparently I had a little bit of a moment there. I feel like this is like the best game to play in summer because you feel cold when you play it just because of like, you look at the visuals and the iciness, you know? Although it's it's kind of depressing, so maybe don't play it when you're sad. It's 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 a very it's a very unique set of circumstances to be playing this game. Uh, we can just keep making these guys. So we're still getting those steam cores in, which is really good. There's no limit, by the way, to the amount of steam cores you can have. I'm not even sure what the cap is on that either. Different believer. A woman, a captain, revealed that she knows where some of the lenders gather. We'll act on the information, and then some will be persuaded. So. So they're, they're starting to now abandon it because the hope is now high enough. 
That's why I kind of said, like, we had lots of time to deal with it, so. We had plenty of time. Alright, generator efficiency. We could do one more of those, I guess. Is there anything else that's worthwhile? Actually, there we want to kind of go down the houses, but uh, we don't do that right now. We'll do generator efficiency. Because, like, I only see temperature up, and as you can see, coming down the pipe is going to be lower. So we are going to do it soonish. Uh, but just not right away. Yeah, there's way too much uh, coal in here now. I'm gonna just have automatons now just uh, man these uh, these these places now. I will I will replace all my people with automatons. They can just leave. That's like the good ending. You just tell the tell the people to fuck off and you just have automatons. All right. The, yeah, there's a little bit of flickering action going on here. Interesting. Um, the so the project is now complete. Automatons can now be produced at a lower cost and used in uh, medical facilities. We learned to modify the automatons with precision attachments, allowing them to work on the most fragile things we know of the human body. Turns out we can also remove some non-essential parts. Well done. And the cost also falls. Okay, that's not really worth the steam core, I'm going to guess. I guess you could just stop there, but you can now make them work here. Um, and uh, that's not that important, to be honest. Because you can make them work even better. I mean, they're actually more efficient, actually, I think, than humans are. Well, we'll see. Maybe we'll do the research for that at the end. We got we got a lot of time. I think the main thing I'm doing right now, if you haven't noticed, is I'm, I'm attempting to uh, replace all my scientists with automatons that will work literally all the time. <laughs> so, it's 95% efficiency, but it's 95% all the time, so. Opposed to their regular, like, this is a human, a filthy human-based one. Uh, actually, the shrine actually affects them. Oh, does the shrine not actually affect them? God, that makes them even worse. The the faith path. Faith path is terrible. Okay. Anyways, never do faith. Never do faith ever again. Is the is what we've learned. Coal thumper injectors. Eh. I kind of want to start make, going down the house tree because you know. At this point, we have everything else we need. Nothing there will give me hope. I think so. There's no reason for me to do it. Look, discontent is like all-time low. It's literally just bad food at this point, but they're gonna have to live with it. They're gonna have to deal. Oh yeah, I was gonna—I was thinking of doing coal plants too, but we'll do that. We'll do that at the end, towards the end. We'll do the coal plants then. There's still nothing for me to go to. No, not really. All right, I'll just—I'll just speed along. But there you go. And, and re realistically, like, the beginning of the game is actually the part that is the most difficult, I would say, without a doubt. So if you can get past the beginning, then you're you're pretty much set, you know. Because there's, there's just no problems after that, so. I think I'm going to move the temple, but I'm going to move it when uh, we're kind of more done. 30 wrongdoers. So, they're going to just abandon slowly, that's it. People abandon the Londoners. And by the way, you can't you can't get this down to zero because at one person, that one person is gonna be stubborn and wait until the end of the timer. So, all right, there's your house, but we won't do that yet. What we're doing instead is we're doing house redesign. Ten, ten, and ten, uh, ten wood and ten less steel to cost. Sorry. <laughs> and the, and the, they're they're changing their like their beginning thing as well, which is amazing. All right, let's see. Automaton over here too. How many do we still have? I can make another one or two. The worms of salt. People appreciate the field kitchen you built for them. Uh, they they bought a delegation to thank you. Uh, we've already thanked our brothers in faith who run the kitchen. Uh, it's children, by the way, that, that are in there. And we'll keep them in our prayers in this frozen wasteland. And anything that keeps one warm is a lifesaver. Nice. All right. Well, might as well do the. Uh, the prosthesis, because why, why not? So we can now, we can now make prosthesis if we, we need to, but there's no amputees. Oh, we actually need a, another uh, healer friendo. Where's he at? Infirmary. Wonder, is there like a, one second, how big is this thing normally? Yeah, it's like trying to make a giant one. Second. I'm trying to make, trying to do my little, uh, my little gamer move. There we go. See, look at that. That's tiny. <laughs> it's much better. 
Because you never know, that may be the difference between one house and then you have to do something annoying that you don't want to do. Alright, so we can do medical integration. I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, heaters, not important. We already have house redesign. There's also insulation for the houses. Not that important either. Um, I guess flying hunter gear would be good. I really want to go down the either the coal mining part. Oh, actually, this is good. That's uh, We need a resource uh, depot upgrade. So you know all those re resource depots I just made? I'm just going to make me store a bunch more of them. So, Which I'm kind of down for. I, I am interested to know, are, are automatons better at manning an infirmary than uh, humans are? We'll, we will have to answer that question soon. Uh, we do need some scouts and stuff, though. And boosted slides, I think, right? Where are we at now with uh, timing? Yeah, might as well do them. Who cares? Oh, yeah, we're at the point now where we can start uh, replacing our uh, place with houses. So, again, I totally skipped on on... Uh, I skipped out on everything, so we're just going to make people homeless while we do this. In fact, I, I, I don't see a reason not to just do all of them. Okay, there we go. The guy ran out of... No, I didn't run out of resources. Upgrade already underway. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do all of them, because I think there's only so many people that can do this stuff. I, I know a lot of them aren't doing anything. Oh, it's like free time right now, so... I have 166 homeless. Additional scouts. Let's see, what's the next thing? I think faster scouts are the next are the next option here. I don't really see so there is actually a research here that like you can boost the 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 speed of the of the faster outpost teams, but who cares? Because you're just getting it slightly faster, but it doesn't really matter. It's gonna get here eventually. Alright, let's see. To everyone, believer. An old lamb uh, over neighbors, neighbors talking about hoarding food. We'll follow the lead. Okay, some supplies will be recovered. You can see my lovely houses are coming. They look so nice, actually. Look at that. Guess it's I guess it's a slight upgrade over tents, huh, guys? Well, I'm gonna say I I probably don't really need. Uh, let's see. I was gonna say I don't really need to have much more of these things. Let's see. Is there anything else in this place? It just, it's just the field kitchen. I'll just turn that off. I guess we don't need this either. There's nobody working in there. Because they're all automatoned. So, yeah, i just get rid of them. They're officially... It's all machines doing our research for us at this point. All right, so now the sleds are faster. What else should we go into? I'm still thinking about that coal mining. I don't know. We don't need insulation, uh, heat... We could do the steam hub efficiency, actually. We'll go into that. That sounds good. Improved heaters isn't bad either, but, you know. Most of the buildings that are outside of heat zones, we, won't, we don't heat anyways. A lying child. Sir, a girl's asking to speak to you. She's crying and repeating that her mother is innocent. I lied. I lied to the priest. I'm so sorry. I told him that my mom said you're a damn fool and will burn in hell. But I was just mad at her. I made it all. Please don't punish her. The child must be lying. Lying. The mother will be punished. Discontent will fall slightly. I'm gonna say, go and don't do this again. Yeah. Fuck off, kiddo. This is the problem. You see, we depended upon children instead of machines. Okay. Let's see. Does this make this more efficient? No, not yet. It's still better to use engineers for this. Interesting. They don't get the transplant uh, upgrade on them. I guess they don't. Interesting. I wonder why that is. Only, only, only human doctors can use transplants. Apparently, machines cannot. I guess it'd be really overpowered if they didn't do that. All right, we're going to do steam efficiency, so they're going to burn less coal. Um, the thing I do have to do is every single one of these, I have to put it back to. Oh, that's just off, anyways. So unfortunately, what it does is they will automatically all be raised. Uh, I don't know why they did that. Oh, I guess it's not on right now, so I'll have to do it when it's on. So we'll see how it goes. There you go. Group of Londoners will have been in the cause. Nighttime procession? Does that even does that even prevent them from leaving? I don't even know. But I'm still gonna just raise hope. Like we have absolutely no discontent uh, whatsoever. So they should be like super duper happy right now, you'd think. Alright. Less less coal being used. So overdrive coupling isn't bad either to do. Uh, 
again, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm thinking about, uh, let's do, let's do the, the, the medical thing. I wonder if it is better. If it is, it's probably not by much. It's probably like 5% and you got to use an automaton for it. Like, yeah, it's not something I typically do. So we're just kind of racing through this now. Cause you know, oh, let's do some more housing actually. Houses. All right, that's it for that. Another law, and there's nothing else really to do. Yeah, out, the only things are like useless things, and they would just lower hope, which would which would sabotage my efforts right now. So, there we go. Medical purposes, and yeah, let's go down. Let's see. Yeah, I'll do I'll do one level of improved heaters and probably heating efficiency. Let's see. How, how good are they now? Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. One thirty four. Oh wait, it does use the it does use the uh, the upgrade for it. Maybe I should use them. All hail automatons. All right, give me another automaton. I'm gonna make both the buildings that. Because if they're if they're 134, then yeah, that's that's actually like better. <laughs> I, even though they work all the time, it's just like that that may make the difference. You never know, right? Gets people out of the uh, the sickness. All right, what are we doing for research now? Let's see. I guess we'll start going down the coal mining path. Actually, we can do coal thumper injector. That's a good one. That's a good one. I have like two steam cores left, but I'm kind of thinking to myself I should probably use them for the coal mines. Nighttime procession is starting. Let's see them party. And yeah, they're just kind of chilling out here. Biggest concern, poor food quality. Well, you don't have to have any. Take it or leave it, my friend. You, dude, even the automaton is participating. Like I said, automatons are fucking based. Alright, let's do coal mining. I, I, I like how they're just all partying. Just like, they're, dude, they're chilling, man. Did I lower the radius here? I think I forgot to. Oh well. They don't, they don't consume a lot of coal anyways. Our, our coal usage is like, really good. So, bit of a spoiler, uh, as I, I mean, if you've made it this far, I don't think you care about spoilers anymore. Okay, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have actually said anything. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I'll leave it be, you know what, I'm gonna edit whatever I just said out, because it was kind of spoilery and, uh, of what's happening eventually so i'm gonna i'm gonna edit that out <laughs> sorry i was i was oddly silent for a quick second there <laughs> oddly silent uh, uh, sir a woman here is here to see you uh she claims that she uh has evidence of uh, against one of her priests one man tur uh, in turn accuses her of heresy your only hope sir cries a woman i went to denounce his wretch th this wretch his colleagues kicked me out He's forging denunciations get back at those who cross him. She's lying, the, the priest shouts. She's a heretic. All heretics lie. So I can either do discontent or hope will fall. I'm gonna si I'm gonna do discontent because obviously hope hope falling is not a big deal. So obviously people are in power are starting to abuse it. Who would have thought? Who would have thought in this situation? All right, serious accident. Sir, has been an accident. A automaton stepped on a man, crushing his leg and crippling him for life. People argue that the automatons should walk more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of efficiency. So this is another event that happens when you have lots of automatons. You can either slow them down, where the efficiency will fall by 10%, or we can't afford it, which discontent will rise and they will remain a threat. Uh, yeah, fuck that. We're not lowering their efficiency, but we do have an amputee now, but that's easily solved by just getting one prosthesis. <laughs> there you go. We can we can get we can build new arms. They we will make our people into the new automatons. Ooh, I want advanced wall drill. And do we have all the housing here that we possibly could want? Yeah, we kind of do. How much housing space do we have? Uh, we got like 44, 19 in care houses. Oh, that's that's the amount of vacancies in the care house. Sorry. Work is over today. There's time for so yeah, we're doing. Pretty much as good as we possibly can be, so. Why is there someone missing here? Well, Timmy didn't want to go to work today or something, I don't know. Alright, so we got that. We can get advanced coal mine to go with it. 
I'm going to also upgrade both of those as well, because they're very useful to do. So these are the best uh, wall drills you can get. Uh, and that's it. That, and by the way, like, sawmills are just trash. Like, they're kind of trash compared to the... Well, they basically are trash compared to these ones, but... It's always nice when that. And now we're down to four Londoners. That's it. Uh, cost, we can't let the Londoners leave. We did the right thing. We are together again. We are united again. No more division. We are one society. Cool. Okay, I guess nobody left. I thought I would always, like, leave it at one. I'm pretty sure we weren't at the end there, but... Well, there you go. So, they've been brought back into the fold. Nobody wants to leave the city anymore. Uh, we've won a hard-fought victory over those who tried to tear us apart. The tragedy of Winterhome crushed our hope. Fear led some people to persuade, uh, pursue mad schemes. We didn't let them die in the frozen wasteland. We did what was necessary to keep all them together. Together, we're stronger. So, I guess we don't get that option. So, basically, you'd have this option at the, the third time someone is in the in the square, basically, shouting stuff. You'd, you'd say, like, I've let you speak, now it's my turn. And then you bring everybody bas basically into the fold. Well, a great majority of people, so. But I didn't even get that, because apparently I won so hard at that, that, uh, yeah, we didn't even get that, so. So we're all good now. I didn't actually expect that. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. I mean, we're, we're kind of, like... We're kind of sailing through the research trees and everything. Ooh, efficient gathering. That might be good. Yeah, we'll just do that then. That sounds good. So we have these super wall drills, which are what, like... Yeah, 20, 20, 222.8 per minute, so... Different believer. Captain, a woman told us... Okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop reading those, because those are like, whatever. It just... We don't care about them. Template us to stolen supplies. So the rest of this doesn't really matter. Uh, I could probably start... I don't know. I, well, yeah, I'll just start making houses. It's like the thing. So. Uh, yeah. Pretty sure this is, like, not as efficient, but that's fine. I gotta do something with this this resources I'm just sitting on right now, so. I, this is pretty much, like like I said, if I'm winning this hard, you can imagine on on uh, on, on the, what's it called, the endurance, the, the, the survivor difficulty, I would be basically, like, Probably just like just on par kind of a thing, and just doing okay, as you can probably imagine. Oh yeah, so we can do hookers now. Very very important, by the way. Always never forget your hookers. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. Got one. Oh, and one engineer. One engineer. Just just for the people with an engineer fetish. All right, engineer's here to see you. He has a letter from his team. The workers actually deliver this. They're plain people, so it reads like bad poetry, but here's the gist of it. We want to thank you, sir. The sight of this autom uh, automaton working tirelessly in the inhuman cold where they previously toiled and suffered is something worth living for. So, you know, everyone likes automatons. That's that's what really does it. That's what really raises the hope, okay? They love this kind of thing. We got plenty of houses and everything, so we're all good. And we got gathering post installation. I will do efficient gathering. So we'll go a little faster. To just make them grab things even faster than that. Just so they get more coal. Work is over for today. We are going to need like a... Probably... Well, when the steam core comes in, maybe I'll put that into something. Because I think I have an automaton that's just not doing anything. No, actually I don't, I don't have that. Alright, what should we put them into now? Let's see. Uh, insulation. Uh, we can do insulation. Is there... Oh yeah, I was going to do Flying Hunter's gear. I think I was going to do that ages ago. I just forgot about it. So just a bit more food. Just so we have more food. Oh, there's a bunch of sick people here. Okay, what's going on? One of our people has come gravely do, do, ill due to frostbite. This will keep happening if they have to work in such cold. What do you mean they're working in cold? Oh, you know what I think it is? I think it's because they're just outside of the radius here. They're pathing weirdly to it. Weirdly enough, I somehow got like 15 gravely wounded people. I think it's because they're pathing weirdly. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I'm full on food. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm full on raw food, so... I think they're just sitting in the buildings. That's what's going on. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. Because remember, they didn't leave. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. Uh, that's fine. They'll be okay. All of a sudden, it's just like a bunch of people uh, got gravely ill. And that's not that's not normal. I thought it was maybe the road that did it. 
They won't become amputees because I have the better building for this stuff, but yeah. Flying Hunter's gear. Oh, that, that's actually not going to make it any better, I just realized. <laughs> uh, let's see, what do we want? Heal people faster, sure, why not? I, I need that now, so, you know. I expect a guest. Captain, a group of exhausted survivors have breached our city. From the frantic explanations, we know that they've come a great distance and many of them have died along the way. The phrase, doom is coming, keeps being repeated and many, uh, more, uh, many more refugees are following them. They're begging you to help them, sir. Okay, we will help them. So I think this is the time to start sending out search parties. So we're gonna basically send a, basically our scouts go help them out. Neat. It just basically like un unequipped a bunch of people, weirdly enough. Because I think it, oh right, because they became gravely ill. I mean, we don't really need food, it's fine. Whatever, we're, we're doing we're doing a bunch of efficiency stuff, so. Now let's see, you go, go get me some raw food. You did kind of let them do their thing. I forgot that they would, they because they're just sitting in there, they're in a heat, they're not in a heat zone, they don't go out. That's kind of what happened there, but that's fine. It's not a, like, it literally happened because I have too much food. That's literally why it happened, so. We're all fine. Stuck on a, a automaton. So, it's entangled itself hopelessly in the assigned building. We can't free without at least partially dismantling one or the other. I mean, shutting down either the automaton or the building. So, another thing, you get you can either shut it down, or you can shut down, shut down the mill. I'm going to shut down the automaton, because I actually have way too many automatons anyways. So, just throw another one into there, that's it, done. I need to get the coal plant. Advanced coal mine, there we go. Alright, there we go. Another infirmary checklist. Um, we don't care about the, we're not even employing engineers at the, at the place, so not a big deal to us. Let's see. Cookhouse insulation, that's not bad. We'll do that one. Because it's, uh, that. Cookhouses are actually terrible for insulation, so. As soon as the temperature drops, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be happy about that. God, I love these guys. 154. <laughs> Could not be better at all for that. Alright, we'll, we'll throw these guys in here. Because they're being slackers. Because they got. They basically became gravely ill, because I totally forgot that. We have too much food. Uh, yeah, so he, he grabbed the guys and they're coming on their way back, so. Oh yeah, we can move the temple now. Let's do that. I also move the uh, this building too. One second. Move both. Uh, we don't actually have a need for this hope anymore, so temple. I'll move the temple somewhere else. The temple. We'll put it. We'll put it right next to the automaton because even the automatons need to pray. Damn it! I, I think I keep forgetting to set reset the, the the radius on that guy. Oh well. All right. So the care home. We're we're gonna move that a little bit. Here. I guess I might as well bring some more houses. And this would be the reason I was, by the way, making more houses. No, yeah, there's like a little bit of space here. I'll just leave this open. Maybe I'll put something else down there, like another, uh, another, I don't know what to put there actually at all. There you go. That works. Oh, we're done research. Okay, let's see. What else do we get? Uh, see, this is what I mean. Now we're at the point where we're kind of like we have way too much research to do. Heater efficiency, sure, why not? We're kind of doing all the, like, nicest to have stuff. And this wouldn't have been possible if we didn't do, we didn't rush for the, uh, the engineer stuff. So, but the key is that you need both resources to do said research, and that's it. And I think we're actually done here. We did ho we did hookers, and that was it. Yeah, there's there's actually nothing for us to go for anymore. So, we're gonna leave this be. No more. That's it for loss. No more discontentness. Running from the storm, Re refugees from Frostland. A huge crowd of people have um, have reached the city. Many of them are sick. Uh, they say. Uh, that some kind of enormous weather, weather anomaly is coming our way and that they'll die without our help. We never would have survived it. Thank our lucky stars that the polar ex ex explorer Na Na Nansen warned us about the disaster and told us to ev evacuate. By the way, this is a real guy. Um, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of get into that. So please, please let us in. So we can say everyone's welcome, only the healthy ones or send them on their way. Hope will fall. 
So we can just absolutely let them into our city. That's fine. We have so much thing. So three of them are ill, and that's okay. We have the facilities for it. And they're hungry and all that kind of stuff. But I, I made like a lot of food or whatever. How much, uh, how much housing do we have? Yeah, we have 133 vacancies. Dear old Nansen. You guys are going to love Nansen, by the way. Nansen's a badass. Certified badass, I'm just saying. Alright, we got this uh, little little coal plant here. So, I will say... Well, okay, I won't tell you yet what what I what I said earlier that you guys didn't hear me say, so... We're still going to leave that up to the imagination of what I, what I was talking about. And this is another tip. It's just free supplies, I, I don't mind it. I probably should just make another infirmary somewhere. Health, infirmary, because I think I left enough space for it right here. I totally did, look at that. Amazing. I might I might just not have the... I might put engineers in this one, honestly. I might put engineers back into all of them, actually. So I was just thinking about it to myself, I'm like, you know what, I could have another guy over there. I know, I know it's like 138 versus like 154. My god, they're so good. Coal mining optimization, good for me. I don't know, I guess we don't really need the research. Okay, I changed my mind. I'm, I'm taking too lot of research. Automatons are just way too good. Yeah, so we're, we're, we got, yeah, we got a good bit of like insulation stuff in this building and things like that, so. We're good. Waiting. Oh, there's another one right here. Sorry, let's go to them. They do die, I think, uh, if you don't go to them. Well, they don't completely die. Some, some of them die, is what happens. So you're supposed to kind of go to them, so. Again, it doesn't count towards anything, so you don't really have to care, so. Uh, let's see. What's a good thing to do? So no, no sawmills, no charcoal killing. Eh, house installation. That, that won't be bad. We can start doing the heating stuff. I don't know. I mean, not, not really. I don't really care. <laughs> These things don't matter to me anymore. We're definitely at a point where it, it does not make a big difference, so. Alright, so he's got the guys. It's a bunch of workers and children, so. Again, it doesn't count against you. Oh, there's another one right there, so let's go get that one, too. So let's, let's see, let's see. So it started out with 3822. So we'll look at it in a bit. We'll see what happens to it. The second wave. Another huge group of refugees has arrived. They're in worse condition than the previous one. Many of them victims of frostbite. And I'll talk about a huge storm coming from the south. Nansen led us north because of his years exploring the Arctic, taught him how to survive using natural resources. Again, true. He was a he was an Arctic explorer. Um, nobody could have guessed uh, what was coming though. Should we let them in? Yeah. So, twenty five are ill, twenty five gravely discontent will rise seventy people. So, so there you go. But they all fit in all my medical facilities. So we're still absolutely good on that. Uh, was I doing overdrive couplings? Was that? I don't know what I was doing. I think I did the coal one, but yeah. We got like plenty of coal right now, so. <laughs> and there you go. They're they're all getting fed and all that kind of stuff, so we got plenty of space for them, so. Do we have enough vacant beds? I'm not sure. Faith keepers. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna do some of this. I think I may need one more, because it's it's been about 70 every single time, right? Uh, we may need, uh, you know, actually, I'm not, I'm not going to disassemble that, actually. I'm going to keep it the way it is. Uh, let's have a look. If, if I need to, I'll make another place for them somewhere. I might I might start working on that. Generator safety bypass. They, it will increase, the, the stress will increase 25% slower and fall 25% faster. So, pretty good. Alright, where are they at? Uh, transport... Yeah, it's fine. Oh yeah, they're they're just coming over. So let's see, how many how many how many got thirty eight twenty two? Was that about the same amount? Yeah, I guess nobody died then. I guess it was fine. I think it was the same amount, right? I don't remember. So I kind of I, I kind of asked myself that silly question, and then I was like, yeah. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a really. I don't think I'll need it, but we'll prepare for it just in case. Actually, thirty two. How many is that? That's like uh, 50, 
Yeah, that's 70 again. Oh yeah, so it has been 70. Nobody's been dying, okay. And that means we do need to make another place for this, so. So, this is already like way too much space for my guys, so. Let's see. Well, they obviously need some faith and house of prayer. So I'm making a lovely place for them to go fight and do some stuff here. I'm gonna make some houses here. One, two. This could be a fat house, but who cares? Yeah, I just need to make sure it's inside the radius there. I don't, I don't know if I actually need this many, but like, we're right now like literally just completely loaded on resources right now, so who cares? I might make another like cookhouse somewhere here actually. Because uh, two, like I have a lot of raw food as well, so I don't know. Third wave. A third, a third wave group of refugees are here. They're on the br verge of collapse, exhausted by their journey and, t and tending to the gravely ill and injured with them. Their leader, Nansen, isn't wit among them. Um, we're evacuating everyone we can. We stayed behind with those who were too ill to travel. Nansen amongst them. God have mercy on us all. The great frost is coming. Shall we let them in? So 60 people, 50 who are gravely ill, uh, will enter our city. Discontent will rise. What well, looms ahead? Sir, we can only, we can clearly see what the refugees are running from. The great frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. Uh, we just need a day or two to prepare their instruments and install them in the beacon. And there goes our last uh, little bit of, uh, so that is, I think, of research that we have to do. There you go. So beacon, stereoscopic lenses. So it enables to gauge the severity of the incoming storms. So we, we basically have every single <laughs> research all done. Yeah, is there uh, anything to, oh, there we go. There's some crevasses or something. So let's, let me go as far as I can up here. So this just opened up a couple more things for us to go looking for some people. I, I could do one more group by the way, so might as well get them going. And they're still hungry, hungry hippos. Uh, let's see. Food. Cookhouse. What I'll also do is I'll also connect the road over here. So we have a we have a little like subdivided area here. Uh it looks like we're kind of need Actually, the sick will be fine. I'll be fine. Dude, they're, they're, uh, honestly, it's really efficient, our our, uh, our infirmaries. They're like 50% more efficient than a regular infirmary. Like, is this not going to be, like, fine? I'm actually curious about that. I'm willing to deal with the consequences of you guys are. And you know what the other problem is? It's this stupid shit. Okay, one second. I, I kind of feel like wasting food, but then again, I guess I shouldn't do that. Resource Depot. I keep, I keep I keep just throwing down resource depots because why not right? Why not? It's one of those things that you kind of think to yourself. I guess I could have played this on like the the hard difficulty, but I'm like, eh, it it would have been. As I said it would have been extremely sweaty if I if I had done that. So, all right, I'll send them up here. But Nansen's an absolute baller. I'm gonna say that. So Nansen is, yeah, like I said, he is like a an Arctic explorer, and he was like, what's it called? Um, I don't know. It's like it's God did not give him two testicles. He get, they gave him two giant snowballs. That's what they did. You know. He's a he's a definitely definitely a certified badass. But he but it, like actually in real life he was as well. Like I'm not even memeing. I'm not even memeing right now. Okay, I guess we might as well go with Storm of Coal. I think everyone's gonna get frostbite from like just sitting here. Actually, no, they're not because they're they're not doing anything at the moment. Oh, this is when the music starts to kick up too. It gets a lot better. Beacon, stereoscopic lenses. Prepare for a storm, sir. The scientists couldn't believe their eyes. They've double and triple checked their their calculations. They say the strongest winds of the storm will cause the temperature to plummet beyond anything we've ever experienced before. Hunting will be impossible. Plants in the hot houses will freeze. Everyone outside the city will perish. 
so if we can't heat our homes properly, we we would have to. Oh, sorry, and so will we if we can't uh, heat our homes properly. We have to prepare. Hope falls. Pretty significantly, actually. Generator, we did we, we did to raise the the, the heat output uh, of the generator. I already did the research I was supposed to do for it. This alone may not be enough. All our homes and workplaces uh, should be as warm as possible. It's cold that could kill in minutes. Let's see. So I have to recall scouts and teams, rescue people, and we need to also get some more rations. So I just threw some more down, did I not? I guess I didn't. Might as well I could just make more food, why not? There was like, there was like a bigger ration house I could have been making, but I just didn't bother. Let's make more food. There's some survivors here. We will bring them to our city. Camp Vulcan. Again, everyone's survived so far. There's been no deaths whatsoever. Even the guy from Winterholm didn't even spawn to die. Nobody dies. This is the this is the the good the good end or something, I guess, so far. Oh, we're about to have it go cold again. No survivors. Bring them back to the city. Oh, did it oh, did it actually give flavor text? I don't even know. Oh, these people are deathly ill. It's wonder why they're still alive. The snow barrows are only a little bit less freezing than the surrounding icy wasteland. They won't di they won't last a day if we don't take them right now to the city. Sorry, I didn't read these. I I, I got I got complacent. I apologize. Uh, these people are on their last legs. Despite taking a shelter in an ice crevasse, many of them suffer from heavy frostbite and hypothermia. We can help them. Um, still, if we act quickly and bring them to our city, they can't stand on their own. Hardly some of them can't even walk or speak. So, we're just trying to trying to help everybody out. Everybody gets to survive. I mean, you know, if you're in a if you're in a city that's like the last city, right? Uh, don't you want to save as many people as possible, right? It's like humanity, you know, kind of thing, that kind of deal. You want to be nice, you know. Well, not just be nice. It's like this could be like the last, like I said, we could last survives on Earth or whatever. Uh, we we have some more uh, research we can do. All right, let's see. We can do advanced heaters. Uh, we already have all the insulation basically here. We can get one more point of insulation here, so not a bad idea. Honestly, I've pretty much just filled up this entire map, so. What are we, how are we doing for housing right now? We got, we got 130, uh, 143 vacancies. I think we'll be okay. This was likely not necessary, but I did it anyway, so. Alright, more survivors. These people must have fallen into this hole while escaping from the incoming storm. At least half of them didn't survive the crash, but it seems we will have to rescue the wounded. That is, if we strap them to our um, slides and bring them back to the city quickly. Bring them to the city. So you can see the storm is coming. I like how the map changes too, it's pretty badass. You, you can disband the scouts. I'm, no, I'm gonna send them back in. Back to the crevasse. We're going to keep going back and forth and just bringing people over. So, And you can see it just like people keep getting healed, which is why the four the four buildings are great. And also, it's a very compelling reason of why you always do overcrowding. Because like it, I have the best facilities, like one, 154, and I got like a huge capacity for what? A little bit of discontent? It doesn't matter. I'm very content with my discontent. So Cookhouse is doing pretty good too here, so... I like I, I I like how it becomes more snowy and the and the, the music gets serious. It's really great. You can disband the the scouts. Uh, no, we're gonna send them back. Let me send them to the deep hollow. But like look up some of these people like like who Nansen was and all that kind of stuff because I kind of did that. I was like, oh, this is cool. Like like actual real people are are involved with like the kind of this game. So we're only at negative fifty degrees by the way. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's about to drop actually gonna be fantastic. All right, so we got more insulation. I'm gonna do some more he healthcare insulation. So these buildings are gonna go be a little bit better. But to be honest, I think they're already pretty good. So, all right, let's see. Let's get go to Camp Vulcan. It's kind of my plan. I don't know why there's always people hungry. Like, just go eat something. Like, it's just that easy. I mean, I'm not sure if this... I, like, this one is supposed to do that. I'll just do... Too cold. Must be at least chilly inside to work. I don't think that matters. I don't know. Maybe it does. 
Because you, you always put two, like, I always put, like, two down at least because it, like, it frees up my, uh, it, it, it like, it gives them two places to go grab food from because they always grab from there. They can also grab from the stockpile, I think, if they're really hungry, but I don't know. It's one of those things. How's our food doing still? I guess we, you know, we, I think I might have to go get that one going. Survivors rescued. We rescued everyone we could. God help us. All right. Let's see. Can I just turn this one on or no? Oh no, that's that's terrible. Okay, one second. I'm just gonna make another cook house over here then. I, I think I need to be making food faster because they're currently not making it fast enough. I don't care about that thing. All right, we're gonna send it back up here to the Hungo Follow. No, hung, hungo follow. No, deep hollow. Sorry. That, don't don't ask me what I was actually saying. All right, we can make another uh, coal mine here. Let's see. Advanced coal mine. Uh, is that not? It? Oh, we already did do that. Oh, neat. Oh, I put engineers over there. Yeah, we don't need that. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, that's different. That's a steam one. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a coal mine? No, yeah, that still works. What? Where the, uh, oh, there's a coal mine there. Sorry. I was looking in the wrong place. I got mixed up. The city's, uh, kind of a mess. Tip from a believer. Okay, whatever. <laughs> there's one person that's not inside there. Again, I, I trust, I trust in their ability to do what they need to do. Healthcare installation. But there you go. It's like, it's like steaming hot here. Alright, more survivors. Escort them to... Escort the scientists. So you're going the wrong ways. The scientists mistook us for refugees. After we told them about our city, they're non nonplussed. It's probably too um, too close to the storm to withstand it. You might as well consult Nansen on that if you can reach him in the south. The work here is done. We should we could convince them to join us, or we could sh and show us our city. We can direct them, let them go their way, which is the worst one. They will flee north and probably perish. Now nah, we're gonna escort them. Everyone must survive, including the city. Get some kids to work in there. I'm still doing soup because I, I don't really see reason not to do soup. It's like practically nothing at this point. Is there a, another guy here? One second. I might get this guy to go over here to Camp Walken. We'll see what happens to these gravely, gravely winded. But yeah, everyone's getting treated. Everyone has like the maximum of everything. So that's all good. One second. We can definitely put another... Go mine some coal for me. There we go. Coal is the future. All right. Well, might as well go put down some more, uh, <laughs> some more uh, posts for this. Where is it at? Resource depots. Yeah, let's go. Might as well get some more. Let's get some more coal going. So we need three, four, five, six food. Is that is that a like an actual number? Like. Did that calculate it somehow based upon something I did? I don't know what, what, what we calculated based on. Coal. Coal. Food supply is ready. Food supply should keep, keep us fed for a week. Let's pray the storm subsides for, before then. There you go. So we have all the food that we possibly need. I'll, I'll get like another food. Who cares? We'll get, a, we'll get a nice coal as well. So how much coal is this? About six days worth of coal. Nice. Uh, all right, so we'll send them to Jagged Rocks. Yeah, the biggest problem was uh, using all that, uh, using all those rations. That's why I made like a bunch of cookhouses. All right, so we got healthcare installation. Uh, this is not important. Uh, I guess we'll do the large resource depot. Why not? Camp, uh, Camp Compass. Let's have a look. A small group of scientists is finishing loading their supplies. They work efficiently when science, looking somewhat dejected. We're, we're mostly helping with the evacuations now, one of them tells us. We used to study Earth's magnetic field, but there are more important things to worry about now, like survival. All right, we'll, we'll send them also back to... You may have noticed the theme here. We're just going back and forth, bringing people back. But it, it's really easy to go back up to a place you've already been, so... And by the way, you, that's the key, is to always choose a place nearby that you've already been to, kind of a thing. So, I'm gonna send him up all the way up here. 
Because they, they, like, I'll actually show you the difference. So, this guy is going to take uh, 13 days to get over to here. If I were to send it, let's say, to Ice Caves, that's one day, 10, 10 hours. It's like three times as long almost. So, but there's obviously, like, a I have to do that trek as well. But I, I would say it's like twice as fast, if I had to guess, guesstimate. Oh, uh, I guess I don't want to do this. I guess I could make more automatons. Where's my automatons? We're gonna just tell them that he can just do it forever. You can do it infinity. I'm hoping for some more steam cores. But to be honest, we don't really need research anymore, so I don't care if it's going slower. I'm actually just researching memes now, so. It's kind of what we've been been uh, resorted to now. Large resource depot, see? We can, we can go build these just so you guys can see what these are all about, so there we go. We'll, we'll see how much they store, because I, I, I don't remember exactly. All right, so this guy has coal and steel. Uh, so, uh, fractured by the shock of an underground explosion. Maybe an underground base here. Ruins of the underground base reek of sulfur. It may, um, it must have been a warm and sheltered place, but now it's uh, 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 exploring its depths is dangerous. Exploring the ruins, we found a briefcase signed by Nensen. Uh, it seems to contain some interesting blueprints. So we take a technology. That's what we do. It doesn't tell you what the technology is. I think it's when you come back, it's whatever you haven't done, I think. Which, uh, I think we've done a lot. It's, if you were behind and you needed to do, like, a lot of science, but, like, that's the thing with automatons, is there's no such thing as being behind when you have this many automatons. In fact, they, they're not even doing anything. They're bored. You gotta give them something to do. It's okay, at least if we all die in the storm, the, the automatons will, uh, will, uh, succeed us. Runaway child. Sir, a man is here to see you. He says that his daughter ran away and news of the storm spread. Uh, after news of the storm spread, he wants to borrow a scout sled and go after her. She's a big girl, but she's very impulsive. She scares easily, the father explains. I must find her before she's lost for good. It's, she's all I have left. So you can do three things. Uh, <laughs> ignore him. Based. Um, he'll die too. Stop him. You can prevent him from going. Hope will fall. Uh, just send them on, on his way. Um, they... Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll they'll be fine. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, obviously, it's like it's a, it's a hope thing. It's fine. Don't worry. I mean, clearly the fact I sent him out, you can you can kind of tell immediately that like he's good. He's, he's like I'm saying I'm not letting anyone die. So by me doing that, yeah. Nensen's Stormwatch, sturdy building that can withstand withstand a uh, uh, severe Arctic winter. It's crammed with sophisticated scientific equipment. Yet the camp, camp seems to be abandoned. So we found a note, uh, so it's his warning. Uh, so we found a note left by Nansen and his coworkers. The expected cold is hard to predict. It'll be way below any temperature ever recorded on Earth. Gale force 10, as the jet streams seem to be a bait on descent. Afterwards, the climate will start improving slowly. We're, we're, we're moving towards the apocalyptic storm to confirm our predictions. God, uh, sorry, for a while, God protect you. Take technology. That motherfucker is going towards the storm. He's going in the wrong direction. I told you, he's a badass. What a baller. Giant fucking storm coming. Danson's gonna go to it. That's his calling. Storm burrows, let's go there. Snow burrows, sorry. He's a, he's a total badass. I told you, he doesn't have testicles. He has just two giant snowballs. That's what he has. I, I actually just I just love his character. It, by the way, he's not confirmed dead or, or alive um, after the events of this game. So for all we know, he he may have survived and he'll be, he'll be in now uh, the next game. I guess I'll do faster outpost teams. Might as well. I don't really need faster outpost teams, but uh, whatever. What do you do? Oh yeah, I should also mention, I don't really care about the fact that this making uh, automatons non-stop. It doesn't matter because you can always disassemble the automatons to get it back. Uh, flum flummoxing flux. By the dead bodies we found, um, by the dead bodies we found many crates filled with papers, a testimony to extensive research dedicated to fluctuations of Earth's mag magnetic field. It's too heavy to understand by our scouts and too heavy to bring to the city. Uh, that's, uh, how's that too heavy? They brought 1,000 logs of wood. How could this be too heavy? <laughs> it's crate. It's a crate filled with papers. That's 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 more than a thousand wood worth of fucking. Okay. Anyways, carry on. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm not upset. I swear. Alright, let's go back. Uh, so, the thing we're going to see is... Okay, it's not coming in yet, but things are going to start to freeze where you have to watch out. Because my lovely uh, outpost team will die if I leave them out there. Uh, and when the storm is coming, so... Yeah, oh, wait, we've done that. We've done this one. All right, go to Camp Meteor. All right, another faster outpost teams, even though we don't really need it. Okay, is there anything else? Like, this is completely done. Um, I mean, we could do, like, infirmary stuff. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, it, you're kind of at the point now where you're just having fun with it, so it's just like, yeah, yeah let's do this one, sure. And I don't even have engineers working there. One second. Engineer is fortified hut. It's out of luck. It's as if uh, it's been destroyed, but shattered as if a pack of wild animals went through it. Scientists have built a station designed to withstand Arctic climate, but they clearly been underestimated the fierce Arctic fauna. The doors and uh, windows have been bashed in by heavy blows, letting um, letting inside cold and snow. Scientific and life support equipment froze and burst, dooming the base and its inhabitants. All right, take the, take the technology. I don't know if I'm going to need to do anything else here or just go back. I just like the automatons just chilling around the city. I guess we could make a couple of... Uh, I just realized we could make a few... Uh, what, what are they called? It's like, I think I adjusted the camera this way. Yeah, there you go. It's more like here. I'll just make, I'll just make some prosthetics. Might as well, right? Who knows? If we need it, we, we need it, so... Well... I guess I'll just go to Camp Meteor, then. I wonder if I will adjust the speed that they're going... Because otherwise I just send everyone back. It's negative 70 degrees, though. Pretty awesome. Okay, neg negative 70 is pretty freaking cold, let me tell you. And yet we have these these scouts out here that are just like, they're just chilling. That will not kill them, but the storm will. <laughs> so, just a forewarning. That's why I have to bring everybody back, so... I'm, just, I'm double checking to see if uh, anything's coming in. Alright, explore Camp Meteor. Uh, we searched the remains of the camp. Uh, this must have been some scientific operation dedicated to the, re uh, to the research of whatever punched a hole in the ice. Now this place is deserted. There's nothing of value to be found here. All right, well, there's two things to find. Uh, let's just send him this way, and then I'm just going to reset him, because I don't know if it actually did reset him. It probably did, if I had to guess. I'm going to just send this guy all the way back. I don't think I need any more scouts, so... I kind of made the extra one. You can kind of get this done with two easily, so... I'm going to disable this building. They'll be fine. It's a very large, large city with, like, just, like, everything, so, one second. Let's do, I don't know, what should we do now? We can, we can start making meme stuff. Oh, yeah, streamline prothesis. Clearly, we need the efficiency. So these would store 5,400 of coal and food. Actually, I'll, I'll put this to food rations. So what, what are these current ones doing? Like, the smaller ones I've been placing down everywhere. Like... 1,000. I guess they are better. So I can't really complain. Let's make let's make more of them because you know that's me complaining. The wood and steel we don't need a lot of, by the way. That's that's fine. Ironically, we're going to be able to continue mining it even though we have the great storm going on. So by the way, there's no reason to. We only have like we have six days to recall them, and recalling them now wouldn't do anything. So. Yeah, there's still no storm. Refueling absent. No efficiency. I guess that's one disadvantage, is that the automatons will have to refuel at some point. But still, they're more efficient than anything, so, you know, I don't even know. How much coal do we consume a day? 7,300 and... Or is that the bottom one number? I think it's the bottom number. 2,767, yeah. Large crater. Crater is fresh uh, with broken ice around the rim. We searched the camp for clues and the scientist's fate and found none. Uh, everything's in order, but not perfect order. It looks like they went out to go do something but didn't return. Maybe they tried to descend into the crater and got lost in the maze of broken ice or caught by the blizzard or both. Take a technology. I'm actually curious on what technologies it's, it's possibly going to give me. I have a guy coming back right now. Superman Believer. Woman has told her. Yeah, whatever. Sorry. I keep forgetting I'm not reading that. 
I guess it I guess it gave me the technology because I don't know what it's doing though. I guess it was would be one if I didn't have it already. It's probably heating based ones though, because it I didn't actually unlock anything for me, so. I'm keeping him there because reasons. I'm just seeing, seeing if it doesn't like unlock another side to it, so. Alright, well, th this is now done, this tree. All hail. Oh god, there's like a bunch of things. Scattered convoy. Inside are damaged crawlers. Uh, inside damaged crawlers, we found several dead bodies. A few of them were torn apart like they had been partially eaten by some beasts. Polar bears, we think. Uh, we'll never know for sure what happened here, and there's nothing useful for us to salvage from those groups in place. Carry on. And that's it. All done. Let's start heading back. We have officially done everything. Just ban this guy. Oh, might as well just speed it up. I guess uh, we've done the prosthesis, so I'm gonna go just make some more. I, I, I mean, I don't even really need an extra automaton, that's the thing. <laughs> but it's not a matter of need at this point. It's it's a it's the message you send to the storm. That storm's gonna come over. It's gonna say fuck. That's a lot of uh, things. I guess we could look at. I mean, hot house will look at some point. Let's do charcoal clan. It's time. This this is the moment it'll be the most useful. I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep it at like just one. I want to keep a steam core around so. I thought we'd get some steam cores, I guess we don't. Well, we get one over here, so. Yeah, boy, another charcoal killing. Thermostat, it produces 33% more coal, but we're not building one, so don't worry about it. Who knows, maybe maybe it will become very useful. Hungry mother, um, woman has come to plead with you. She wants more food rations, but cook says she's already received her allowance. I beg you, uh, the woman says in a troubling voice. Your men mean well, but they made a mistake. I need two rations, one for me and one for my sick child, please. You can have, uh, yeah, you can have two. You can have two food. That's fine. She just really must love the soup, you know. I mean, who wouldn't love the soup? Let let's let's be fair. It's the soup that does it. All right, everyone's back now. Oh, okay. So now you can see it's starting to freeze over over there. So, so we can kind of probably wait. It it gives you a little bit of time here, but you can kind of feel the the. So this is this is already frozen over. So we could probably get another day out of it if I had to guess. I'm gonna give it a little quick save. And I just realized I could have been doing that actually when I, whenever I saved. We won't survive this. Oh, they're not happy about that. Dude, did you guys learn nothing from the New London incident? God, we need to make another religion. Uh, sir, we investigated uh, the discrepancies between raw food use and output of co cook houses. To the, the cooks were stealing food. People are furious. We got three thieves, and they say they want to uh, they want to secure their families before the storm shuts down food supply. So we can either we can banish them, make them leave the city before a fucking great storm comes, ask ask faith keepers to address it, or we can just let them keep stealing. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> we have so much food; they can have it. I don't care. It's one of those things, we have a great abundance, it's fine. We have like, how much food is this? For eight days. How long could this storm possibly be, you know? Alright. That's another one. Oh yeah, okay, we gotta send this guy out now. We're not gonna get another day out of this, so send him back. So, you can see it's about to come over, so... Um, the... The coal can probably do another one or two and that's it, so... I mean, guys, nine days of coal, will that be enough? I don't know. How, could, how long could this storm possibly be? How long could it possibly be? We could we could go always make another advanced coal mine or something, you know? That's that's always an option. We got a lot of options, let's just let's go with that. Well, I'm gonna make one more... Uh, oh, I'll just make them less discontent. One second. We'll make, uh, we'll make one more... Uh... Oh no, I can't do that, never mind. Yeah, what the hell? I thought I didn't have two steam cores. I guess I didn't. Oh yeah, I do have two steam cores because one's coming. That's why. I can throw one more down. All right, let's do some more research. All right, so killings are done. Thank goodness, guys. That was a close one. We'll do hot houses. I will finish every single research, just to just to dab on that storm. 
like I said, I, I, I've done the diff most difficult uh, thing. It's always the beginning that's always the most challenging. It, that's always the hard one. All right, let's see. Okay. Now, the funny thing is, you know how these guys, these transports kind of sit, sit outside the base if you're uh, not ready? One second. Would it have been able to... It, I actually maybe could have gotten another steam core out of that. If I was a gamer, but I'm not. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's useful. I like how it lags a little bit because I have so much going on in this city. It's just like, uh, I think I've reached the limit of what of what I'm supposed to do in this city. Do do mongering drunks. So a dozen or so people got drunk and took to the streets. They're chasing after women, yelling that we should have some fun before a storm kills us all. What should we do with them? We can we can banish them as well. Okay. They're just a little drunk. It's fine. They'll sober up, they're, but their doom mongering will affect hope and discontent. Just in the moment. But why, why would why would banishing them not make it like worse? That's my, that's my question. Like you just like the fuck off, get out of the city. Hope has fallen, isn't it? We're just sending people out for some reason, yeah. Yeah. So it's because this one's on the other side of the storm. We actually have like lots of time to just grab more coal. Guys, we, I think we need more coal. I, I'm feeling another resource depot coming in. It's kind of important to me. Coal is the future, after all. Actually, no, it's not oil in the new game, so, you know. Get some more coal. Yeah, maybe I'll get one more, one more coal depot. Ooh, let's do... Yeah, right there. There you go. Do you ever want a believer? Okay, that's fine. You, you can always tell I'm like, I'm about to read it, and I'm like, yeah, we've read that like, like 10 times. It just it just continuously happens. One of the faith things is what happens, is how it goes. And you think that order order must be so much so much better. No, it's not. It's uh it's uh it only it only uh, gets worse in terms of morality there. You know, I think I think this is uh, oh yeah, that's fine. Don't worry. I was thinking about that one. So we got enough food. Oh yeah, we can get more coal over this too. Hothouse insulation. All right. Oh, another one. We're not making hothouses though. I refuse. We will not be doing that, but that's okay. I guess we can go put some more, uh, some more uh, little depots down because why not? I just why why the whole stockpile? Uh, by the way, this is entirely excessive. Um, it's a it's it's a literally a storm, so as we're gonna starve before that, you know, it's fine. It's a, but you know, excessive is my middle name. That's what I always do. All right, sawmills. I can actually feel the lag right now because I, I think it's just too much for this right now. How are we going to live now? Go outside. You see, they're complaining. Oh god, I didn't think I could get this cold. Wasn't it negative seventy before, Charles, man? You've already dealt with this. Prayers at work. People are, um, are uh, sorry, the people employed at this gathering post have refused to work today. They tend to spend the entire day praying. We've been working, we've been working like bad men, sir, but there's only so much we can do uh, to prepare. Let's face it, it is the end of the world. Through prayer, we can find uh, the hope of deliverance, whatever that happens. You can force them to work or just let them play. Uh, we don't care about them, so. Will it be inactive? Can I just put people into it? I guess not. Is it, what's the reason? I guess there's no reason for it to be offline. All right, more more sawmill upgrades. For that sawmill, we're not gonna make ever. I should just go, I should just go make them work in the fucking sawmills. It'll be fun. There we go. And like again, it wouldn't. This wouldn't have been possible if we didn't have automatons working all the time. So. Automatons are amazing, and I hope I've sold you on them. Oh, uh, you can see kind of when the storm starts over here, so... I think, uh, I think, I, I think I'm gonna let one more, uh, thing come out for the... for the coal and then send it back. Actually, I probably shouldn't do that. You know what, I'm not gonna do that, actually. Because, you know what, the, 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 the guy may not make it, so... Yeah, actually, no, we gotta send it back right now. Because you can see, you can see it's like... You can see the angle it's kind of going in. Look at that. Like it's like kind of coming in there. So I don't know if you'd make it. So I don't want to risk it. 
fight over supply. Is there an argument erupted between the workers last night? Some of them wanted a portion of the supply um, resources their, their facility produces so they can prepare for the storm. It came to blows, although nobody was seriously injured. Tendrons are high. Keep me updated. Thanks, keep me updated. I'm going to put this to wood. I think I'm going to need wood in a second here. Oh, what, what else do we need? Okay, I think it's the last, literally the last upgrade you could possibly get. Yeah, so basically people are flipping out about this whole thing, so there you go. We won't survive this. I mean, I don't know, whatever. What are they going to do? Alright. Mob storms of stockpiles. A, sir, a crowd a crowd of terrified people. Uh, we will have wood for everybody. You have 24 hours to supply wood. That's why I actually did that. So we managed to fight them out. They demanded wood and he, uh, for heating and to reinforce their homes. We need uh, 1460. You can say city comes first, hope will fall, disperse, or everyone can have wood. We will have wood. We actually will have wood for everybody. Like, I'm not, I'm not even being ironic here. Do we even need this stuff or no? Not really. Is there food rations? I can put this to wood as well. Tip from a believer, and that's whatever. Hoarding food. Again, we're hoarding food. Get crazy. All right, that's the last one. I will bring him in too. Which one was he? He was like the... God, I, I'm so mixed up right now where it is. He's not this one now. All right, bring him back in. That's it. Uh, the people you saved barely managed to reach your city in time. I wouldn't say that, but okay. <laughs> At least we have a critical supply of food ready. There's not much time left. Uh, we should use it to prepare whatever else we can. As the storm hits, there will be nothing we can do but wait it out. Yeah. Again, I'm, 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 I, I know I'm being sarcastic, but I'm just having an easy time because I've played this game so much. I love this game. It's really great. So it's just well done. So it's, a, it's just really nice. I just know all the all the tricks kind of thing. This is not something you, if you kind of did this, this is not be your par for course kind of thing. And we've done all the research, so that's it. We're done. There's there's literally nothing else we could research. So we could probably just go have the automatons actually go just work at these buildings now. So we can have coal all the time now. Limitless coal. Guess we can start. So there's no easy way of turning off buildings. You just have to go into each one of these and just turn them off manually. Off, and then, yeah, there's children in that one. So guess what, kid kiddos? You don't have to work here anymore. There's a, what the hell's working over here? Oh, nothing. Yeah, I already turned it off. Yeah, I can also do the other ones here too. So lots of coal. Why not? There's there's actually just lo nothing to do for these guys. So might as well, right? It's just the best way of uh, actually just using all this uh, resources. So I like how they're still not going to work. Actually, what a bunch of assholes! It's the automaton is there. That doesn't make any sense. All right, and we'll just start turning off buildings again. That's it. Science, science is done. Science, science has run out of ideas. Wood supplies. You open the stockpile for everyone to take a home emergency. Wood supplies. This will let them reinforce their homes and provide emergency heating if everything else falls. People feel real assured with your decisive action. There you go. So we have no wood anymore. That's fine. How much housing do we have? Do we even have spare houses? It's fine. It's 51. 51 spare beds. So we got a day, 11 hours. That's why I'm like, it wasn't just in time. I could have probably had another coal thing happen, go down here, so. That's why it's fine. It's fine. Should we put another uh, stockpile up or what? I'm kind of curious, is, is like the stockpile going to continue to rise when I do this? That's my questions I ask. That, that that the stack looks cool as hell though. I, I like I like the way these things look. It's just neat. Someone got really sick, but it was because of. Uh, I guarantee you it was because they were uh, they were in here getting like the food rations. One second, I'm gonna put change this out to raw food. I, I probably should have made one of these raw food. I can just change it out later. Raw food. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, several thousand, uh, yeah, 16 days of food, 9 days of rations, and I'm sure that will continue to go up as I uh, get a couple more things. And so I'm just letting raw food be put in here. Actually, I just realized that 
they got sick again because they can't go anywhere, so. I wish there was an easier way to make them do the thing I want them to do, but yeah. Now you might say to yourself, oh man, you could have gotten no, no child labor at the beginning of this, but really it didn't make a difference, like I said. Even if you did like no child labor, it's the beginning that matters. It snowballed into this mess that you see, so that's all I'm like. It's actually good to just do the child labor stuff, so. And that, that's going to be the last time they go out, so that's it for food for us. So what do we what do we end off at? Nine days of food and seventeen days of coal, so you know. And the the coal will not stop though. Brace yourselves. Cold is coming. Storm hits the city. A howling gust uh gale oh, sorry, not gust, gale, a burst upon the city and the janitor creaks and groans under the weight of the wind. Pale faces turn uh, towards rattling windows, trembling a uh, Trembling lips utter the words of prayer. The cold will be brutal. Hunting is impossible. The soil in the, in the, in the hot houses will freeze. We'll have to make do with the food we stockpiled. The city must survive. All right. Well, we prepare for a storm. Nothing left to do but survive until it passes. All right. One thing we have to do. We must actually shut down all of the hangars. Because uh, if you don't do that, they will basically go work. They will go to the building despite the fact it's inoperable. Which is really dumb, but they still go there. Um, so you just have to shut them off yourself. And there's no easy way of doing it. Uh, we will raise the temperature here. I'll raise the temperature with a couple things here. That one's fine. Oh, I guess I never got that. Oh, you, you guys can go to church. Raise the temperature. Okay. We're good. And, uh, yes, this would be a, a snowstorm with its own fucking boss music, so... I can just fast forward it, because there's nothing for us to do now. There's no more food or anything. Which is overall just pretty awesome, though. Like, just, I, I like the ending of it. So, we got three stages here. Temperature will continue to drop, drops again, and then drops again. And then drops again three levels that one is a much more significant one so hopefully you uh, got all the upgrades for this and have everything going here citizen had to have a limb amputated where was he oh he's in here the fucking idiot oh god there's another building here whatever we we, we left we left uh, prosthetics, uh, prosthetics for that so we already did we already did something about that all right, so here's one of the really cool events. This is the thing I, I muted myself and took it out of there. So, sir, one of our engineers wants to talk to you. He's concerned about the danger the cold poses to our mines. We're doing everything we can to beat the mines. Uh, they, sorry, not beat, heat the mines. But the air we're pumping into the shafts is cold now, and the, and the hydraulic roof supports are starting to freeze. When they do, the tunnels will start collapsing. So if you uh, kind of are a little bit like not, well, don't have 17 days worth of coal, uh, if you're if you're that kind of guy, um, you might be having a problem in a moment here. You know, can you guys give him a prosthetic? There you go. You know what? Everyone deserves prosthetics. Oh, you know what? This is also an issue. I'm not even going to have anyone go here. All right, negative 100 degrees. You know, I'm, I'm not even going to bring anyone to the press X things. Coal mine crisis. The mines are freezing. Sir, it's it's so cold that the hydraulic roof supports in our coal mines are fall it, uh, failing. If the tunnels collapse, the lower levels will be cut off. We need to abandon them or set, send volunteers to replace the supports, but the task is extremely dangerous. If you send volunteers, people will die. And it's not the only time you'll have to send them in. You'll have to send them in, I think, twice. Um, better just to abandon it. So all types of coal mines will drop by 80% in terms of their output. So that's it. Efficiency, basically nothing. There you go. The storm has frozen this building's resources, so we can you can go work on steel now. By the way, this, that does not impact thumpers. The, the coal thumpers will go at 100%. That's why I have two of them. And I wasn't even going to bother making them. I just thought it was cool to look at and show you guys what it does. And another tip from Believer. I like how we're just making food out of nowhere. But even with that going on, we still have a great 
coal surplus. Not a not a not a deficit. We're even making more food because we have raw food here too. So we're perfectly fine. But you can you can essentially take them out if you don't want them to work here anymore. It's fine. They don't do anything anymore. But that, that, that one's a kind of a neat event. And it could get kind of like antsy if you're like, if you're not ready for it, you know? If you have a coal shortage, sure, our, our output of our coal mines has fallen so low, so low that people are terrified that we're gonna freeze during the storm. We better do something about it. I'm not building anything, we'll make it anyways. I wanna make two coal thumpers. I'm not doing it, they can, they can fuck off. I already have enough coal. Again, the game doesn't really anticipate that you're gonna do like, have 50,000 coal available but you know it's still kind of it's it's just kind of funny but yeah these are these are events that are are like better when you're like kind of more pressured for time but when you play the game a lot like it's just like you already know what's happening so oh there's actually a fair bit of sick people i probably should do something about that that's more important than anything let's do it let's do that instead let's do uh infirmary by this one here I'm having them deconstruct one of the buildings there. Also, this can be removed as well. We don't need that anymore. What's over here? What's what's over here that's so cold? Is it the stupid... It's the stupid field kitchens. I hate field kitchens so much right now. Uh, okay, so what I'm going to do is the other mine... Where is it at? I'll just deconstruct this one too. Who cares? And put an automaton on that guy. What we can do, we can we can go. Well, let's put this back on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make automatons and just heat it. There you go. Coal theft. Someone has stolen five thousand coal. Okay. If someone steals five thousand coal from the stock uh, stockpiles, I think we'll find out where it is. Just look at the house; it's overflowing with coal. Seems that not everyone believes the reassurances that our supplies will last. Sometimes egotism, sometimes fear assuages people. We send our men after it, we'll make it anyways. We'll be fine. So, where's our other. Oh, there, there he is. I was wondering what happened to that one. I will do this one as well. We need another infirmary somewhere. I'm trying to not have people die, so. Yeah, new, new Tom Tom. Get, get your ass in there. My, my man. Even even the in, even in the storm, automatons must survive. You know what? I'm gonna have an automaton make more automatons. God, I, I wonder what this does for the compression of the video. Well, I guess you'll know because you're, you're watching it. <laughs> All right, uh, we don't want to make any more automatons. That's that's it. Did, did we actually disassemble the other coal mine? So when you disassemble, you get the you get the 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 steam cores back from it. So. That's why I did. That's why I did that. There we go. Did I? Wait, I didn't. I didn't actually press the button. We need to keep one steam core with us, though. We we don't have any other workers here, do we? No, they're just they're just all regular things. All right, we're good. See, why why even have these flesh and blood humans? We have the automatons. They're gonna do everything. All right, and then there's gonna be a very significant drop in temperature. So. This is pretty bad right now, but it's just very cold right now. Even with all that stuff there. High risk is falling ill, low risk is becoming grave, grave ill. Sir, one of our engineers have come crashing through the door. Whiteface, demanding to see you. I've run the calculations with new data. The storm will pass in a couple days, but the temperature will, will, just before the end, will drop drastically. Nothing can protect us from such cold. Panic is starting to spread and people are losing all hope. We have to stay strong. So that would be it right here. And we could do, we could do it. Uh, basically the, the janitor thing if we want to. Oh good, a tip from a believer, excellent. This is definitely an appropriate time for that. So, it's just the cook houses are, are not working right Yeah. Oh no, the public house is not going. I could overdrive the generator. Yeah, let's just overdrive it, fine. So this keeps us all going. The only problem is like, it's gonna heat up, I think, faster than that. I just have to make sure I have enough here, but I, we have a steam core to basically throw into the generator to keep it from blowing up, so. 
By the way, it's a hundred a negative 120 degrees Celsius, so. <laughs> so you know, you know, that's that that's the temperature we're at right now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So then the, the the question begs itself, do I I'll just let it overheat and then I'll throw something into the generator. Oh my god, there's like 104 people fucking sick. They'll be fine. It's okay. That's why we have automatons. They're, they're going they're working through it really fast. Everyone's getting sick though. Panic spreads. Sir, more people have abandoned their workplaces. They're completely petrified. Many of them don't think we'll make it. Uh, the entire style does cookhouse refuse to go to work. That would be the children. We could force them to work down. Just let them stay home. I guess I'll give it a good old quick save. There you go. Look, people are getting healed right now. It's fine. Miracles happen. So, you remember that guy we sent out? That, the motherfucker we sent out? Sir, it's a miracle. The man who we went, look, who went looking for his daughter is back, and he brought her with him. He says he found uh, her soon after leaving the city, but he got lost and had to wait for a lull in the blizzard. Yeah, 120, negative 120 degree lull in the blizzard. Yes. They are both exhausted. Aaron Frost been very, very happy. All right. Get, get your ass inside the fucking thing. So that's why I sent him out, because it doesn't matter. And someone got agreeably ill, that's fine. Nobody's gonna die. Panic spreads. Let them stay home, it's fine, don't worry. Stay home, my friends. We have we have enough for 16 days of storm and 9 days of rations, it's fine. So, it's gonna overheat now. So, this is the event you get. It's going to it's going to blow. The generator has been damaged and it's going to blow. We can fix it, but only a small child is small enough to fit into the mechanisms. Alternatively, a steam core could be used to shunt some of the pressure from the damage assembly. So you either throw a child into the generator, the child will probably die, discontent will great, greatly uh, rise greatly, or the hope will fall greatly. Or you can just use a steam core. Or we can't do it, the generator is going to blow up, we die. Uh, just use a steam core. I actually don't know if there's enough uh, for this thing. I'm just going to let it go down a little bit. Alright, go up now. All right, this should be enough for the end. That's it. Work ceases. So most of the people have abandoned their workplace to stay at home with their families. Only medical facilities are still functioning. See old's breath waiting for whatever uh, whatever the end brings. All right, let's do it. Of course they're still functioning. The automatons are there. All right, so it's now negative 150 degrees. So I can only assume that, that we're being uh, swamped with uh, liquid oxygen. That's, that's uh, oxygen is liquidizing right now and, uh, you know. <laughs> All that kind of stuff. This is probably one of the parts of the game that everyone's like, oh my god, why? Negative 150. You, 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 it's the perfect time to, uh, where's, the, where's the church? We need to, we need to make a show of force. Go into, get, get out in the streets. There we go. Sermon, sermon time. You know, what else? I, I think that's it. I, I, I don't know where it is. This, this city's such a mess. Who the fuck designed this? Ah, right, here we go. go and get out in the streets. Nighttime procession. And, uh, there you go. Ceremonial service. Okay, never mind. It, it ended. Wind dies down, and temperatures short, finally starts to rise, and early science, silence depend, uh, descends upon the city. I guess I guess it wasn't even that close, to be honest. Alright, and, and it just dropped to negative 20, so I assume that everybody uh, died of heat because of, uh, you know, the fact it was, like, you know, just immediately went from 150, uh, negative 150 to negative 20, but, you know, it is what it is. That's it. That's the end. We won. We got it. No one died. Deathless. We have survived. Everyone survived, that is. I believe this is a perfect game, but I don't know. Cast out of Haven. Oh yeah, this is the, uh, the, this would be the, uh, the church ending, so... First, we put the children to work. They had to move. They had to move coal. The poor little bastards. Parents lost their children. I don't think that's what happened, but but we found them, right? Oh, was there some event that I didn't do properly? I don't know. Maybe. I don't think anyone lost their children. Nobody lost. Uh, nobody died. I think. Maybe someone died. Maybe I didn't notice that. Oh, whatever. 
Denouncing infidels. Vigilant faith keepers. Masses of sick. Yet I fear. Ooh. Oh, we did go too far. We did cross the line. So it was, I think it was the the, the one where we found uh, the people, so. So so this counts as a faith abuse ending, even though I didn't go all, all the way up the tree. So. I wasn't sure about that. Uh, I, I, I think faith keepers are fine. The righteous denunciation is not. That one's that one's not good. But it's, uh, that's all it does to the ending, is that. So 691 souls. Negative 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah, boy. Like I said, close enough, like, but it's, it is what it is. It doesn't change anything for the ending, really. So. I will definitely do that. Uh, I'll definitely be aware of that for the future. But there you go. Honestly, it's mostly that I don't do faith um, ever, so. I just wanted to show you guys what it was all in. So that's it. That's the first one. Uh, there's, like I said, there's one, one, two, three, four, five, six more scenarios to, to get through. So I'll get through them slowly, enjoy my time, uh, just pace them out. But I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next episode, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed it, and um, and yeah, no, um, stay tuned for Frostpunk 2 whenever that is. But yeah, so going to go on to the next one, so take care, guys.